years they've lurked in their dungeons, vying for the title of boss monster. But a call has gone out, summoning them from their dark layers into the light. There's a whole new world to be mastered. A deadly overworld of dark forests, putrid swamps, eerie graveyards, menacing ore camps, and perilous caves. Which mastermind can bend this world to their will? Which monarch will raise the deadliest army of monsters? Which villain will build the most powerful map? Which boss will be crowned Overboss? The expedition to the Western Lands is the kind of honour that comes once in a lifetime for a royal cartographer. But these are dangerous times. War ravages the land and you are sure to encounter Dragul forces determined to thwart Queen Jimnak's plans for Western expansion. Fortunately, brave heroes have risen to the defence of Nalos. Chart their deeds alongside the Queen's edicts and secure your place in history. Cartographer's Heroes is a follow-up to the critically acclaimed map drawing game Cartographer's, a role-player tale and can be played as a standalone game or combined with the contents from Cartographer's. Players compete to earn the most reputation stars over four seasons. Each season, players draw on their map sheets and earn reputation stars by carrying out the Queen's edicts before the season is over.
Expand your cartographer's game even further with the addition of three new map packs and a second skills mini expansion. Explore the land, record the terrain and prove yourself worthy of the title rule cartographer in Cartographer's Heroes. From the makers of the number one laugh out loud board game, Telestrations, comes Telestrations Upside Drawn, a fun new way to miscommunicate. It's a team based sketch and guess party game that'll turn your family game night upside down as teams race to guess the crazy drawings the fastest. First, split up into teams. One person directs, the other sketches and guesses. Directors get your secret word. Guessers get your boards and pens. Ready, set, sketch. The director can only do three things, say up, say down, and move the board. The guesser holds the pen, listens to the director, and shouts out guesses to the hilarious, crazy drawings. Teams work together to guess the same word at the same time. The first team to solve the secret word wins. Telestrations Upside Drawn, it's the party game of the year. Available now wherever you buy board games.
Designer Ted Alsbach is bringing fans of the Castles of Mad King Ludwig the collector's edition they've been waiting for, featuring all new gorgeous detailed artwork, a dual-sided recessed scoreboard and swan player markers, game trays storage organizers, support for up to five players, new rooms and king's favors, all existing expansions in addition to two brand new ones, Royal Decrees, which introduces asymmetric player abilities, and the Towers expansion, a new category of rooms with matching custom painted tower miniatures. Upgrading to the Royal level will add intricately detailed metal coins, weighted poker chip favors, and smooth plastic swan tokens. Players looking for a larger than life experience should consider the colossal set of additional rooms which are four times larger. Bring Castles of Mad King Ludwig Collector's Edition home to your kingdom this year.
Oh, hello, my Rob. Hey, hey, hello, y'all. Hello, 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 hello. Like the world is passing you by like everyone else is on the fast track while you're stuck in second gear you may suffer from a common disorder known as analysis paralysis common symptoms of ap include not being able to determine which game to pull from the shelf taking for fracking ever to move your ship creating new games like unhappy salmon causing your team to lose at captain sonar every game or no longer even being invited to game night Fortunately, there's hope. New Miplex XP is bringing the fun back to game night. Miplex XP is FDA approved and guaranteed to help you make better and faster decisions. Its patented synaptic formula breaks down the perhexamaxic overthinkacin in your system, helping you focus and achieve instantaneous results. I used to have so much analysis paralysis, but that this product has changed my life and now I can play games again reasonable amounts of time. Before Miplex XP, when we played a game, I would actually cause physical pain to those around me. If you or someone you love suffers from AP, ask your doctor about Miplex XP today and get your game night back to good. Side effects may include but are not limited to rash, diarrhea, primary auxiliary hyperhidrosis, fiddly bits, compulsive sleeping, whatever that phobia is where you're afraid you might miss a package from the FedEx guy, table flipping rage, and death. Do not exceed maximum dosage. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Use as directed. Meplex XP. Get your game night back to good.
It's the close of the Dragul invasion, but new threats arise to jeopardize your victory. A mysterious cult unearths ancient artifacts. The long abandoned gate between planes rumbles with new life. Strange rifts appear in the sky, unleashing bizarre creatures into your world. All the while, Dragul invaders seek to exploit this instability to gain a new foothold in Nelos. As a humble soldier of the King's Guard, you are called away on a mission that will uncover the secrets of your world. Role Player Adventures is a standalone, fully cooperative campaign storybook board game for one to four players. Each player takes on the role of one of the included heroes, or players can import characters built using the game of character creation. Role Player. Navigate your missions with care, making choices about who to befriend and who to battle. Will you follow the king's orders and slay the giant troll, or will you attempt to make peace? Will you do the vampire's bidding or defend the mysterious cult he wants to destroy? Whatever choices you make, someone will remember and respond.
you want to know everything that we're doing today, you can find that at tantrumhouse.com forward slash schedule. Yes. And you can follow along with all of the games that we're playing. We've got some cool ones coming up today, coming up. as you can see on our table. Yeah. And go and check out our publisher demos. Um, those are going to be scheduled for in between some of our things, maybe before and after. You have to register for those. Um, there are limited spaces, so go register for those now. That's exactly right. And the best part of Tantrum Con is that you can join us right now on Zoom. So it's tantrumhouse.com forward slash Zoom, where I'll be your host and uh, sidekick Larry will be there as well. And we are doing a lot of fun games, a lot of fun giveaways. In fact, we might be giving away something right now if you jump on over and take a look. <gasps> Already? Oh, That ready. fast. All okay. Ready. And there's um, also some great contests going on. We've got mini paintings that are available to be voted on in our Facebook page. Go check it out. There's an album there. Thumb up the one you think is the best. We're going to have a crowd favorite, so you're doing the voting. Um, we also have table flipping. Um, that is also available on our Facebook page. And... I would love to say that each studio did their own table flipping video, but oh, no, they didn't. It was, I think it was just studio awesome because oh. we're awesome and we did our own. So go and vote for ours. <laughs> yeah. One other great thing that's happening today is at the end of the show, we are doing our Tantrum House Award show. Ooh. So you've got to make sure you stay till the end of today or if you have to leave, get a sandwich and come back. We need you. Come back because we want you to watch our award show where we're going to give away some really cool awards and have some special guest stars as well yes. join us. So that is Tantrum Con Day 2. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let's get to the fun. Whoop, whoop. to day number two, TantrumCon Digital! Wow, welcome to Zoom audience and YouTube audience. We're so glad that you are all here. <laughs> <laughs> We're waving to all the people in Zoom oh, here. Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we are going to be playing Kahoot and people on YouTube and people on Zoom can play. But. But. People on Zoom are going to have a distinct advantage because there is a significant delay on YouTube. We have put the questions longer, so if you're playing on YouTube, you can probably still answer the questions, but Kahoot gives points based on how quickly you answer correctly. So you probably won't be in the running for the prizes if you play on YouTube. But wait, What's there's happening? more. What? We Whoa. should give away a game before we even get started for all the people wow. who are joining us on Zoom cool. right now. Everyone who is on Zoom, we have been putting your name into our special Wheel of Wow. Maybe we'll and see you that. are going to be able to win Valley of the Kings Premier Edition Woo. from AEG. Very nice. Are you ready? We're going to spin I'm the ready. wheel. Here we go. Let's Woo. see who's going to win. Is it spinning? It's spinning. It is Dustin, Dustin M. Congratulations, Dustin, Dustin. M. Congratulations. Congratulations. Valley of the King from AEG. Thanks for hanging out with us. Make sure you email Sarah, S-A-R-A, at tantrumhouse.com with your mailing address so we can get you Valley of the King's premiere. And edition. it'd be helpful if you said what the game was just for our records, too. Uh, we, know. <laughs> we know. So I don't have to watch the I video. Know. It's like, what did that happen? What did this... <laughs> Great. Well, we are about to get started with Kahoot.it. Make sure that you are signed up with the right code, which is 307777. Yes, and at kahoot.it, you do not have to download it or sign up or anything like that. You just need to enter your name. It is helpful if you put in your first and last name so we can figure out who actually won. But Because um, we have three winners. We do have three winners. The top three winners for the Kahoot quiz today, which, have we said the theme yet? Oh, it is a Harry Potter theme, which is why Kevin and I are doing it, because we are the Potter fans in the Tantrum House. One of the Potter fans. Some of the Potter fans. That's Just right. Some. <laughs> Most Just pottery Potter fans. That's right. And uh, this is sponsored by The Up. 
questions yes. because it's based off of the Trivial Pursuit Harry Potter. Yes, we did modify the questions a little bit to make them multiple choice, but the question itself comes from the Harry Potter trivia Trivial Pursuit game from the app. All right, what are those prizes? So we have the Magnificent for third place. First place. First, that's what I said. First, first place, place. First place. Fun Fair. And uh, Magnificent, this is from Aporta Games. Fun Fair is from Good Games Publishing. This is the second place winner. Mm -hmm. And then Ticket to Ride Japan, which is you sort of need the base game. Yeah, so it this is, is an for expansion. third place. So third place of oh, Days of Wonder. Fun mm -hmm. Fair Good Games, which is just released in retail from Good mm -hmm. Games Publishing. Fun Fair. If you're familiar with Unfair, check out Melissa and I's review of mm -hmm. Fun Fair. And then The Magnificent. We just put them back in the right order. No, third place goes first. Yep. Yep. Good, thank you. All right. How many people are already on Kahoot.it? Do we know? Yes. Whoa, we got 48 people. And let's scoot over. And for those of you who are watching on YouTube, Zoom, we have the code up there, Kahoot.it. The code is... Three zero 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 seven 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 three hundred seven 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 seven. Four sevens. Thank yeah. you, Melissa. Yes. I was like, she put a lot of zeros in there. <laughs> I don't know. Three hundred and then four seven. The question is, do you think we can get started? Uh, I think we have a few more people joining. Again, I want to say if you are watching on YouTube, there is going to be a delay, so you'll get the answers on your Kahoot before you'll hear the question. But just hold on. We should have enough time for you to... You'll still be able to play, but you probably won't win, which is okay. You can play games without winning, right, Will? Maybe. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, so uh, one other thing. For Kahoot, not only is it good to get the answer correctly, but also be the fastest. That's how you're going to get to the top in the points. So... All right, I think we need to start, All Melissa. All right, we have 56 people playing. Let's do this. And let's go to the first question. The first question is... Get Harry Potter trivia. <laughs> so. right, Here we right, go. Three, three start two, two right, we have one. Let's do this. And question let's number one. What is Professor question. Dumbledore's the first name? Question is it is red Aberforth? Is it Harry blue Angus? <laughs> is it yellow <laughs> Albus? Or right, green R2? Right, what is right, Professor Dumbledore's first one. name? What is Again, red Aberforth? Blue Angus? Yellow Albus? Or green R2? We're trying to make this really, really difficult with A. Well, I mean, that's a hint. It does start with an A. There we go. It does start, the first name does start with an A. Kevin, move over. Is that me. better? <gasps> Thank so you. So they can see. So Thank they can you. see all the questions. The answers. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice right. that we have some. I think we have probably just about everyone answered by now. So I think we can probably end this question. Uh, ooh, we got a lot of people to answer yellow. Hopefully that's the right one. That is the correct one. <laughs> Albus Dumbledore Aberforth is his, his brother's brother. name. Mm -hmm. All right, so here are our standings. Peter, Michael, Michael. All right, oh. so. We'll see. Some of the questions, following questions, are easy. Some of them are a little more difficult. Let's see what the next question is. Ron makes fun of Hermione over the pronunciation of which spell? A, or red, Lumos Maximus. Blue, Expelliarmus. Yellow, Wingardium Leviosa. Green, Expecto Patronum. Which spell does Ron make fun of Hermione for talking about the pronunciation? Red, Lumos Maximus. Blue, Expelliarmus. Yellow, Wingardium Leviosa. Or green, Expecto Patronum. Put in your answers. They are putting this. We got a lot of a lot of people answering pretty quickly there. That's great. That's great. We tried to uh, give a little hint in the picture. If you haven't guessed yet, it is. It's not, it's not from that scene, but it is from the first movie. Yes. Or book. There we it's go. In book. It's in the book, too. <laughs> All right. Wingardium Leviosa, not Leviosa. That's right. So, yellow is the correct answer. It's in the book, too. All right, we are going to move the next. Qu oh, no. We have to see who, 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 where everyone is. Peter is in the top. And then Jacob, and then Michael. Congratulations to you and everyone else who's playing. Very good. Okay, we're going to move on to question number three. Question number three is... 
What animal body part does Hagrid jinx Dudley with for eating Harry's cake? Is it red, rabbit ears, blue, pig's tail, yellow, pig snout, or green, rabbit tail? Red, rabbit ears, blue, pig's tail, yellow, pig snout, or green, rabbit tail? Mm, two animals to choose from, so we sort of narrowed it down, but do you know what part of the animal? That's the question. We got people that jumped on pretty quickly. This is also from the first book and movie. Yeah. And why was, what kind of cake, why were they eating cake, Melissa? Mmm, it's his birthday party. Oh, there you go. Well, <laughs> lack of birthday party. <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right, I think we got enough answers in, and it is correct mm -hmm. for blue, which is pig's tail. That one was trickier. Fewer correct answers on that one, so. Let's see who is on the leaderboard. Peter is still at the top. We got some movement there. Matt K and Jasmine. Correct answers. Jasmine spot. All right. All right. What object assigns students into their Hogwarts house? Is it red, the Goblet of Fire? Blue, the Mirror of Erised? Yellow, the Pensieve? Or green, the Sorting Hat? What assigns students to their house? Red, the Goblet of Fire? Blue, the Mirror of Erised? Yellow, the Pensieve? Or green, the Sorting Hat? Hmm. We have answers coming in. I think this one might be among the easier questions. It, it. <laughs> <laughs> I will Maybe. agree with Melissa on that one. Assigning, yeah. All right, let's move. All right, 59 got the answer correct. It was the sorting hat. The sorting hat sorts the students into their houses, which are Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Ravenclaw. Ooh, we have a new leader. Matt K has taken over the top of the leaderboard. All right, easy one. It's true or false? Students open the monster book of monsters by feeding it cheese. Is that true? Or is it false? Blue is true, red is false. Students open the monster book of monsters by feeding it cheese. Blue true, or red false? Monster book of monsters, that was movie two? Yeah, movie two, definitely movie two. Or book two, right, Melissa? She's thinking. I'm thinking. I, I see you're thinking. thinking. <laughs> two or three. I think it was book two because Hagrid became the... Mm, tell us in the comments. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if we were correct. Was it book two? Monster, uh, book of right. monsters. I think, I think we're good. I Let's think move we on. Them. It was false. Most of you knew that. You open the monsters book of, the monster book of monsters by stroking its spine. Mm -hmm. And then it'll open up all nice and easy. The leaderboard is... It stayed the same. Mm -hmm. Wow, Matt K still in the lead. All right, question number six. Professor Umbridge insults what creatures in front of Harry and Hermione in the Forbidden Forest? Is it red, giants, blue, centaurs, yellow, hippogriffs, or green, spiders? Who does Professor Umbridge insult? Red, giants, blue, centaurs, yellow, hippogriffs, or green, spiders? Spiders. I mean, she insulted a lot of people <laughs> and things, but in this specific instance. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I think the, the cats in her, the plates with cats really creep me out in her office <laughs> from that movie. Book and movie five. The character that people love to hate, Professor Umbridge. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got enough answers in. I think All it's time right. to move. All right, most of you got that right. It was the centaurs that she insulted in the forest. Now there was a giant there, Gorp, but it was the centaurs that she really just ruffled. I was about to say ruffled their feathers, but they don't have any feathers. <laughs> Those would be hippogriffs. All right. We have a little bit of movement, but not at the top. Still have Matt K at the top. Hmm. 
Ready for All this right. one? Number seven, which potion allows the drinker to temporarily assume the form of somebody else? Is it red, Felix Felicis, blue, polyjuice potion, yellow, the dottle draught, or green, the managro potion? Red, Felix Felicis, blue, polyjuice potion, yellow, the dottle draught, or green, the managro potion? Hmm, which potion allows a drinker to temporarily assume the form of someone else? This happens. Quite, Quite often, it's several times. One of those do sake machina third sort of things going on in the uh, in the script. <laughs> Let's throw a polyjuice potion right here. What? <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin. I think everybody answered already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fifty-eight of you knew that it was the polyjuice potion, and Kevin gave you a little bit of a hint Everyone there near the end. That. <laughs> All I right. gave Peter a little hint there. Good job, Peter. All right. Oh, Matt just left. Where did Matt go? All right, so we're going to come to question number eight. Where does the tunnel from the Whomping Willow lead? Is it red to Honey Dukes, blue to the Three Broomsticks, yellow to the Shrieking Shack, or green to the Hog's Head Inn? Where does the tunnel from the Whomping Willow lead? Red to Honey Dukes, Blue to the three broomsticks, yellow to the shrieking shack, or green to Hog's Head Inn. Where do they sell butterbeer is the real question. Hmm. I like the frozen butterbeer. That's Definitely. my favorite way to Definitely drink it. Definitely frozen butterbeer. Everyone else is shaking their head yes. In their comments too. Have you tried butterbeer yet? So they have hot butterbeer, cold butterbeer, and then frozen butterbeer. Frozen's my favorite. I think everyone's answered. Okay. It is the Shrieking Shack. That's very important to the plot of book number three. And Carol makes it into the lead. Congratulations. Question number nine. What teacher gives Hermione a time turner so she can attend more than one class at the same time? Is it red, Professor Trelawney, blue, Professor Flitwick, yellow, Professor Pomfrey, or green, Professor McGonagall? What teacher gives Hermione a time turner so she can attend more than one class at the same time? Is it red, Professor Trelawney, blue, Professor Flitwick, yellow, Professor Pomfrey, or green, Professor McGonagall? I'm going to say it's a professor. Very good. Good job not giving away the answer this time, Kevin. <laughs> hey, it was already too late at that point. <laughs> I think, man, you guys, they are, they are like putting those questions in fast. I think everyone is ready for, woo, good job, Professor uh, McGonagall. Yes. So I think the book says Professor McGonagall, but I think in the movie, Dumbledore does it. So we, we did not put Dumbledore as, a, as answer, an answer, just in case. Just in case. Mm -hmm. Carol, still at the top. All right, this is going to be the final question for the Kahoot. Final question. What is Horace Slughorn disguised as when he first, when Harry first meets him? Red, a desk, blue, an armchair, yellow, a rug, or green, a stove? Professor, Horace Slughorn is disguised as something. Is it red, a desk, blue, an armchair, yellow, a rug, or green, a stove? Hmm. What did he turn himself into? We have answers coming in. I'm afraid to talk too much because I might accidentally slip up and give an answer, kind of like Kevin did. <laughs> <laughs> so it was blue and well, armchair. That was a harder one. Woo. Yes. A, lot of, a lot of people got it, but there were more people that didn't get it. Yes, he was an armchair. The normal. So thank you everyone for playing and displaying your vast knowledge of Harry Potter. We're now going to show the winners. So in third place, winner of Japan, is Michael Madden. Congratulations, Michael. Second place is Alexis Madden mm. with Fun Fair. And then first place is Carol Nicolette for The Magnificent. Be sure to email Sarah, S A R A, at tantrumhouse.com to give her your address and tell her what you have won in the Kahoot. Congratulations and, to everyone. Yes, good job everybody. 
for playing our Harry Potter trivia sponsored by The Op. We're now actually going to go to the couch with Will and Sarah for an interview. We're going to sort of travel with you a little bit and say hi to Will and Sarah. Hey, Kevin and Melissa. <laughs> All right, so we're here for day two of Tantrum Con. We're very excited. I hope you guys had a good time playing the Harry Potter trivia. I didn't know any of the answers. I don't know. I only know a couple. <laughs> Dumbledore. I was on that one. That's all I got. Um, yeah, lots of fun there. And obviously, you guys know what's up. So very cool way to go on that. And congratulations to our winners, for sure. Yeah. We're going to jump now into an interview with Kurt Covert from Smirk and Dagger and smirk and laughter. Uh, let's go ahead and welcome him to the house. Hey, Kurt. <laughs> all right, it looks like we don't quite have your audio yet. We'll let all the technical difficulties be worked out in the background. And okay. we are pretty much ready to go, though. Yeah. Um, so we'll, we'll delay for one more second, and then you can say hi again, and we'll just test it to see when okay. we can hear you. All right. I feel like I might have heard something. We're getting closer, I think. One, two, three. Maybe just crank up. Oh, I heard one, two, three from somebody. Hello? I don't know. All right, hey, uh, okay, great, great. And I, yes. I'm sure our audience at home can hear you as well, which is the important part. <laughs> so let's take a minute. Okay. Uh, let's just give you the floor. Tell us a little bit about yourself, about your company, uh, and then we'll definitely get into some of the new games that you bring to the market. I also have a story I want to tell about the first time I played one of your games. Uh, we'll save that for just a moment from now. Uh, but you can have it. Let us, uh, give us the rundown. Sure. Well, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Kurt Covert. I'm the owner of Smirk and Dagger Games and Smirk and Laughter Games. Um, and um, I, I kind of specialize in games that uh, um, make you feel something at the table. I, I like to stir up the emotions and, and, and actually have that be an experience. So, uh, so a lot of my games kind of uh, go for that, starting with like 14 years of backstabbing games where you shook your fist and uh, cursed your, your friends. So. <laughs> So, yeah. So. Awesome. Okay, so here's my story. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, no. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, so, I don't know, 2005, 2006, I don't know. We just are married. We're visiting some friends in Ohio. Uh, Aaron, if he's watching today, I don't know. And uh, he pulls out a couple games. He's like, all right, here's what we're going to play. We're going to play this game. It looks kind of like Candyland got like murder attacked <laughs> and uh like what is going on this is the most amazing thing i've ever seen it's run for your life candy man is that right run for your life yes. and yep. uh in the game you literally like tear apart each other's ginger cookies which is amazing and since then that's kind of been in my mind the defining game for you guys i think was that your first game i don't know what that was it not was first. not no um okay. our first but game was actually at least in my mind I said, oh, okay, awesome. Uh, in my mind, that's one of the defining games of Smirk and Dagger. I think it defines that dark, witty humor that... Is that does that define you? What's, what is Smirk and Dagger? I would say that it does not define us. This was a game that I, I never intended to print. Um, it was a joke idea that I brought to the Gamma Trade Show, and retailers and distributors were looking at it like, oh, my... God, what have you done? This is twisted. And it was it was just a black and white comp, and they said, no, full color, any price you want on it, we'll sell the crap out of it. And so that's why it got made. Originally, it was just going to be a PDF download you could play with your regular Candyland. <laughs> Love it. That's hilarious. As you, you you could really play it that way, that's yeah. for sure. Uh, Roll for Your Life is another fun one. You've got some new ones. You've got one that is, I believe, coming to backers right now, and we may you may be demoing it uh, before and after the show called The Night yep. Cage. Tell us a little bit about that one. Sure. Actually, you know what? I'll even I'll even share my. Oh no, I can't sh I can't share screen. Ooh. So, um, but um, yeah, The Night Cage is a co-op horror themed game where you are. Um, you are crawling along a, a, a maze with nothing but a candle that separates you from this eternal darkness. And that candlelight mechanic is the coolest thing in the game. Um, the, uh, the, the light will spill out just like one tile away. So most of the board is hidden in darkness. And as you move, the candlelight moves with you and the tiles that you leave behind disappear forever and you light new ones. So even if you track your way back, it's going to change completely. So you really feel like you're lost in a maze. Yeah, I, was, I watched a little video on it that you, the, the board itself is kind of, uh, 
infinite. Like you can go in one direction and loop, you can fall through the floor, it sounded like, and end up in other places. Now you're gonna be doing demos of that during our demo publisher times at the end of today and I think tomorrow. Uh, I believe there's probably still room to sign up because I think we just added a couple of those times. So if people are interested in trying this one out, they can definitely get you know a first-hand look at it. Tell us, uh, was this a Kickstarter and when is it gonna be available? What's, what's the timeline? So it, it was a Kickstarter. It did amazingly well. It was our, our second Kickstarter ever, and it really blew the doors off. Um, it is going to deliver. We just missed Chinese New Year, so uh, with shipping delays that we're experiencing, the whole industry is uh, experiencing, it's probably going to hit uh, more in like the April to backers and um, a little bit later in, in store. So. Okay, very cool. Now, you said this is your second one. I think Cinder, not Tinder, but Cinder was your other Kickstarter. That is yep. a crazy game where you are uh, trying to find the perfect love interest in dragons and uh, some really fun stuff going on there. Tell us, uh, where was the inspiration for that? I mean, I guess that, that was a game that was brought to you, right? And then what made you decide to bring it to Kickstarter? Yeah, um, Ben and Harold uh, were the designers on that, and they they pitched this idea about dating dragons without getting burned, and it's a push your luck dice game. And I was like, oh my god, that's that's crazy. I I love it. And um, what was terrific about it, and why I think I, I brought it forward, is that um, it is you can date the way you wanna date, and and everything is a good dating strategy. If you wanna date, you know, find one true love. Uh, in a dragon, you can do that, and you're a fantasy character, so you, you know you're creating your own uh, Cinder profile. And um, if you decide you want to date a whole bunch of dragons, that's fine. If uh, if you just want to kind of date around, you can do that. Like, all are great ways to win, and the dragons are gender fluid, so people will refer to them with different pronouns, like in every other moment and no one bats an eye and it, it makes it a very welcoming environment uh for for a dating game one of the things we haven't mentioned is that we are i mean we obviously are live on youtube and on zoom so we've got some we have questions some comments from the audience and feel free to ask more questions because we are going to give away a copy of cinder at the end of this interview to somebody who does comment in the youtube so uh what are some of the questions people are asking uh chris asks how long did it take to develop the night cage so uh, the design team, Chris, Chris, and Ross worked on it, I think, about three years. So it was a really, really long time. And they had it extremely tight by the time it got to me. Um, then we worked on it together for another, I want to say, like eight months, um, uh, in, including we, we added a, a few things um, just, just as we were you know, working on the Kickstarter. We got really surprised. We blew out of all of our stretch goals um, and people were like looking for more and we we created some extra stuff. We created some boss monsters. So it was right up to the right up to the wire. That's right. very cool. I have a question to, to d differentiate on that. So you have two different lines. You have Smirk and Dagger and you have Smirk and Laughter. Night Cage yeah. seems like a pretty dark game that I would have <laughs> anticipated being under the Smirk and Dagger line. Well, give us how do we know what we're looking for on those two? Give us your differentiations on that. Well, so Smirk and Dagger for 14 years was nothing but backstabbing games. And this is the very first co-op game I've ever done. So it couldn't go into Smirk and Dagger, even though it feels dark. Uh, so Smirk and Laughter has kind of been the, the catch-all for all the other types of emotions we can connect with. And this is a really tense horror game. Uh, it's It's got a creepy feel. Your palms will start to sweat a little bit and um, you just, and the anticipation of not knowing what's around each corner and wondering if it's, if it's a monster is just great. Audience, um, will the pledge manager for Night Cage reopen and, or what, what is a way that they can um, get the game if they missed the Kickstarter? And then after that, can you follow up and tell us how you got inspired to enter the industry? Sure. Uh, so the first thing is I will be putting up a, um, a pre-order um, uh, window on our on our web store at smirkandagger.com. So uh, you will be able to pre-order it shortly, uh, probably in the next week or two. Um, in terms of how I got started, uh, like everyone, I got started just because I loved board games and I created a, a bunch of expansions for games that I 
um, I just loved the, the original game and it was just for me and my friends. And at one point I spent two years developing new content for a dead game. And someone finally said, well, why don't you make your own? And I had never thought of that. So when I finally decided to do that, it took me about two years to come up with my first one, which was Hex Hex. And um, I put my house on second mortgage in order to do it because there was no Kickstarter back then. So I, I don't recommend doing that. Don't do that. <laughs> Bold move, bold move. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tell us, so Hex was your first game. I've heard rumors that maybe there's a Hex something coming in the future. Tell us about some of the things that are coming down the line. Yeah. There is, yeah. So um, my team surprised me this uh, this year. Um, obviously, their first introduction to a lot of my games was also Hex Hex. And they independently came up with an idea like, what if Hex Hex, which was this, you know, essentially a spell counter spell kind of a, a battle game, um, which was a lot like hot potato with a mean streak. Um, they said, what if it was less of a party game and more of a deck builder and we could add more strategy to it. And so that's what they present me. And that's what we've been kind of uh, workshopping for the last couple, uh, you know, since COVID started really. Um, and, it is a really interesting take on that original game. It still shares a lot of what made that game interesting and fun, but now you're constructing your own cards. And the cool part about this game is that unlike a lot of deck builders, when you buy a card from the center row, it doesn't go in your discard like a lot of games uh, of that ilk do. It goes immediately in your hand where you can immediately play it. Um, or if you gather it at the end of the round, it goes on top of your draw deck. So you're gonna get it in the next hand. Um, it creates a, a much more interesting immediacy to, uh, to your buys. And because you get to buy a card based on when the hex is targeting you, now people are also thinking about, well, should I target them now? Or they're probably gonna buy that card and I, want, I don't want them to have it. So there's a lot of interesting things going on layering on top of the original game. Cool. Do you anticipate that being a Kickstarter? Is that a new thing that you're going to be doing regular, or is that going to be straight to brick and mortars and published? What's your thoughts on that? We haven't actually decided that yet uh, on Hex Hex. We will absolutely be doing uh, Kickstarters as part of our ongoing, um, you know, way of, of going to business. Uh, some games will go direct to retail. Um, I think this will be a Kickstarter, um, but we don't have a time frame for it. Um, it could be next it could be this this fall um but coming this summer is actually something else that we've been working on which is called the spill disaster at Deepwell four and this is a design by and the Kim. spill the spill it is a game where there is an oil rig out in the water that has started to leak into the ocean and it's threatening all of the sea life so it's another cooperative game where you are sailing the perimeter, pushing back the oil, removing it from the water, and trying to save the sea life before disaster uh, occurs. And it is another really great game. But the, and the nice thing about it is when Andy designed it, he was inspired by having a four-way dice tower. So this dice tower spills down to the center and then drops in four different quadrants. And then the number of the die face showing puts it in a certain sector of that. So the oil randomly starts spilling out into the waters and you are trying to manage that unexpected flow of dice. And it's, it's really, really interesting and a lot of fun. action going on uh how how much did you love that one so much that you were inspired to do this other one what's the was there, was there any connection um the connection is just they both had towers um the one was my design tower of madness was my design um and the the spill is very much um i i saw it at proto to uh, which is a design show up in toronto and uh, Andy Kim was showcasing uh, this game and some others. And I just like, I fell in love with the whole idea of it. And it just, it's got some great tension and it's very hard to win. Um, but um, but we've just actually created some 
uh, winning conditions. It used to be completely just survival. You know, can you can you outlast all the dice dropping through and not lose? And now there's a way to actually achieve a win as well. So that's what we've been working on recently there. Love it. That so do cool. we have any dates on when we might be able to see that soon? Yeah. So um, we got we. I was so so excited. Uh, Guan Chi Moria is um, who has done Seven Summits and a whole bunch of other great games. Um, we signed him to do the art, and he's going to be starting in the next couple of weeks. So we'll be able to start trotting out some of the some of those great looks. Um, this is all in anticipation of doing our Kickstarter. It's probably going to be. I want to say it's going to be mid July. I think that's probably the safe bet on when we'll actually launch. Um, so uh, that should give us plenty of lead time to get a production copy out to reviewers like you guys. So you can give it a look and uh, tell us what you think. Yeah, so are there, are there any other products that you might be, I know the night cage will be out soon. We're just waiting for that to arrive. Is there anything else that we can look for on shelves or on your website uh, over the next six months? Well, um, I guess nothing new, although Shobu finally is restocked. That just got to my warehouse last week, so that'll be back out in stores. Um, and then um, Cinder and the Deadlies have been very popular. Both of those games out came, came last year. The Deadlies, a, a great uh, family game, um, also a great filler card game, which is kind of like a much more interesting version of Uno, where you're trying to get your hand completely emptied of the deadlies, but each of the suits marries to uh, one of the seven deadly sins um, and has a great thematic ability. And they're all like cute little characters. So like Raph is this little devil bunny. And um, it's, it's, it's just a, a lot of fun. Very take that. I know Dan had, uh, intern Dan, I think, played that one and had a lot of fun with it. The, the illustrations for that are fantastic. Love it. Uh, she limited it to six months, but I'm open to whatever is coming down the pipe. <laughs> Did I hear something about Test of Thieves? Can you tell us a little bit about that? So, yes, uh, Test of Thieves is something else we're working on. Um, just an Emory designer on that. And it is very much a standard fantasy setting. Uh, it might actually, I think, it's probably going to be part of the Cutthroat Caverns world. But um, if you can imagine um, a central hub with a treasure chest on it and five arms coming out that, uh, from that center room, you are trying to enter the Thieves and Assassins Guild. And it's come down to this, a very simple test. Take four steps down this corridor, find the treasure chest, bring it back, and you're in. But of course, there are four other assassins doing the exact same thing. So it ends up being a kill the carrier style game. We're all uh, working together until someone picks up the treasure and then it's all against that one person. And then that changes on whoever then rests it out of their hands and now they have it. So it's this great push and pull mechanic, um, lots of actions, counter actions. And in the end, either someone's going to get away with the treasure, you all die, or um, it's it just gets it gets messy. <laughs> I love it. That's incredible. Uh, I, one of my one of the other games that you guys put out that I very thoroughly enjoy is Dead Last, which has a lot of that. I mean, to me, it sounds like it's maybe a similar game where it's like quick actions, pointing and stuff. I mean, is that is that the feel for this one, or is it a deeper strategy, or is it party level? What are we talking? Yeah, no, it's not party level. Uh, Dead Last was absolutely a party game, um, which curiously enough, has been selling great during COVID. And it's like a six to 12 player game. So I don't know why, but it has been. Um, but uh, this is very much more um, a, a strategy kind of a, a, a game. Um, it's, you can almost imagine it like you're, if, if anyone has played Magic, uh, you're almost, you're all the blue player. For every action you can take, someone can say no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to spring a trap on you. I'm going to spring over it. Uh, I'm going to stab you and help you drop your treasure. Uh, nope, I dodged that. So there's all kinds of back and forth. Um, and then whoever ends up holding the treasure or at least or escaping ends up winning the game. 
Very cool, very cool. Now, you mentioned uh, people are still playing during COVID, which I love to hear. Uh, has that changed your mentality any on like the types of games you're producing? I know some of your games work pretty well for like playing with your family in another country or whatever on Zoom. Uh, in fact, I think we're even gonna be playing um, What's the the uh, we need psychiatrist to talk. game called? We need yeah. to yeah, talk. I can't think of anything. Uh, we need to talk. We're going to play that later in the show, which is fun because we're going to allow the audience to like zoom in what they think our problem is, which should be a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> has that crossed your mind any? Like, are you designing games that work better with one player or that uh, can work over distances? Has that driven anything? Or is it like, no, we know what we're making. These are the games that are going to be great and people are going to enjoy. What's your, what's your take on that? Yeah, we haven't really been very reactive in terms of changing the types of games we do, though I have been even, even more selective because um, we, we've, I think everyone has kind of like slowed things down. So there are fewer games coming out and we're just being very choiceful. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the Spill is a game that I think is just going to take everyone by storm. Uh, the Night Cage was very similar to that. And so um, those are the games that, you know, that we're, we're really trying to focus on um, and prioritize more. And I think that's more about, you know, there's some, like I've got a great storytelling game that's a, coming off of Before There Were Stars, but it's really only gonna showcase it super well, I think once we get where we can be in person and um, and have cons again. So that probably waits for maybe another year. I don't know. No. I like your verb of choiceful. I think that's where you know we're all at. We're trying to make the right decisions based on what we you know the information we have, and uh, and still making really great products. I yeah. Think that's so our key. next question kind of goes with that. For those that can't game, are there ways for uh, you have any platforms that you have your games on that people can check out now? Uh, the answer is yes. Um, so right now, uh, the Night Cage is available on Tabletopia. Um, we also have a number of our games that are in TTS, but um, we have not necessarily opened them up broadly. Um, uh, so a lot of those we're going to be doing shortly, but what we do is we, we run a bunch of events where we'll actually demo them. And the, the Envoy Gateway is a great place where you can go if you wanna play on TTS or some of these other formats and have someone teach you how to play and actually game master for you that's a great place to go. And that's uh, envoygateway.com. And, um, and the events that you see there, you know, they're, it's, it's like going to a convention and having a demo person say, hey, can I show you this game? And they teach you the game and you can play and it's terrific, just reserve a seat. So a lot of our games are available through that. And um, we'll end up doing that again um, uh, we'll release some some of these um, just broadly in TTS, I think, pretty pretty soon as well. Now, you're definitely running a demo of Night Cage tonight for Tantrum Con attendees who are interested. Uh, I think that, do you know what time that is? Is it at 8.30 or do you have it set at a different time? So we've got one at 8 p.m., there's one at 9 p.m., and one at 9.30 p.m. So, and that's all Eastern time. Okay, cool. So. I yeah, so if you go to our website, tantrumhouse.com forward slash schedule, you can find the link for Night Cage at the end of today's schedule, and you can click on that. I think it takes you to uh, the Smirk and Dagger Discord channel, and there you'll be able to find all the information you need to be able to connect to that game tonight. And then are you also doing demos tomorrow, too? Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we're spoken for. So tonight, tonight is your chance. <laughs> Love it. All right. Well, thank you so much Kurt, for hanging out with us. Uh, we have had a good time getting to uh, hear about some of the things coming down the pipe. Best of luck with your Kickstarters that are coming up. We'll be looking forward. Before um, you go, we have what? a giveaway. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. I can't forget that. Oh, <laughs> yes. Giveaway, Cinder, to uh, randomly, one of our YouTubers. Randomly selected person that has commented during the interview is Steve Park Smith. Congratulations, you have won Cinder. Yeah, way to go. So you go to the routine, send an email to sarah at tantrumhouse.com, S-A-R-A, give us your address. Uh, we will put, here you go, you're, you're in the stack. So we'll get that sent out to you, get us your address, and we'll get it mailed in the mail to you. Uh, thank you, Kurt, for hanging out. Kurt, Yay. I keep getting a k in the end there, uh, for hanging out with us. It's been a blast. Um, I think uh. we're ready to roll to the table with our next thing. And we're going to play some hues and cues. From yes. the op, 
So, uh, nobody's at the camera, but if somebody wants to rotate that off of us, they can. Oh, maybe it is. It's just a switch. Ready to go. All right, ready. let's head to the table. Bye, Kurt. See you guys. Bye. Hey. Hey. We are here oh, looking forward to playing Q's <laughs> and Q's. Um, and we are going to be explaining the rules a little bit. Um, some of the Zoom audience is going to get to um, make some guesses with us. Um, this is Hughes and Coos by The Op. Um, and I refreshed myself on the rules of what you can give us um, clues. So I'm going to go over that as well because we talked about, oh, well, we could just do this. When I looked it up, you can't do that. <laughs> anyway, so we um, are going to have cards here. Um, that we will choose one of the. Oh, let me show a card nobody's using. Here's a. <laughs> it's got um, four little um, color squares on here, and they have a coordinate on there. This one's like C12. You would look and you'd find where that is on the board, and you'd give a one word clue about the location of. or about the color of that square. It cannot actually refer, your clue cannot include its coordinates as in C12, and it cannot refer to a specific item in the room, so you can't say the green screen. In the background. Um, so you can't, you cannot do that. There was one more. Let me double check that. You can't say the name of an oh, actual. Oh, can't be a common color. Like, you can't say green. Yeah. The, um, the, like basically the colors of the, yeah, the Roy G. Biv colors of the rainbow. You can't use you those. Can't use but one you of those. can use the more obscure artistic Seafoam. name. Seafoam or yes. lavender. Yeah. Sienna, you yeah. those types of things. That now, not be truthfully, <laughs> and truthfully, how the many people are. Would, would be able to follow that? You you have to kind of look at who is guessing and decide whether they'll understand that or not. Um, what are your expectations? You could Correct. say like um, Coca Cola. But you may get people thinking, is it the Coca-Cola red or is it the color of the drink? Now, so is then that that's a confusing. one word or is that a two word? I think that's it's a, it's, that's that's a, a common, it's yeah, hyphenated. single word. So okay. is Oompa Loompa a two word or a one word? <laughs> <laughs> wow, Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I'm okay. just saying. Um, so then what's going to happen is everybody will place one of their, whoops, one of their little markers wherever they think watermelon is. And then the oh, <laughs> correct because it could be the, the, the outside, outside you don't know. So then you will have to then the strange stuff in here. And I'll go. My next clue is watermelon seeds because nobody got anywhere close. That would be stupid. I shouldn't do. That. I mean, because um, seeds. Yeah. <laughs> then you'd have to. Then the they get that. Right. In the end, you would place this around your thing. So let's say C12 was the answer. Anything C12 being directly in the middle would be yes. right here. And what would happen is there anything. Other things in here. If anybody got it directly, they would get three points, which would be amazing. That's only happened a very few times. Um, they would get three <laughs> points for an exact guess, and then anybody inside this little box would get two points. Anybody touching the outside of the little fence would get a single point. Anything further away was just, woo, that was way off. So that, and then whoever is giving the clues gets one point for each one inside the fence. Um, cool. So, so see like the points. This one, do you still get one point? That is still a single, single point. point. Yep. Cool. Still a single point. So there we go. That Let's was go. This really the basic tests rules. your color knowledge because yes. as you can see, my descriptiveness of <laughs> colors was Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I know. So. I can think of a lot of colors that Oompa Loompa is yeah. I also have to say Amy and I sit on the right sides of the background here because she's wearing pink oh. on the right side. Oh, look at that. Look at that. 
guys. I know, we play, we sound great. And we're just neutral. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No man so, all right. Who <laughs> So for those playing at home, uh, whether you're on YouTube or Zoom, um, we will. You can make a guess either in the comments or just on a sheet of paper. And then when we score, you can keep track of your own points mm -hmm, mm -hmm. at home. We've got a few extra markers here that we can put out for the first few people that we see. We don't have enough markers for every single person because I think there's a bunch of people playing. Yep. Um, but we'll try to put a few of those out, especially for the person who's giving clues yeah. to get some extra points. Ayy. So, all right. Question though. Yes. About, so, can you say lighter as your second clue? Yes. Uh, yeah, that'd that be it's... like modifying your first one, I think. Let me double check. Everybody's like super close to an area, but you just need them to shift a little bit. So like, better to give an Here we go actual, with Kevin's avocado. I know, I got a few <laughs> yesterday for those of you who are watching our It may be better to give a different word. Okay. So but it is a you, oh, it is, it is, oh, I, one extra rule. Yeah, that that's true. You can do that. But okay. uh, the next rule is, I forgot, you cannot occupy the same space somebody else is on. Now, that's going to be hard for the Zoom audience. Yeah, Zoom stuff. audience can just play wherever. Just choose wherever you want. We're going to be limited to places that aren't already taken. Yep. So, But somebody may take the exact square you think is right, and you just have to deal with it and place next. And it's a, a snake style. So Amy's going to start with giving us, I'll lay down my first one, then Sarah will end, and then Sarah will start and the second, second time and after, lay, give after you give your yeah. second clue. Okay. So everybody kind of gets a, a chance. All right. All right, here we go. What's the clue? What is the clue? Are you ready for this? <clears throat> Hopefully. Clemson. Two main colors. And no, on opposite there, sides of the board. There's one main color for Clemson, and we all know it. That's <laughs> right. Let I me hope I know it. <laughs> see, that's where I'm going. Get a really different color for that's where you're going. All right, I'm going right here. Boom. Right. That's money. We <laughs> cannot see if anybody's writing anything on, unless we pull up yeah, another we device. We got that with Sarah's I'm got not it. a Clemson fan. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so that, so next time when we go, you could say the other Clemson. Vaguely Clemson. <laughs> In the general area of Clemson. I just saw the school colors yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, second so. clue. All okay. right. Um... At least feel pretty good. She's looking in this direction. Drag. It's Drag. not purple. Yeah. Wondering how in the world they got over there. Um, She's gonna say more Clemson. <laughs> tangerine. Tangerine. Oh. tangerine. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. <laughs> but not a common color word. Do the words have to match up, or could they just be? That's two? what I was. Yeah. Either they had to like build on each other. They don't or, have to build okay. on each other. They can be totally different. Okay. I mean, this would be the point if you really admit purple, you could say, you know, <laughs> not that. <laughs> okay. So way over here somewhere. Um. Tangerine rind. Tangerine rind. rind. Or skin. Sorry. Skin. I yeah. correct. Amended. Uh, uh, we know you're talking about the outside of a tangerine. Outside tangerine. Okay, because the rind and then she said skin. And then tangerine those are two outside. different things. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Whose turn is it? This one. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I need tongues. The universal sign for tangerine rind. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Is it me? It's your turn. Oh, it is me. Okay, let's let's do right here. All right, I'm trying to remember what tangerines look like. All right. Not an orange. Is a tangerine technically a cutie? Mm, are the or cuties are considered that? Tangerine. Okay. Times. So where where so, are we? All right. Okay. What was it? Where's the little fence going? What was the coordinates? Where is the fence going? Oh, come on. No way. Yes. Oh, man. No way. Damn. Oh, 
Good teamwork. Right. Clearly not a Clemson fan because Clemson <laughs> is darker. Wow. Okay. Whoa. So right. So Amy is pink. She gets. She gets two. Two points. And uh, Dan got it right on the yes. money. He gets three. And you know when I your was team close. Green. I, know. <laughs> I had one point and Green had one point. I was secretly point. giving him a mess. Right. So we, we did this we three both had times. <laughs> so it is possible that if Dan had gotten this and another thing, he could have gotten five points. I think five points is the most you can get as a guesser. Yes. But Crazy. he he went, his first guess was way back yeah. here. So, which was probably more Clemson, but. <coughs> but we've all agreed she's not really That's a Clemson right. fan. So, so do we pull these I off? tried to tell you. Yes. <laughs> so these all these all come back we off. We do have some players that got some points in the comments. Oh, nice. Just a few. All right. I did not know that there was a secondary Clemson color. Yeah, I was purple. Like, Purple's the other color. <laughs> There's Ooh, another color. color. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously not a clue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You like, can add white in like, there oh, if you like, want. Oh, that's, that's just like the third. Like orange and white. Okay. So there's no, okay. No purple. Mm. Yeah. No purples in there. Okay. My first clue is going to be avocado. Oh. Do you oh. mean avocado or do you mean artichoke? Mm -hmm. I actually mean avocado. Okay. <laughs> okay, and it's me. Thanks, Kevin. And the inside fleshy that part. That confusion. More oh, than our second. The second clue is when she'll say, "So I'm gonna go she, safe." She did use watermelon and then seed for her example. Yeah. Yeah. And seed so is black. Seed. The pit. The pit. They're called pits. The pit. When they're pit. that big, they're called the pits. Pit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the pit of the avocado. <laughs> That, that was a bad example. shot over here. Whoa. That was you bold. Foreshadowing. That is bold. <laughs> See if it pays We're not off. even close. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I feel like I picked Yikes. a happy medium. Okay. Can't wait for that second clue. Avocado. Avocado. From Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's watched a lot of ads. <laughs> That's literally uh, how it sounds though. <laughs> Do you need some help? Uh, sure. You have to actually <laughs> choose one. You can't <laughs> just sit in the middle of four. Uh, I must have had some not real ripe avocados in my day. We'll go here. Okay. What was the answer for yours? Mine was E3. Oh, yeah. We should definitely read out the answers aloud. Oh, Sorry, guys. No. We will do that next time. All right. Um, hmm. Pit. 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 Skin. <laughs> the skin benefits me, so I'm I'm all for that. No, that's gonna be up here. Well, let's say uh, what, what avocados really are green. you? Are, is it a really ripe? We'll avocado? say we'll, we'll say ripe flesh. Ripe flesh. Okay. Of an avocado or of a okay, person? Okay, is flesh oh, different from the meat of the avocado? <laughs> that's the same. That's what she's same saying. Same thing. Okay. So nice. now I'm going. <laughs> I'm going, I keep knocking this Here, down. I can move this for you, Chantel. This I'm doesn't have to like, be up. I need to just oh, use this you're, arm. You're, yeah, right-handed, <laughs> you're sitting there. Um, I'm going to go right here. Oh, my goodness. I feel like I'm just going to go with it. It's I always a little nerve-wracking because you're like, I've seen some avocados that look like That is not a ripe one. <laughs> It's not a ripe one. Right, let's see it. What's a ripe one, Amy? Show us. I thought she was going to put it in the orange. Uh, <laughs> that says avocado. Uh, okay. I'm not eating something one, like that. One to, the, one to the that way of mine. One to the that way. This one? Yeah. One to the that way. One to the that way. Okay. Wow. Oh, Are we ready for the I've reveal then? I've never been so scared about yep. avocados really in my life. The answer is... Come on, give it to me. Oh. M6. What? M6. Six. M6. Okay. Chante. Go me. Go me. Got more points than Go me. M6. <laughs> Go me. So Chantel gets four points. Well, oh, yes, because I get one on the outside. Katie yeah. gets three. You're, I get. What are you? I'm the reddish red, color. So you get three. Mm hmm. Chantel gets four. Mm hmm. Uh, Amy gets three. 
And I get two. Two. Woohoo. So do we get new cards now or do we just Sarah's I avocados I like, are darker I than like mine? Darker avocados. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> I feel like they get lighter as they get um more ripe. But maybe that's do. wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's I feel like, like so they, get, they get more and more they're yellowy like this looking. color. They're like this color. And yeah. then they have like one more layer, which is like this color. Yes. Yeah. So this whole thing is like an avocado in and of itself. I know. And then down here is like the skin. <laughs> the very yeah. outside. Yes. That's usually the softest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. But Chantel had it, so. I did. I wasn't doing horrible. I've eaten plenty of avocado in my day. Thank you. All right. <laughs> yes. Do we get new cards right away, or do we pick the next one? Oh, we can get from the same one. We can deal. We can deal out new cards. I'm, You're I'm supposed gonna... to just draw one from the um, pile, time. but <laughs> we wanted to give ourselves a little bit of time to formulate a plan on what. Yours, please. Here you go. A new right. card for you. You guys ready? Yeah. Sure. All right. I'm gonna go this. with. Highlighter. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So are you a pink highlighter really? or an orange Oh, come on. Do you know how many colors highlighters come in? <laughs> if I told you highlighter, you know what I mean. <gasps> Probably. Do I? Because <laughs> there's only one color that I use. I mean. Oh, I bet it's pink. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Love it. Uh, oh, bye. All right. Well, go for it. So that's super tempted Katie's just Katie's answer. Like... <laughs> Katie's answer was M6 for our Zoom audience who may not have heard. M6. M6. Oh, is yes. the answer. <sighs> my second clue, I'll let you know. <laughs> Next three. clue. This is a three-year-old yeah, like it. <laughs> It's been in the drawer. Well, that's dried out. <laughs> Highlighter. I'll go right there. All right. New highlighter. A new highlighter. <laughs> straight out the pack. Okay, straight out the pack. That's that's good. It's a lot of words. <laughs> oh, I <okay. laughs> New highlighter. She said it was new. It new. That's what we got. Oh, uh, <laughs> man. I feel like we've got to be there already, right? <laughs> I'm she wants more points. The if more nothing, more, I was going to say, the, I played one time oh, where Will literally, yeah. first no, one Katie's he put down first. was the Katie's exact first. right oh, one. Yeah. I was like, ooh. Katie, you're, you're up first. You're first. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Just don't go where I was going to go. Oh, I'm going to be um, on that side of blue. Here? Yep. Okay. Okay. But I wanted to go still there. Come on. We're all, all right, just like ready? bright yellow. Bright yellow. We're looking at. It's a pink one, wasn't it? J five. Uh, J five. Wait. What? Oh. Oh, what? oh. J five. All right. Well, I'll admit, I that is a spot I wanted to go in, but I didn't get to go. You're terrible. Until the end. <laughs> 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 Who's been being Amy, a lead so far? Amy is over here <laughs> shooting dots. <laughs> just <laughs> it's on. Um, I wasn't here um, yesterday. I gotta make up for so J five. <laughs> J five. Oh, you Amy should play. You should have been here then when we played Werewolf. Then I get no introduction games and me. <laughs> nope. I was like, yeah. maybe I'm just like, I like it so even not. more I'm yellow. Right. Let's start over. <laughs> I mean, Monica got us good on both rounds. Yes, she did. Just so, so well. Can't play that game with her again. Nope. Just can't. Nope. Uh, I need new cards. Both. Oh, did you guys get that? You J five. Two new cards. Two new. Well, yeah, because then you're like. No, just give me the one card that you get <laughs> from. No, and you get one. No, you only get one. Five. One. <laughs> I guess I'll settle. See, I, I have a clue. I basically got the same colors from the last card. That's why we oh, need well. two cards. Go ahead. Wow. I just, 
Okay. I don't know if my clue's no. right, so <laughs> we're going to go a different no. direction. All right, go for it. Tell us. What is it, Dan? Um, We're going to say... <laughs> She's busted out the snacks. Flesh. <laughs> flesh. A flesh? Flesh as in like... You are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, flesh I as guess. in like I'm the sorry. inside. Okay. If it's the colors on here, it obviously has to be the inside because I am not on this board. Oh, you're over <laughs> here somewhere. Oh no, well, there's this doesn't. That's too light. This doesn't have uh, neutrals. You're right. There's no grays. Like, there's Larry's no neutrals. Tan. Okay, so Terrible. who goes first? Larry's tan. It's me. Well, okay. that's why I'm like, are you yeah. referencing a previous game? No, that we no, played? I wasn't, but. Oh, can open this. See, in there's hindsight the, now, there's it's probably the not the best comments. Clue. The yeah, in <laughs> hindsight, no, probably yeah. not. In my mind, it was going to be oh, great. In your mind. Uh, so, like, the, the no, little, I can't say it. Like the crayon labeled flesh. Child there's a crayon it's labeled no flesh. no longer a crayon. Oh, it's not? No. Oh, well, we've got an old What's pack. No they had oh, I have the set that. Yeah, you're gonna have to bite that. <laughs> Nobody can open the Whoever can works. open that pack has a point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's in the rules. <laughs> what was the clue? The clue was flesh. I guess I'm going flesh. Fish. And it was given by Dan. Oh. We're all confused. Your Very flesh confused. has. I what am. happened? Jaundice. Your flesh has jaundice. Mine's jaundice. <laughs> jaundice. There's not a. Her Whoa. flesh is very pink. Correct. Is, Has it been sitting out? Is it like died dead flesh? I don't know. I don't even know. He's just going in the I'm gonna split the middle. <laughs> I'm so confused. Why are we not going towards red? Oh, go towards red then. I am gonna go okay. towards red. I'm going right here. What? You got yes. sunburn. You if it was our if it was this, he would have said skin. And he oh. did not say skin, he said flesh. Oh. With the extra shh at the end. Shush, you explanation. All right. So for scoring at home, if you, so comment <laughs> what answer you would like to I'm have. And then if your answer ends up inside of the window, uh, this very center has three points. The inside <laughs> the box is two points. And touching the edge is one point for our zoom out. I don't even want oh, to look at that. Also, that's okay. we have a giveaway at some point <laughs> before the end of our game of Ooh. Junta. Is it Junta or Junta? Not sure. I'm not sure if it's in Spanish. In Spanish, it would say it would be Junta. 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 All right, this is from AEG and Pegasus Spiel. So, one of our lucky watchers for this game will win a copy of Junta by the end of the game. I'm well, who's, both ways. whose turn is it? Uh, it's my turn. Wait. Oh, yeah. Do you have to get it? Oh, I was ready to just go again. <laughs> I'm so I, ready I for this. Chantel's um, Dash more than thinking. That is. <laughs> <laughs> that is more than a few words. Light. I shouldn't have dumped all of those in my mouth. <laughs> Light skin tone. That's three words. No, skin tone. Is a oh, single word? Skin. Okay, we'll, we'll let you pass with that. We've all what? heard it. That's <laughs> no right, so help. Amy's oh, up. How is that no help? Amy's up first. Okay, now I know what it is. I'm seeing... Well, I shouldn't no, say No, I'm the first. Chantel, Chantel's first. Larry knows. Oh, right. I go yeah, first? Yeah, sorry, Great. Sorry. Yep, you're up. Okay, Boom. so we're going skin tone? We're going a little darker. He said light skin tone. No, I didn't tone. say that. That's kind of like yellowy green. That's yeah, who, skin who tone. Do you know? <laughs> who do you know? That looks like I know that. that. I'm looking at one right now. <laughs> That's like maybe jaundice. <laughs> that's, in, that's, in, that's in the yellow room. Who do you Wait, know? And then you no, said light skin tone. You and that's you guys assumed I too. appreciated the things she was saying. Oh, oh, but, oh her You words. know what? I appreciate being appreciated. <laughs> I'm, I'm going all in uh, on those two right there, I guess. <laughs> Obviously. 
literally <laughs> we're going off of our actual skin and not emoji skin because and I was like, like and my because, emoji skin would be wild baby. I would have if I would have known you should have said emoji skin I would have definitely gone more yellow definitely gone more yellow Is it emoji Amy? skin I never said it's emoji like, skin I'm just emoji saying <laughs> cause I got Washing jaundice pot. oh hello Farron <laughs> I feel like we are all over the place. We are. People people are guessing H11, H14, H5. H11, H14, H5. Are you kidding me? Hey, that's what I guessed, too. They're on board with what Katie did. Yeah. Some people said 12 and 14 and 13, which is where you started. Now people out. What are you going to pick? Do you? What are you going to pick? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this should have okay. been very difficult. I'm way out of it. I'm just way out of it. But I, I, I don't didn't think, think it was going to be You know what I should have? You know what happened? I should have listened to the flesh and then listened to Never the Never listened to the flesh. <laughs> Oh, that's I'm right. You're supposed to say no to me. We're all down for better or for worse. I used to be like, it was, <laughs> it was a zombie. It was a zombie. To our Zoom audience, or whatever the, is this Somebody Zoom? Somebody said, the chat I, yeah, I 11. Oh, Zoom audience was on it. Like, as soon as I said flesh, they were like, bam, 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 right around where I was. Somebody guessed the same one Chantel put down. So. What thank is it? You. I, feel, I thank you. Whoa! Well, it was still a terrible clue, but <laughs> they got it. H twelve. H twelve. Oh my goodness! Wow, you scored big on that one, Amy. And she she was the biggest criticizer. <laughs> <laughs> like, was I not wrong? She got pink got five. five. I oh had my. two. Terrible. I'm sorry, Sarah. Terrible. One two. It's all right, Sarah. I'm like out here too. So <laughs> I was waiting for him to say it was like. A zombie or a smurf or something. Wow. A smurf. I know. As it turns out, I was talking about the smurfs. Okay. All right. It is Sarah's turn to give a clue. Um, my clue. Charlotte, the answer was H12. H12. And Dan gets negative points. For terrible. I should clues. get points for everyone who was right on my spot or near it. Not. No. Clearly, no. they, they were me. getting it. Everyone else, sure. Okay. Not you. <laughs> it, looks, <laughs> it looks a little more dull on the screen than it does here. Everything here is like, this is so bright to be anybody's skin tone. Yeah. I get one new card? Sunburn yeah. is about Just the one. only Just thing we got in here. <laughs> Just one. That's all I'm giving out. I'm stingy with these cards. <laughs> we have a limited amount. Okay. My clue, my first snack. clue. <laughs> there's four options on each card. You could play the whole game with just uh, one card. All right, Katie, you're playing the whole game with one card. <laughs> Correct. All right, Sarah. My first Sarah. clue is wheat. 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 Mm. I go first? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What do we play to? Wheat. wheat. Uh, That's we a play solid until clue. 3.45 is when we <laughs> play to. <laughs> wheat. Wheat. I got this. Wheat. Wheat. Oh. Is it like frosted wheat? Or? I mean, <laughs> mini wheats. People's idea of wheat or actual wheat. Is it like a manna or it's Catan. Wheat. It's Catan wheat. Catan. Catan, then we're all over there. Where do you Way want to go? Over there. Whoa. Whoa. That is not where I was headed with my wheat. Well, that's where I'm headed with my wheat. Man. Let her, let her go. <laughs> Go it worked for me so far. Oh my goodness, this is what Let I was the one she <laughs> What wheat? We, is it bleached wheat? <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> where are y'all going? Have you guys actually seen wheat? No. Yes, in real life. <laughs> in real life. That's she done went to the wheat farm. <laughs> <laughs> Out there picking the wheat. <laughs> All right, Sarah, correct us. <laughs> We're people. Uh, I'm obviously people. way off. We've got a lot of things <laughs> in the I category. I, that's the one the line we're using. Yeah, K. Somebody's down here in K, which looks really green to us. Oh, well. But it could be growing wheat. Green. Yep. Mm. I, seven, um, that's here. 
It's not what phase thing. of harvest are we? What <laughs> phase of harvest? <laughs> yeah. What time of the year is it, Sarah? Um, F1? Somebody s says F1 over here. Yeah. Uh, let's go with... G1. People are thinking in the this, like, gold, gold area. Yeah. I feel like she would have said, like, goldenrod or marigold or something. I mean, that might be her next one now. You never know. She's going to correct everybody here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Somebody said G3, which is there. Hmm. Let's do... Everybody's the like, second clue is always a little more difficult. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you, because then you realize how of... they misinterpreted your first yeah, clue. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are spread out, so I need to get you guys to guess closer to where I need you to guess. Um, Krista Jones says they're on the same wavelength. They apparently, they apparently know. <laughs> um, they said, they said I four, so right in there. I mean, that's the interstate of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said in J. Okay, J's reasonable still. That's very yellow. Mm -hmm. That's like a highlighter. It's almost highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. They're uh, wanting to know if we can type the clues in the chat because they're not oh. always getting the clue. Okay, yeah, we The can. first clue was wheat. Wheat. Yep. Yeah, we probably should repeat it. Wheat. wheat. Can you type it in, Larry? That's W H E A T. Oh, I can do Which is wheat. Yeah. Emphasis on the wheat. Yeah, I got it. Uh, All right, Sarah, what is it? All right. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to think. The answer would have been F L E S. I'm getting a real anti me vibe. Oh, I can't think of anything. All right. I love it. I love it. Dan's in the middle of the pack now. Barley. Yes. It doesn't even make sense, but I'm going to go with it. Golden sand. Golden, Golden sand. sand, which is right where I am. So is this sand in Bermuda, <laughs> the Bahamas? No, 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 no. Are we in the Caribbean or are we in Myrtle Beach? Golden sand. Myrtle Beach. Which is right there next to a <laughs> river, and hey, so it for all for everybody is going on vacation mud. in South Carolina. Myrtle Beach is not the beach to go to. I agree. So then, why does everyone Except go if you live there, there. it's a well, lovely place. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so slightly nicer beaches. Also. I mean, I have heard people vacationing at Myrtle Beach and I then Hilton that. Head. I, I, I hear that a lot. Yeah, Hilton Head. What really is nice. over there? Spanish moss. <laughs> a lot yeah. of, oh, a lot of up, Spanish okay, moss. Golden sand. I'm going to go right next to Dan. Oh, oh man. I was so chocolate too. Think in that spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I literally I was like at the snack table. Golden just not even looking. <laughs> sand. Was thought, right where you were. I thought, I thought it was right where you were. Is that what you said? Like, oh. I mean, I don't know what kind This is wheat. Oh, That's what wheat looks like. <laughs> Wait, now we moved on to golden sand. Golden, golden sand, sand looks like something completely sand. different. I guess it's right there. Golden <laughs> sand doesn't exist. How it does it? It's a made up thing. Uh, if you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby, golden sand exists. It's an actual <laughs> color. Eight. I eight. Somebody saying right <coughs> there. Yeah, we got I eight. H okay. Which is all along the same. Oh, I mean, technically speaking, I don't think you should be able to go off of the zoo. She just did spot. Wait, no, that's seven. I this is right eight. Here. Oh, eight. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't She's know. She's like, oh, gotta rethink that. Like that. Guessing the audience now. Huh? Several people are saying so I eight. Okay. I mean, after you I look represent at the, the color, people. I <laughs> All right. All right. Do you hear the people sing? What's the, yeah. Answer what is, is this I6. I6. I got it exactly. Dan, you're so bad at this game. I know. <laughs> what now, Amy? I, what now? I6. Four points. Oh, he caught up to Amy. Green gets two points. How many Amy did you gets get, Amy? one. Who Red winning? gets one, and I get two. I just made the biggest leap, though. I'm Dead. coming now. Yeah, but the He's one making a comeback. That, yeah. <laughs> Five points. So I'm just no. You I'm got coming for you. You got wow. Five. It's your turn, Sarah. I'm just gonna say you and I are at the bottom mm. of the pack. That's I know. embarrassing. It is embarrassing because <laughs> I usually do really well at this game. I needed one more card. Okay. 
Remember when I asked for cards early and then I didn't look at them? <clears throat> do, you remember, do you remember when she asked for cards before we started and then was like, no, I don't like these cards. Give me new cards. <laughs> they were all purple. <laughs> Purples <laughs> are legitimate choices on the board, Amy. <sighs> I'm Purples are colors too. Your value in the color wheel it Amy's was just <laughs> a lot of. Technically, there Eight are points. some of these colors that oh. do not show up in the rainbow. Some people already have connected. 16 points. Oh, what? Rebecca, that's one I had. Amy's not that's winning. Rebecca in the in the chat but is Amy's at still 16 beating already. Yeah. There were people Whoa. that got points off of that last one in the chat. Oh, my friend Emily Charlotte said points. she's at five. She's also an artist, and so we're all struggling here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're too literal, I guess. I'm gonna... Chris oh. has 16. Uh, oh, yeah. Chris has 16. Man, audience, I'm gonna start watching. I'll do that, too. What's the, what's the audience's up, guess on this? <laughs> What we look like, guys. Just so you know. I feel like it needs to be hey, <laughs> hey, we are board gamers, and we is usually depicted as a slightly more yellow oh, in games. Yep. That's true. That's I was what thinking, I was, I was trying thinking of to a real life of wheat that we see all the time. Oh, in okay. games. So it was Catan wheat. It was closer. It wasn't quite all the way yellow Catan. Yeah. Um. To the to, to the question. Yes, we've got um. It technically like two interns here. For whoever yeah, was asking who was playing the game, Amy's Amy. a, Amy's kind of an intern. I don't know what her official title is, Hi. and Dan's sort of an intern. <laughs> Officially, I'm a journeyman. Journeyman, now. Level a jar so, twice. journeyman. Yeah. Wow, yeah. two levels. <laughs> Nobody cares, Dan. Nobody cares. Someone I just want they to care. know. They yeah. care in the chat. And this they is Amy, chat. like, regular, or is it because she's growing a human being inside of her <laughs> that <laughs> it's like... She's had a lot of sugar. <laughs> I watched her eat some... some <laughs> Wide eye, just... Yeah. What's our clue, Amy? All right, what is it, Amy? Do. 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 You're getting on me for flesh, e and you're saying do. W. Oh, do. D like them. E <laughs> now, because e where? <laughs> I could have just said her, but I didn't. You can't point to anything or any person in the room. So it's obviously her. Here we go with the skin but color I again. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I am not on the board. Okay. She's not on the Dude. board. But neither I mean, is on the board. clear <laughs> water drops. So I don't I'm know. I'm sorry. I didn't say that. I, I, I is didn't that, say that. Do sitting on a leaf? We're not allowed to ask. <laughs> like what? Rain. What? Well, like morning what dew. does morning like, dew look or like? Mountain dew. Mountain or dew. Honey dew. Honey dew. No, no, no. That would have been one word. <laughs> yeah. Oh, honey. She, uh, honey. She could have said a dew. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. That's what dew looks like. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Amy. Amy. Amy has left the room. M. She we, clearly somebody disagrees. said three. M. Four. M I mean, four. Oh, Mountain Dew. They're going with the Mountain Dew. All right, thing. I'm gonna go. You know K what? I, I'm feeling it. Okay. Right here. I'm, I'm, oh, I'm so stuck between these J two. J twenty. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Can you pick up I'm way more blue? It. You're going over there. J nineteen. <laughs> Somebody's throwing candy. I sixteen <laughs> was just done. I sixteen. That's oh, kind of so I've never been so me. nervous playing a game before. No. I mean. My palms oh, are sweating. Yeah. Remember that game where you had to like draw something and then grab a number? Yes. The, the that clue was, was, was I do. I'm already way behind. Do, do I go for Mountain Dew? Just do. Somebody in the chat yeah, said do, M do M3 do. or M4 because they thought it was Mountain Dew. It might be. I'm doing You're about to find out. Oh, it's just doing this. Whoa. It's doing this. It's doing this. Watch your sound. Somebody head. said, hey, okay. somebody said, hey, yes. oh. Wait, wait, it's your clue is mountain? All right. <laughs> what, what's the next clue? Mountain <laughs> Dew. No! Yes! Oh, what? That's terrible. <laughs> Let's see what everybody else is putting in there. L, oh my L's goodness. and J's. No. No, Do no, 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 no. That's yes, wrong. Those... That's not Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew looks like that. 
Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Whose turn is it? No. Is it the label though or the actual Don't take my spot. Oh, right. That's true. So I could say. Oh, Mountain is it the brand or the liquid? If I already said dew, can I say Mountain Dew and then something else? No. You have to do different words. Or I mean, you don't have to do different words. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mountain liquid then. Oh, okay. Do you want mountain to liquid. Yeah. Mountain liquid. Okay, so mountain right her, liquid her, her, her has technically liquid. Liquid. has been changed. Just, it's, Sorry, she's she's, she's modifying it to the it is the drink, the actual liquid. I'm so <laughs> confused. I've never been so co- I don't drink enough Mountain Dew. That's well, upsetting. That's a personal problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amy is just <laughs> This is why they only put me on one game today. All right, L. <laughs> Nothing All right, L. One today. Four. That is Mountain Dew. If that's not Mountain Dew, you don't know what Mountain I mean, Dew looks like. Can, can Unless someone it get us a Mountain Dew? <laughs> Unless it's not this But I think it. it's this one. Is this no, Mellow Yellow what? and that's Mountain Dew? Where's Kevin? No, Kevin four. used to bring us a Mountain Dew in a clear cup. L. Dump oh, it. L. Yes. L. L. Oh yes, yeah. you Some, should know your husband drinks. I know. Time. Somebody what bring us a Mountain Dew. We need a comparison here. And a clear cup. In a clear cup. Oh. oh. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, yeah. Why? Oh, I got four points. Sarah! Dew. Dew. Got the dew. And I got the dew! <laughs> It was M4. The first thing that they put in there was right on the money, and I was like, All right, so now we're going to see the color of Mountain Dew. All right, here we go. Pass it over, Kevin. Kevin's bringing... Kevin is bringing us some Mountain Dew, and we're gonna check if M4. Okay, so my oh, the can, can. The can. The can. Oh, very the close can. to your first yes. kiss. We're gonna see. We're looking. I'll drink it when you're she done. She said the liquid. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, she oh, was. Oh, yeah. she was. Look, I think I'm closer though. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. I think yep, that is the color close. of Mountain Dew. It's changing the color as you move it over. It is. Yeah. <laughs> well, what? Yeah, Let's put it on the It's orange. becoming more yellow, I well, feel like. Well, it depends on what's underneath <laughs> you. <laughs> it, I'm, I don't know. Well, if you put it if there, you put it under the yellow. orange piece, the I'm, orange spaces, it looks I'm, more orange. I'm looking at it sideways. <laughs> okay, he's like, I'm regardless of the color, I'm still drinking it. Uh, yes, I got points. Okay. okay. Are you <laughs> sure? Because I'm like, <laughs> I'm supposed to be. I mean, <laughs> y'all are killing me here. All right. What's my next? Clue? Oh my goodness. I keep looking at this like, what words am I supposed to I use? Oh, please. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you and your need of cards. <laughs> All right. This Wendy. is. And then you're trying to pick colors that like someone else hasn't done yet, so like we don't gravitate towards that again. That same color um, as previously said. Can we do that though? Could I say wheat? <laughs> I mean, I feel like we shouldn't. Wow. Oh, this is this is gonna be hard. Correct. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Alright, I'm gonna go with Brick. Sheep. That's not a bad one. <laughs> um, oh. I'm gonna go with fire engine. That's one word. That's two. No. Words. Okay, I'm not going with that one. It's not much. <laughs> it sounded good right. when I, before I said it. That was like, oh no, that's not one. <laughs> Well, it's too late. I'm now. gonna choose a different color. <laughs> I feel like I'm, choosing, I'm choosing a well, different color. She started color. with fire, and I was like, really? I choose a, well, I'm the choosing thing is that once you said bro, brick, and she said, oh, that's a good one, and that's a fire engine, then it was clearly <laughs> turquoise. Is that far? That's far enough off the beaten path, right? Yeah. Turquoise. Turquoise. The first clue is turquoise. Whoa. Is it like. <laughs> it's like if you said teal. There, there's so many. Teals. Her next clue is going to be Sarah, but she can't do that. So. <laughs> You're right. All right, turquoise. Boom. No. Nope. It's done. No. Nope. It's done. That's like aqua. It's done. That's aqua. Teal, aqua, turquoise, and turtles are the same color. <laughs> turtles and turtles. Throw those in the mix. I don't know. Anything. Like, we got. Like, I was confident until Amy said something. <laughs> 
every time Amy talks that I'm right. no longer confident in we my answer. We got people guessing Ooh, M's, N's, and what? L's in the 20s. Yeah. That seems to oh be the area. Turquoise. M, Tur, N, N, and L. So this section is where people are guessing. Somebody guessed an O. Where's O? Oh, it's further down. It's a darker. So a little more into the green oh, section. No, they're wrong. And, I mean, are we uh, talking oh, about the jewel tone? Like turquoise. Turquoise? turquoise? In turquoise. I mean, yeah. there's not just one kind of turquoise. You're like a dark sea foam over there. What is up with P, the sea foam? Somebody what did P all the way down here. So P28. It's like it's somebody sea foam. Oh. <laughs> somebody threw up in the ocean. No, she's oh, <laughs> sea foam was very popular. It was a certain isn't color foam, that was named for a while. Like, oh, is it sea foam? Yeah, like, that, something, that something white something stuff in this on area. the. Is that too color. much? And, oh, it's, it's and it's usually in we real life kind of a brownie. And we need to keep it so. It's your turn, Amy. Yeah, Dan keeps go. talking. Okay. It's <laughs> throwing you off, huh? I feel like we're in school. It was Dan's fault. He started it. Turquoise. Yeah, the clue hasn't changed, Amy. <laughs> wow. Okay, here we come. She's working on it. Um. What's sea foam? What is up with sea foam? I never heard of that. Okay, let's see. Um, let's go with. Amy's right. <laughs> That's a good clue. No, we're like Katie's still thinking with her mouth open. <laughs> Noon sky. Moon. Noon. 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 Amy's up. Sky. So like it's a time of day. Noon. Twelve o'clock. Noon. Noon it sky. It depends on what side of the world you're on. Well, <laughs> wherever you are, and it's noon. <laughs> wherever. I am. Okay, got it. Got it. Okay. Wow. I mean, is it cloudy? <laughs> <laughs> Is it going to rain? <laughs> Are you staring directly into the sun? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Where are people saying now? In the K's, the L's, L's. H's. I mean, L's, H's. People are coming here, up in here. Drink this. Oh, I've been drinking it. <laughs> I'm. I must be bad at giving clues. <laughs> Nobody's getting it. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Oh, I'm not I will. Way. I will say that several people in chat have gotten close. Oh, that's right next to mine. <clears throat> it's the sky. The sky. It's right there. This one. Yep. Okay. I'm spread Go, Dan. Here. So at least mm. I can get some points in this. Turquoise. One of them. See, the wrong. turquoise has thrown me off. Yeah, exactly. But new, new clearly, sky. it wasn't what we thought it was. I feel like it's up here. <laughs> I mean, but can we look at the sky right now? Isn't it noon? It's cloudy outside. <laughs> I'm, I'm going it's out It's 3.33. That's kay. the wrong color. And I'm going right here. Okay. Right. Answers. The answer is... I just is, know if I'm ever close to Dan. Let I'm me double points. check the answer. <laughs> <laughs> answer is M24. What? Ooh, I was close. Uh, Wait, I'm off right here. Oh, right uh, oh, no, she didn't. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. Yeah. Krista... <laughs> Krista in the chat got it. Joy so Katie, in my failure? It was lame, guys. I tried oh so hard, God. and then I should have said, I I was like, I they need to go more towards this and less towards that, and then I was like, no. Now they're going lighter because I said sky. Uh, I was trying to get well, the. Because I tried to move noon. a little you further said the away time from green. Day. <laughs> like specifically uh, when the sun is at its it All was right. rough, guys. I'm apparently not very good at this game. Everyone's <laughs> self-confidence is just plummeting. <laughs> <laughs> My ability to recognize colors has gone down. All right. Did, did we assign points already? Yep, we did. Yep. Okay. My clue is lips. You're the worst. <laughs> Why okay, you, don't look at my legs. No there? longer me. Why don't you just worse. say flesh? <laughs> it's not me anymore. Just more. say flesh. <laughs> All right, Ooh. lips. Lips. Every shade of Somebody says B15 is the right answer. Where is that? Right. Somebody's got some bright lips. <laughs> Somebody's got some bright lips. I'm going to go right. a little more. Somebody said G. 
or pink. Flesh color. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if these she, are some fleshy looks. She thought she thought flesh H. was here, so lips are probably like here. Who's lips? I'm gonna go there. Here. All right, Amy. Oh no! I gotta, it depends on what color lipstick you're wearing. Look at me, I'm way on here. Okay. I can't, I can't see. F or even warm tone lips. F12. Well, that's not a bad guess. <laughs> Amy's like, got it. I'm going with F12. Thank you, suggestion from the audience. <laughs> All right. We're looking at... Oh, thank, Chris. thanks, Chris Hartwick. I see you. We're going to go that. with i I'm going with your answer because I'm doing terrible in my own answers. Light <laughs> blush. Light blush. Blush. Okay. A light How am I blush? supposed to know that? I mean, what Come blush on. did you put you on this three morning? You have daughters. Who <laughs> not are old enough to wear makeup. All right, Katie, you're His up. oldest daughter's like seven. <laughs> or eight, maybe. But blush is already light. The color blush is blush. already light. Blush. Yes, you can have. Well, you, girl, there's some what blush What did I say? People but be like F13. But like not the Somebody not saying the F13 for a blush. Mm. But like the color blush. It's like oh. a really light pink. But then she said light blush and that's not on the board. I don't know. I'm going right here. No, 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 no. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, like, oh, oh, oh. If you like right there, does that mean that it's done? That's it. That's my final answer. <laughs> that's blush. But maybe that's light blush. <laughs> Yeah, I think, but that's a little too pink for lips. Yeah, but that's light blush. That's so, who yeah. knows? <laughs> Some people are saying F12, G16, G16. Somebody's saying purple. Oh, cool. that's I'm kind of purple. Some oxygen people got there. Well, all right. If, all right. Points, if we're in the right area, you all get right. a lot we're of We're looking points. at a G13. Right? Nice. G. Yeah! 13. Oh! Look That's at how many up. points you got! Wow! You're making fun of these lips. Hey! Thank you! Thank you, Chris Hartwick, for getting me and some you points. Got two. Good job, Amy. Red got, I got four. Three. Two. You, oh, I forgot about you. I got two. two three, four. four. Four for me. Thank you. One, two, three, four. And you got. I'm almost caught up to three, seven. Chantel got seven points. Whoa! Oh, I'm tied with Amy. Again. No way! Wait, didn't Dan. you say two, right. two players can't? I just took blue. Whose is that? Oh, no, they on have the, the points. On the points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so she has to go back. On the board, Amy, not on the thing. All right. I, somebody has 25. How much you guys 25? Who has 24. 25 points? Chantel and we Amy are at 25. Oh, Chris, yes, we are. Chris Kaufman. That's not that impressive. We is up at 25. <laughs> He's much better at this than I am. All right, okay. Dan. Okay. All right, new card. Chris. Um, Damn. Yeah. I don't inherently. Several people have got like, it. I people are calling shenanigans all over the place. Just yeah, you know. I'm sure. You huh. were what? what? Shenanigans. Oh. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, Dan. I'm gonna throw out seafoam. Seafoam. That's Perfect. two words. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a single word. It's a single word. I obviously I did not pay attention in school. No. Like. That to is know so what single and double are. Are you going by the right, description Amy. of somebody throwing up in the ocean? Because that's going to be over here. <laughs> well, it depends on what you eat. foam is the, is the <laughs> clue. Sea foam. L. Okay, Somebody's let's go. saying L. What is this? L19. Yeah. L19. I feel like Sarah. That may be a little darker than I was yeah. thinking of I know what sea foam is. Yeah. I grew up in the era, era where I'm gonna go everything is there. Sea foam. I'm gonna I should look for here. Chris. What? All right, Chris Hartwick, what were you it. guessing? <laughs> Got I feel like Sarah has up. it right on the money, though, yeah. again. Do I have to give another clue? You do. Oh, I mean, you, you can no, the same say, You can abstain. It, there is an option. <laughs> oh. You can abstain and just go with your thing. So, so, I mean, somebody got it already. I'll, yeah, I'll just stick just with sea foam. Okay. All right, back to me. I'm going to go right next to Sarah then. Boom. The, uh, I'm going this way. He's going to get so many points. Oh, oh my no. goodness. No. No. Dan, <laughs> he's, in last place. he's in last place. No more points for you. Oh, oh yeah. He... I'm in last place. No. No. Katie's in last place. I'm in last place. Oh, that's Katie, not Dan. No, no. It's so lame. <laughs> well, I'm glad I actually People are always going to know go. what the color is. Sea foam. <laughs> J K12. Somebody's saying K12. That's a good spot. Hmm. 
But we're okay, fairly going. certain we're just right here in the right area. All Somebody's right. already got it right for sure. We're going to okay. Come on, come on. Fifteen. Yes. Oh my Fifteen. God. Yes. I got my yes. He didn't know really what it was. I so did. He didn't. I did. I had a rough picture. <laughs> all right. And we all Maybe guessed it. it. But it, like, if you guys. But it was actually more. this one. Well, that one was Seafoam. Wait a minute. That oh. one that I went first. Was yeah. It, that was Seafoam. Yeah. Agreed. Sure. <laughs> he said sure. Why you not? got seven. seven. Oh my goodness. Dad, pull it off the win. Uh, no, quite. I can. Sarah's still got a turn. Four oh, okay. Sarah's got a turn. Two, three, four. Uh, okay. But I'm at least right. Are we tying again? Do we get the yeah. answer in there? Oh my. Last one. Last one. Is anybody? Okay. Is anybody in the audience That's actually right. getting the correct answer? Yes. yes. All right, last one. Okay. All I mean, right. whoever got 25 points already had to have My uh, <laughs> clue is papaya. What? What color are papayas? Oh, papayas. That's papaya. a good one. That's a good like one. one. No, 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 Can we no, Google no, 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 papaya? No. Can we look at Cheater. these? You don't. I didn't know what sea foam was. You can was. do that and automatically forfeit the game if you want. Mm, there it is. Oh, Declaring me the winner. Oh, snap. You're first, Amy. <laughs> Show me in the room. Hey, somebody in chat, You'll have to make tell us what okay, papaya. papayas look like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what color are papayas? <laughs> is it Amy that goes first? Yes. Okay. Yes, good job. I was Thank just, you, Amy. I'm, Show okay, us where to my go. My second clue is going to be difficult. <laughs> wherever, to Amy, wherever Amy goes, I'm not going to go in that area. I know. Okay. I don't think it's blue, and I don't think it's purple. Okay. I uh, don't even know what color family okay. it's in. <laughs> I got no idea. Papaya. What are those look I feel like? like I'm, I'm getting it's confused. Like green, I feel yellow. like they look kind of like Maybe. mangoes, but that may be really wrong. <laughs> because I'm thinking that they're shot. mangoes. Papaya. I know and they're they not the were same. criticizing me about sea foam. <laughs> Papaya. We don't know our tropical fruit like we should. Mm -hmm. I don't have a tree in my backyard. Just Do they grow guess. on trees? And just, just go. For I'm it. assuming that the they inside and outside look different. Are you just gonna it throw is. it on there and be yeah. like, "Where did it land?" Not on the board. Oh man, that's too bad. <laughs> cheater, right. cheater. What's a papaya? We're trying What's to look it up. What's a papaya? It's a fruit. <laughs> we don't. None yeah, of us no, know what you papaya. can't show yeah, up. No. That sounds good. That's but nice. I literally I closed my eyes. I don't think that's too. terrible. I think oh, that is horrible. Oh, thank you so much, Dan. Yeah. I think it is. Oh, <laughs> uh, papaya. Let's see if our online. Are you guys going for raw? Oh, is that where papayas are? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking of a mango, and they're real yellow on the inside. I'm gonna go somewhere in the middle. Okay. I'm not confident at all. Can I look at? All right, Dan, you're, you're, first no. you're first again. Well, you're first, Dan. Hear what's next. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. She said it was we going to be horrible. We're all just get some papaya. You're saying no, you can't look at your phone. I know we follow rules. It's such a bummer. Is <laughs> you can't look at your phone in the rules? Yes. Okay. Show me. <laughs> I bet it's in there. I'm looking it up. <laughs> there you go. Lies it's in the spirit of it. When she said lips, I pulled out my phone and did like a selfie thing and was like, all right, well, let's that's look. Different. <laughs> that's you. <laughs> let's go with salmon. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah. That doesn't say anything about oh, your phone. So now. nobody was close. Salmon? I don't hey! She doesn't know what papayas look like Do you either. know what a salmon looks no, like? No, the outside of a papaya is one color and the inside is it's a different color. color. Oh, no. Are you giving us two words? Wait, Wait, is it salmon, salmon like a salmon or fish just going salmon, with salmon? Or is it salmon like the color salmon? Are well, we talking about Alaskan salmon? Yeah, where's the salmon from? Is it is it is it so, farm raised Chinook. or wild caught? Chinook, Chinook salmon. Salmon. Chinook salmon. That's not what salmon looks like, but that's probably what papayas look like. <laughs> uh, salmon. Whoa, your salmon is rotten. That's what salmon looks like. Salmon. Whoa, what? Is that's that? bubble gum. Chicken ass. Correct. <laughs> that's bubble gum. You have to you have to at least go near Chantel because she knew what papayas look like. <laughs> But this is a Chinook salmon. Okay. She don't know what a Chinook salmon is. But she knows. Know say that first she word. She knows what papaya <laughs> looks like. So you gotta at least be close to Chantel. 
No, I don't trust her. Okay. See, oh my. You should have gotten closer to me. This has to be the widest yeah. spread it of Correct. the entire it game. Let's go, Sarah. Okay. What is so it, here's Sarah? Here's a picture of a papaya. Uh, oh, I've okay. never had one of those. Oh, yeah. Like a I don't think pinky, I've ever had one either. Pinky orange color. Is it? It's not yeah. yellow? So like, no. <laughs> those are no, definitely, no, this is the mango no. area. Uh, that was my mango guess. is... Uh, yes! Oh, what? Man. Oh, man. You gotta go G9. next to Chantel because she knows what papaya is. You weren't, you weren't, you should have gotten this direction. You still get nothing. I still got nothing. <laughs> CME, you should have gotten this I got two points. Oh, but it doesn't matter because. And, it's oh, you. damn. No. Damn. You have been next to me with a little Dad pulls off the win. The board is right up there. Ooh. On the oh, shelf. the live pad. We this need a pen. Why need you and your papayas? <laughs> Alright, Dan. I feel seafoam. like I was very oh, close. Seafoam. Oh yeah, from... his his seafoam. He lucked out with All that. Alright, you get to put it in. Alright, we also need to pick a winner for Hunter. Alright, here it comes. How are we doing that? Has someone told us how to actually pronounce pronounce it? Is no. it Junta or is it Junta? It's Junta. I don't know. It looks it's like Junta. Junta. It's Junta. Okay. Oh, there because we go. there's a local coffee shop called Jun Junto. Oh. That is spelled almost the same. Oh. Okay. And I always say it wrong because I say it in Spanish. Oh. All right, Dan's filling out Q's and sense. Q's. When in doubt, pronounce it in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> You'll sound like you know more anyway. <laughs> All right. Can Melissa scroll through? Do you have comments up? Scroll through the comments and select a winner. I think someone downstairs is doing it. Oh, somebody downstairs is doing it. So, oh, maybe they We'll are. get one in just a second. Mm. I think it there needs to be YouTube. Oh, yep, he's got it pulled up. Scrolling through comments. Let's go. And Who is that winner? Who is the winner? <coughs> Chantel oh, wins. Yes. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Dan just marked his spot on the oh playthrough my. leaderboard. He's ahead of me. Wow. I'm still at zero <laughs> wins. Oh no, Sarah! One of those people win. All right, did. Yes. Wow. It was the winner. It is was the papaya. Mert Russo. Mert, congrats. Yes. Congratulations. Congrats. Send an email to Sarah S A R A at tantrumhouse.com. Let us know you win Junta and your address. Congratulations. Next, Ooh. we are headed over to give away more stuff and the Wheel of Wow. The Wheel of Wow. Oh. Hey, welcome to the Wheel of Wow. I are here. We're going to spin the wheel tw no, once. The first one, this one right here for the Wheel of Wow, is for the Zoom people, and they are entering for the the alpha game from the Dell Brothers. You can find out more information. It's a print and play game alpha. Um, and you can find out more information at the website delvebros.com. D E L V E B R O S.com. One of our sponsors. Thank you very much. Are we ready to spin the wheel for this print and play of the alpha? Let's do it. What? And the winner is. It's still spinning. Tick, tick, tick. Wendy S. Congratulations, Wendy, Wendy S. <laughs> is she in there? Is she back here? Let me say. Is she in here? She's in here somewhere. All right, we got another. We're not spinning the wheel for this one. This is for our YouTube audience. We're going to choose someone from the comments. And this is God of War, the card game from Simon. So, someone choose a winner from the comments and let me know who it is. Is Will doing it? Sure. Wait, can I just give away a Another game! Another, We're giving away! Game. How about Luke Seegers? Luke Seegers! How do you spell the last name? S-E-I-G-A-R-S. S-E-I-G-A-R-S. -E Whatever. Alright, congratulations to Luke. Make sure you email if you just won. Uh, Wendy or Luke. Sarah at tantrumhouse.com. S-A-R-A at tantrumhouse.com. I believe we're going to play a short game online, Parks Memories. Oh, it's a video. Very cool. We're going to watch the video and you guys can play along in the chat in just a second.
Welcome back. I hope you had fun playing this Parks Memories game, which is currently available from our sponsor, Keymaster Games. Right now, we're about to play Codenames Duet, and this is a cooperative game. Yes, so Kevin <coughs> and I are playing the two different sides on Codenames Duet. We're actually playing an online application it on of it, screen. which is brand new. This is, I guess, yeah, we, we have the beta version. Design. We have the beta version, the regular, code. you're probably familiar with the regular code names, which has been out a long time. You can find out more information at codenames.games, mm -hmm. and you actually play online with people around the world. But this beta version is coming out soon from uh, CGE, Codenames Duet, another version of Codenames. So what you're going to see is actually the spectator view, so okay. you're not going to see any of the answers. Kevin and I are each logged into a different side, so we have colors highlighted to know which ones we're trying to get our teammate to guess. Now Jonah's going to help us out by... Uh, by moderating. He's going to be in between us as we have fisticuffs between us here. Uh, so what <laughs> this I'm is gonna, a cooperative game. Yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm going to act as the voice of our audience here. The voice of Zoom, awesome. the voice of YouTube. So Kevin might give a clue yep. for Melissa to select some certain cards, hoping to get the green ones. That's the color <laughs> so of the duet. One. Yes. And she's only going to select the cards that she thinks is the right answer, but Good you one. guys in the audience at home, Zoom and YouTube, are going to help her select which ones, right ones you think are going to be appropriate for Kevin's clue. And then we'll just reverse it. Melissa mm -hmm. will give a clue. The Zoom will help. The YouTube will help. And Kevin will select those answers so we can see yep. if they are, in fact, going to win this cooperative, cooperative codename duet. Can, can we sync up? Sync up with ourselves and with the people on chat. Um, before we get started, though, we do have a giveaway at the end of this game from Peacekeeper Games. Oh, and that's the mat. We have a game called Gearworks. This is the nice, cool sleeve. Sure is. Gearworks and the play mat. So at the end of our play here of Codenames Duet, we're going to give away this copy plus the mat to one of the people in YouTube who are chatting away. So definitely chat. So we can choose one of your names. Absolutely. Yeah. And we thought this one was a good way, good to give away with this game because it's also kind of puzzly. It's yeah. not cooperative, but it kind of uses a bit of a Sudoku. Oh, the grid-based cards. Grid. Yeah. So there's a grid in Gearbox. Wow, all as well. the things. Thinking. All right, and you may notice that there are some words that seem tantrum house related. Uh, CGE made a specific special pack of words for us to use, and so some of the words are related to us. I I have, you have a clue? I have a clue. So I'm All going right. to type it in and then voice it. Voice it out loud for everyone to hear and see and maybe All Jonah right. can type it in as well. Great. Alright. So the so clue that Melissa's gonna give, she's I uh, should say you're on team A. I am team A. I'm on team B. So But it's cooperative. So but I'm I'm definitely on team B. I'm giving the clue and it is <laughs> Zoom two this game is very similar to regular code names, so Kevin is looking for two cards mm. that he thinks connect to the clue Zoom. Cooperatively, we're trying to find 15 of these cards. 15 cards? Mm-hmm. All right, so your clue was Zoom 2. Mm -hmm. So something with, um, well, Zoom can mean a couple different things. Zoom mm -hmm. could mean um, fast, like a car, Zoom Zoom. Or it could mean like what we're on right now with Jonah. Yep. Zoom. So let's see. We've got lots of uh, suggestions. Oh, we got here. suggestions already? Tell uh, us. YouTube is saying crew, video, video. <laughs> Video's coming up a lot. Friends, video, and bicycle. Podcast. Mmm. Tantrum. Crew, crew. <laughs> video, friends, crew. Bicycle and limo, video crew, tantrum friends, crew video, 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 video. Lots of I'm, I'm saying video. I agree I with video. I'm going to touch video and see if that is a. That, All right. Woo! Good work, everybody. That one. You did say two, though. I did say two. Bicycle up there is intriguing to me. And that was mentioned a few times. Why is bicycle intriguing? For Zoom clue, just because you can go fast on a bicycle. Yeah, because you can go fast on a bicycle. Not that fast. Not Zoom fast. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom fast. 
A lot of guesses here. Crew's a lot of people guesses. want you to select a crew. I'm not allowed to say anything. I'd be like, what? <laughs> now, tell us a little bit about this game before I choose a clue. Because... All right, so this game, unlike the regular code names, there are actually three assassins on each side. That's what so I'm, I'm three, just being careful here. <laughs> three cards that will be automatic game over. The interesting thing, though, is as I'm looking at my grid, the three ones that would be assassins for Kevin, for me on his grid, one of those is actually one that I need to touch. So it's green on his side. And one of them is an assassin. On, right. And one of them is neutral. And do we have some shared green cards? We do have some shared green cards. I don't remember how many are shared. So there there could be some cards as I'm looking they want at. They select crew. <laughs> crew is a lot of, because we're right. the Zoom Can, crew. That's zoom crew. Oh, it day. is a zoom crew. They, Thank they you. They want you to select crew. Uh, I, badly. for you. Everyone's saying select crew. Zoom crew, here we go. <laughs> Stop stalling, Kevin. I'm not stalling. All right. Good Woo! work, everybody. Good work at home. Were you able to think of a clue now? now yeah, Kevin, now, I get, to, now, now I get to uh, lengthen this a little bit longer as I get to choose a clue, and I have chosen a clue for Team A. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I, I am ready. The, the clue is medalist. Two. Mentalist or medalist? You, you do have to type it in. Oh, I do have to type it in. It, that's the only and way. Guessing. The, Sorry, yeah. I gotta... It's the only way the game will progress. med o -list. Like a metal? Ah, like a metal. List, and then two. Here we go. Given the clue. Medalist, two. All right. So someone who -E has gotten a medal. So um, winner jumps out at me. Someone who is a medalist. Zoom, is, Zoom wants winner. winner and copper. Mm, mm. Copper. So does YouTube. Because copper could be. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if Kevin was YouTube thinking. YouTube wants winner and copper. But there are some ski. Ski, ski was also one that I was leaning towards because it is an Olymp Olympic sport. Um, mm, let's see. Not worm. Not smuggler. I, I'm really liking winner for a medalist. And then I am a little torn between ski and copper as the next best one. You definitely have more winner guesses from right. YouTube and Zoom. All right, I will definitely go with winner as my first. We'll see if it's right. Uh, Yay! All right. Okay. Good work, everybody. All right, now are we leaning towards ski or are we leaning You've towards gotten copper? A I mean, lot, it's bronze. A significant amount of coppers. You've gotten a few <laughs> skis and a few bicycles. Mm. bicycles. Because so, why not? So <laughs> if Kevin was really thinking, at least for the Olympics, it's gold, silver, bronze. So copper. I don't know what Kevin was thinking. Now that How you've well? selected winner, most of the comments coming in now are saying copper. Hmm. All right, well, I will go with the audience then. I'm thinking it might be ski, but I'm going to go with you all, and I'm going to try copper and see what happens. All right. It Good was, work. could have been. Right. The, just like any code names. We don't know if that was the yes, correct answer. Yes, just like any code names, it's Good going work. to tell you what the card is, whether or not that's what Kevin was thinking. But it was a correct answer. <laughs> okay, now I need to actually give a clue, and I haven't been thinking. All right. So talk while I look at this. <laughs> talk okay, amongst yourselves. Yes, I'm For you guys at home, if you can think of a very good... Oh, you can't see the you grid. Don't know you can what? give us clues, though. Maybe it's a good one. Maybe. It well, they don't know one, which... They can't uh, see the grid. Mm -hmm. They can see... You guys are doing really great on the answers, though. You guys are, like, killing it so far. Four for four. I, I think everyone wants you to give a three clue. Oh, three can words. I, can I three connect three? I don't even know if I can. I'm, I'm going to start thinking here. Oh, man. Some of these words don't go well together. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, can't do that. Oh, I just saw <laughs> I almost, I almost, Did it I almost messed up bad. <laughs> Yeah, so Codenames Duet is unique. I've played it a few times. Chantel and I actually have gotten this to our table where we've played it. And I really enjoyed it because same grid of 20 cards. I believe it's 20. But then you've got... 25. Yeah. 25. But then you've got the same... It's like a different 
I just thought it was so interesting that like it could be a black card, like mm -hmm. an assassin on my end, but, but it could be a green card for her. So it's like I can never give a clue that would but have anything to. to do with that card. Yep. And so your brain's telling you, don't no matter this. what, don't even look at that card. I, I know, my, yeah. my brain's your looking brain's at Your brain's going, these. no matter what, don't look at that card, don't look at that card. And then she gives a clue and you're like, what? It's, it has to be that card. Why would it be that card? And then you have to remember. Mm. Like, oh my goodness, okay, that one actually might not be an assassin for her. It's so <laughs> interesting to play duet. And I think in duet, they give you like different advancements, like kind of different mm. levels as you complete Codenames Duet. You like moving like throughout, uh, is it the country or the... Yeah, I think it's the whole world. It's the whole world. And you're yeah. like moving like yeah. city to city yeah. and they give you a little <laughs> bit right. of a rule variation every time. I can only do two. I'm going with paper two. Paper two. All right, a couple, uh, uh, one jumps out at me right away. Paper two. We, I'll wait a little bit and see if we got YouTube and um, Zoom. Zoom is saying page, lots of page. Lots page, of pages. Page, page. Okay. Page, page was the first thing that came to my mind as well. YouTube is Not saying there. page. Oh, well, they're, page. they're getting it oh, right now. Okay. YouTube is also saying page. Page is overwhelming. <laughs> Pages over That's the favorite. Okay, right, well, I'm going to do Paige, and you guys keep thinking, because I haven't found another one yet. <laughs> Here we go for Paige. I'm touching it! <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Good work. All right. Bicycle page. Oh, a bicycle page? Hmm, that could be it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Chits. Paper. Okay, we are going with... Oh, but it's a paper, paper bicycle. Paper, paper friends, paper polo. We're getting a lot of wine. chits and paper. a lot of flip. Paper flip, flip paper, paper chits, chits. Yeah, it could be, could be cow paper. We're getting a lot of chits and flip. Okay, ski paper, shelfie paper, flip paper, podcast paper, terrible paper, tie paper, paper tie? No. Paper disc, paper dance. People are saying bicycle as in the cards. Bicycle cards. Yeah, I, that's, that's, a, that's a stretch for me. <laughs> We're getting a lot of chits. Chits is chits. overwhelming. I, I'm leaning towards chits. I'm just going to go through the other ones real quick. Paper limousine, paper studio, studio paper, Kickstarter paper, Kickstarter paper, paper. We're going to chits. All right, we're going chits. Here we go. And it was one. It go. was something. You guys it was are, something. You guys are killing it. Something. Kevin six and I six. play a lot of code names. There's six for six at home. That's six for six? Yeah, at home. They're getting it right. I mean, mm -hmm. overwhelming. Yeah, They're overwhelming. Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. They're killing it. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. My clue to Melissa and guessing is going to be. <laughs> now comes the. Oh, I got this one. I don't know about this one. Let me just check the other one real quick. <laughs> It's gonna be good or bad. Voice two. Voice. Voice two. Two. Voice two. All right. Voice two. Looking at my words here. Um. All right. Zoom is saying podcast. Podcast is one I'm definitely leaning towards. YouTube is coming in as podcast. Podcast and studio are going to be your two. Podcast is getting a lot mm -hmm. of love right now. I, I'm definitely liking podcast for voice. I think studio is also a strong one. Um, not worm. Not cow. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to press podcast because I think you all are on the right track with that one. Okay. All right, good work. All right, second voice. Are you all thinking studio? Is that the... We are getting a good amount of studios. We are getting some tantrums. Tantrum, tantrums I mean, are coming when in. you throw a tantrum, you're probably using your voice. Yep. Uh, I would honestly say studio and tantrum are kind of uh, neck, neck, and neck and neck right now. Mm. Tantrum. I'm gonna try tantrum. Uh oh. Uh oh. Famous last words for code names. Mm -hmm. Trying to go out on a limb. I'm gonna go out on a limb. Oh, but she gets it. <laughs> she gets it. She gets mm -hmm. a correct answer. That's right. Now there is a kind of 
sort of timer system where you Wait, we're on a timer? I have a certain number of rounds that you need to do it. Oh, how are we because doing? Because the um Are we doing okay? I think so. It says six. six. Oh, okay. I haven't been I haven't been noticing if it's been counting down or not. Okay. So we have six more turns. Okay. Back to Melissa. Give me oh, a clue. Oh, back to me. Uh oh. <laughs> I need thinking. to think about she's a clue. Been thinking. While she's thinking, mm -hmm. uh, let us know in the comments it, what it has been counting down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, oh, they're watching it. Oh, they're watching mm -hmm. it. Um, let us know in the comments what your favorite version of Codenames is. There's a lot of them out there now. There's the regular Codenames, Codenames Duet, Codenames Disney, Codenames Marvel. There's um, Codenames Harry Potter. Uh, Codenames. There's a giant Codenames. There's a giant. That <laughs> happens to be in this house right now. Maybe we should show them how big this thing is. I'll get it. Oh, they'll get it for us. Oh, they'll, they'll get bring it. it to us. Oh, they'll bring it to us. What? What you service? Guys are, you guys are going to be ready for this at home. We have a giant copy of Codenames. Here's the here's the regular code names box. <laughs> Bring the giant copy over so they can see oh, how big it is. Oh, it's bigger than me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be thinking about a clue. There you go. Giant code names. Regular size. Regular size code names. That's pretty. This is the convention size, which we should have been playing with. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> and the other side is code name pictures because it's got both in there. Heyo. <laughs> so code names pictures. Woo. Code names. I got. I got to think of a clue too. While Melissa's thinking of a clue. I know these last few are very hard to connect together. <laughs> wow. You having as much trouble as I am? Yep. <laughs> We've got some code names duet, code names Disney, code names pictures, code names after dark, code names regular code names. Let's see what YouTube's got going on. It is huge, everyone on YouTube. It's really, really big. I uh, suggested that we use it for today. Yeah. And then we went with code names duet because uh, they've made a digital right. version. They wanted to show this off. Yeah. If they didn't have done that, we would have been playing huge code names for sure. Yep. Yeah. Because be cool. it's awesome. <clears throat> Harry Potter code names. I have not heard of that one. I didn't realize that was a thing. Yeah, Harry Potter code names is pretty fun. Nice. It's Harry got it's double sided. So one side's a picture, the other side's a word. Oh, and Harry Potter themed. Mm -hmm. All Harry the Potter people themed. that we played. Uh, Kahoot with today, Trivial Pursuit Kahoot, Harry Potter theme, were like killing it. They were. They were doing like very fast. fast. The thing about it for me that made it interesting was I tried to play it a few days ago with those same questions, yeah. and I was doing so poorly. <laughs> <laughs> so they were doing awesome. Oh, we want to see the the uh, sizes. This is the sizes of the pictures. Mm, yes. Pictures. Compared to, it's almost half the box. So let me get the uh, the words out. The Sorry, I'm getting distracted listening to you all words. instead of thinking of a clue. The what regular size and the big size. Yep. It you really ready, Melissa? Give me really a clue. It really is huge. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. She's thinking. You can give me a one word. A one. That's so lame. <laughs> That's okay. You can give me a two word, Melissa. It's just gonna have to be a one. Sorry. Is that even how it's spelled? One clue. I know. We only got one. five rounds, Melissa. We gotta make sure we beat it in the rounds. Do you have mm -hmm. to beat it in the rounds? Brad says a one. Question, <laughs> question mark! Exclamation oh, point! Exclamation point! Right? I agree with um. you, Brad. Mm -hmm. What's the one? It's way harder to mm -hmm. It is harder to lie. This is awful. I'm not even allowed to tell you that it's awful, but. <laughs> I better be, I mean, we better not be awful. It better be super simple. All right, we're going segments two. Oh, segments I thought you were going with a one. Two. I, well, I felt pressured to not do a one. I, I <laughs> bent to the pressure of the viewers. This is awful. <laughs> it is awful. <laughs> segments two. All right, Zoom is coming in for Worm and Shelfie. Okay. Worm and Shelfie for Zoom. And um, 
YouTube is coming in for worm, hot Psych. and heavy, and just a few shelfies. Okay. I wish I knew how many There's a cow. overlaps there There is were. a cow. We did have a cow. We had a cow show up. Just one cow. Someone said <laughs> segments because of their stomachs. And because you cut them up for steak and... <laughs> mm -hmm. We've had studio segment. We've yeah, had... Sure. Um, conniption because that's a segment of your show. Mm -hmm. But overwhelmingly, worm. I'm gonna do worm first. I'm gonna do worm. Here we go, worm. Mm -hmm. That worm was something. It. All worm right, was something. good work, everybody. We do have a good amount of disc coming through, um, and I've now seen a limousine. I'm just letting everyone. I'm not doing disc. Not doing disc, he says. Everybody, <laughs> he's not doing it. Nope. All right. Am I allowed to say that? I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> you can interpret what that means. But I'm not doing disc. Because I figured Shelfie. something out. Shelfie. They want Shelfie. Shelfie? That's what they want. Segments. Segments. But here's the thing you also have to think about. Did she say, she said, I'm going to do a one clue, and she got peer pressure. Did she just put two thinking? Oh, just go for it? Just go for two? Should you really not guess the second one? I think it's worth guessing. Okay. My question is... There are three There's assassins. Three, three assassins. One of them is okay for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's been covered for you. Is that what you mean? Me. Got it. I shouldn't give Nicholas any information. Mm -hmm. Alright, um, do we know how many overlaps there are? I, it might say in the rules. I don't remember off. Right. And it might say here. Uh, I can look you while can look. Well, uh, well, we got... So, Shelfie is... I will agree. Shelfie is... And for all of those who mm. don't have that bingo square crossed <laughs> off, Melissa has now went to the rule book. Mm. Again. Again. <laughs> Cross it off. Mm -mm. Um, and then studio segments could be one. We've got some viewers that are saying one overlap. Only one? One overlap. Yeah. Then I'm... Because if it's one overlap, I'm stopping. <laughs> Does it say? Because people might know. Too? People might know. If you know, is there really only one overlap? People in Zoom know? One overlap is, is what we have. Okay. Somebody okay. said three. Three. Oh, it looks like three. We've got a three overlap. Oh, I'm doing. A three. We've got three overlaps from YouTube and confirmed from Zoom. Three. Three. Not three one. Overlaps. Three. Then I'm doing. So of the nine words you see as green, three are also green on the other side. Three are green on the other side. So you you go in with the studio right. audience at home with okay. Shelfie. Shelfie. Shelfie it is, everybody. Woo! And there it is. Good work. <laughs> the audience knows what they're talking the about. The problem is I'm covering up words oh, that, <laughs> that I was going to give clues for. <laughs> oh, man. Does make it a little bit more difficult when you're planning to use a clue, a am, word. Am I allowed to use a clue? You cannot use any word that's visible on the cards. On the card. We talk, oh, I know, I understand that. But could I give a clue that may not be one of mine, but doesn't really hurt us, possibly? Like to I just mean, to. I mean, the number you. See Say is the number of things you want me to okay, cut. Fine. If that okay. sort of makes sense. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Uh, I have a team Jonah that has showed up in the comments. So <laughs> thank you guys at home. It's cooperative. Jonah I know is helping a team, us. But stick around for our next game because there absolutely is a team Jonah in the next game, and I am going for it. We're gonna win everything. But you don't want to cheer for him. No. Oh. no don't cheer for Will. Team Jonah what? coming up next game. It's gonna be. Here's the thing. Everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so eventually, if you run out of things, like I have to keep taking turns to get you to guess things. I understand that. I'm just gonna say, like Melissa said, since you said it, this is an awful clue. <laughs> the table. You guys, talk. right? Table talk is not allowed not in allowed. Allowed. <laughs> I know. It's fine. <laughs> Prom two. Prom two. Okay. The first thing I'm thinking of is dance. Maybe limousine. Dance is coming in hot Maybe and heavy. Maybe friends. Dance is Dance, coming in hot and heavy. Limousine. And limo is coming in hot and heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and you said two. Okay. 
All uh. three of the things that you were thinking are coming in, but dance and limousine are overwhelming in the comments. We do have a few terribles. <laughs> I want you to guess terrible. terrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. All right, I think I have to go with dance as the most obvious of that one. We'll see what Kevin was thinking. Oh, that was a bystander. Dance was not what Kevin was trying. To Even with all the table talk, it still didn't help, did it? <laughs> all that table talk didn't that, help. That was a terrible clue if it wasn't dance, Kevin. That's what I said. <laughs> I said that from the beginning, before I even said it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back to Melissa. Back to The Melissa. good news is... I could probably think of the other two. <laughs> you guys are down to three rounds. Three rounds. Melissa has Five some, uh, what's the word, some, some words in her pocket. Five yes. green uh, agents left, right? Agents? Mm -hmm. Five green agents left, three rounds left. Mm -hmm. You guys need to pick it up. So this is Melissa, then it's going to go to me, then it's going to go back to Melissa. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That means you have one clue left to get her to guess. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, Melissa. I think with the, with the knowledge that you already have and the knowledge I will give you, we'll be fine. You should have gave her that knowledge a little earlier. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I knew dance was going to be hit. I thought she would hit other things first, but that's all right. Really? Nope, it's fine. It, it was okay. It was an awful clue. Alright. I knew I wanted her to, I knew we wanted to win, so I had to give an awful clue mm -hmm. in order to win. Just as a reminder for everybody who has recently joined us, uh, at the end of this game we'll be giving away Gearworks and a Gearworks playmat. And a Gearworks playmat to somebody from our comments who has been playing along with us. All right. All right, Melissa. Here we go. I don't know how to spell this word. Sorry, it's going to. Um, spelling is not. Spelling is not her forte. Writing, yes. That's not how it. Editing, awesome. Ah. <laughs> but I think there's spell check on here. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Trying to help her out there. Uh, I also don't know how to spell this word, so I will not, I will not help her. Wait, wait, wait. Out. Jonah was... and Melissa don't know how to spell oh, the word. It, it's spelled wrong. I can't get the spell check to make it right, but it is maneuver too, <laughs> and that's not spelled correctly. There's just an e in there somewhere. E yeah, I think it's e or it u e. E u. I think it's e u. Yeah. E. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have ski coming in. Ski bicycle limo. Ski, bicycle, limo, bike, ski, limo, coming in from uh, Zoom, and YouTube is saying, well, first off, everyone has let us know how to spell maneuver, <laughs> but they're also saying limo, bicycle, ski, ski, studio, maneuver, studio. I'm limo, limousine's definitely up there for me. It's got to be. Because limousine's so really super hard ski, to maneuver. Ski, bike, bicycle, ski, dance, ski, bike, 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 ski, and bike, ski, limo. All right, let's do it's a lot let, of ski. Let's do limousine first. A lot of ski. Oh no! Oh no! Limousine was a not different limo. word I would have used. Hey! <laughs> don't give me awful clues then. Ski was coming in overwhelming. This, uh, that you is did not listen to your the audience. The first time you did not said... listened. Oh, they were, but ski was coming in overwhelming. More. That was okay. the first time we haven't gone with the overwhelming okay. favorite, and then Sorry. look what happened. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> They're saying the prom clue was a death trap. Right? <laughs> Two rounds left. Can they can they do no. it? <laughs> no. Uh oh. Because I have to give you a clue. You gotta give her a big number so that way she can yeah. guess. But we're not allowed to. You have, like the rules say you have to give a clue that is equal to all those clues. Well you could do isn't there an unlimited? Right. Can you give her a higher number so that way she can guess? Uh, uh, when I play, that's how I play. I don't know if I've been cheating the whole time. Uh, yeah. I think. If you've used up your last timer token and there are still words to be guessed, it is time for the sudden death. No one gives more clues. Okay. It just allows you to use all the information you have. See? Sudden death. Mm -hmm. Our Zoom audience is saying, don't forget about sudden death, and you they think we can give a higher number. I agree with you, Zoom audience. 
YouTube is saying that Melissa looked at the rule book again. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, she did. <clears throat> um, I will. Um... But that's how. So tell me what sudden death is. They play as well. Uh, so when you sudden death is when you run out of your time tokens, which mm -hmm. for us is going to be calculated by that number two mm -hmm. on the screen next to the green five. So I, this is my last clue. Um, oh, it does say that um, your partner can make an unlimited number of correct guesses. Oh, well, that's with the number, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, as long as you're correct. Okay. As long as you're correct, you can keep going. Are you thinking? Yeah. Oh. We knew that. But I thought it could only be one above the number. Well, this is duet. <gasps> this is duet. duet. All right, so I'm just going to give you um, shirt one. Here we go, shirt one. All right. So right. you can give unlimited. Are we? Lots of polos coming in, a few ties. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to give it in here, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't guess until you type it in. Lots of polos, mm -hmm. lots of polos, a few ties, but lots of polos coming in from Zoom. Mm -hmm. And YouTube is the same. Lots of polos. I, I'm pretty sure that we're going to go with polo. Just a few. For sure. Ties. All right. We Back got one. Back to prom. Back to prom, she says. Here we go. Okay, prom guess. Do you not want to do tie first? Do you want to go back to prom? The comments are still coming in that you should be guessing tie. I do but not believe I should prom, be guessing tie. If you're going, you don't believe, do you hear that everybody at home? She says she doesn't want to guess tie. But everyone um, on Zoom is going back to prom, since that's what you said, mm -hmm. and they are going for friends. Friends and Zoom. maybe limousine. Do we think polo was also prom? That doesn't make sense to me. Um, I, I'm going to go with friends. Friends. All right. All Got right. friends. That was huge. That was a huge one. That was huge. Do we think limousine is also prom? So even though limousine has a uh, like a neutral person, a bystander on it, that's only because it was neutral for Kevin. It was neutral for Kevin. That does not mean mm -hmm. it's neutral for Melissa when you're playing a uh, duet. I know that's a little confusing if you're familiar with the original code names, mm -hmm. but they both have a different grid. They I know. both have a different it's, grid. It's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to touch so, limousine. Now that they hope. understand that, they want limo. Okay. For Let's go sure. With limo. And there it was. Good work, everybody. All right, now I am going to give a clue. It says, from now on, I can only guess. Yes, I have. So I basically have touched everything on your side. Yeah, come, good job, Melissa. <laughs> Okay. That means I gave you good guesses. <laughs> Clues. Sort of. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Team B. <laughs> oh, Team B. Let me... Wait, does that mean... I need We to... know from up there that there's two still... You have two left to guess. You have yep. two. See it right here. Maneuver. She, she said maneuver. Right. Oh, I remember ski. Don't worry. Okay. We're touching ski. Everybody. I don't care what you said. He remembers that she said maneuver, <laughs> and he is going to touch ski. So what's the other one that Melissa needs to give us a clue for to get us to win this game within the rounds? We're getting Shoot. some flips, some dance for maneuver. Hmm, interesting. Surely not cow. Not cow. Surely not cow. All Good right. Good point. Surely is We're going to go. We're getting a lot of flips. Ride one. Ride one. Okay. So we're going to do ski first. Okay, everybody. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's go with the consensus. They've been, <laughs> they've been leading us correct. She <laughs> says ride mm -hmm. one. Right, which is bicycle. But we're going to go ski. <laughs> <laughs> but he wants to go ski first. Even though she gave a clue that said ride one, he wants to go ski first. Right. Well, he can always go back Everyone to the previous Everyone is telling clue. you to go bicycle first. Bicycle first? They want to make sure that you win this game. Bicycle first. So I'll do ski first is what you're saying? <laughs> Bicycle first is what the people want to see. What the people want, I will give them. Here we go. Bicycle. Are we sure that's the right one? <laughs> All of the comments are coming in for bicycle. Here we go. Bicycle. I'm touching it. Hopefully it's wrong. 
<laughs> made it. Good work, everybody. Okay, now you're now going back. Now people are saying what? Now you're going. Now people are saying bike first. That's awesome. You're going right. back for maneuver, right? And ride, kind of combined. Sure. Okay. Flip, ski, mm. flip, ski, 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 flip, ski, ski. All right. It's either ski or flip. Ooh. It's kind of split, ski or flip. Ski. But you're going with ski. Yeah. Based on based just on knowing Melissa. Well, not only knowing Melissa, based on everyone else saying, "Why did you choose ski the first time?" That's true. <laughs> That's why. Ski it is. All things Greg said. No, it's flip. But it was ski. It was ski. It was ski. <laughs> that was hard because there was limousine there and like polo, so I was trying to get the bicycle and the ski mm. and so conniption and Ty were the two um, assassins for you. Conniption and Ty. So conniption disc were the two assassins, and then the one that um, for me was whatever this one was. <laughs> You can tap on them and it'll lift the card. Oh, tantrum. Tantrum. Was it a tantrum? I forget. No, maybe it wasn't tantrum. Oh, it was page. Sorry, page. 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 Uh, winner was uh, an assassin on my side, but that one was pretty easy with your clues. Metal. So that... And I actually forgot that bronze was the third medal. <laughs> <laughs> so, kudos to you all. Forget doing copper. <laughs> For knowing that Kevin wouldn't know That's what right, the for knowing was. how I think is great. All right, so we have about 15 minutes. Do we want to try another one? I don't know if we, we can, can get faster. it in. Let's go a little sure. faster. We'll do it. Okay. Everybody at home did an awesome job, actually. Realistically, they almost got it all correct. They did oh, it the better. overwhelming right, they did better than comments us. were coming in right. better than you guys, yes. I oh, we can just play another game right here? I think Sweet. so. So tell us about, is this coming out soon? This is the beta version, this but beta it's going to be released. beta version should be out really soon, yes. Released for everybody at home. They can get a, the app version and play Codenames Duet. Very cool. It's not even an app. You just go to the website. Oh, just go to the website and be able to play it. Awesome. Um, uh, Duet.codenames.game is the beta version. I don't know if we're allowed to say that. <laughs> but now you know. <laughs> All right. Uh, is... Crash the website. Oh, did right. we crash it? No. No. <laughs> oh, Kevin, did you join your side? I okay. did. Okay. All right, let's do it. So we both kind of, Kevin and I will look, and then whoever mm -hmm. gets a clue first will go first. Sounds good. I'm looking. Put the rounds down. Too. So in the real Codenames duet, if you were to start a new game, you actually move to a different um, part of the country where they've got just a tad bit of a new rule change for you where you might get less rounds, or you might... Uh, it just depends. It switches it up every time that you move to a new round. So uh, I really enjoyed that playing Codenames Duet in my house. We, Chantel and I have gotten it to the table. It's just a two-player game, of course, uh, cooperative, where you can kind of go through it. It is... We found it to be harder than the original Codenames. Oh, yeah. Games. I agree. It is harder yep. to, 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 to uh, win, absolutely. So uh, good work, everybody. Let's, uh, let's do it again. Any clues? This oh one's my, really hard. This is super hard. <laughs> what did you do, Melissa? Sorry. Three at a time. They want to see. Can you just play, do another game? Three at a time. <laughs> oh, are do you another saying game. you want me to reset it? Reset. You don't like... I don't like any of this. <laughs> they all have the same words, too. Well, there's only 25, I think. 20 or 25 tantrum oh. house words. Okay. So I'm okay if you switch to a new new one. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to reset this game? Those yes. of you viewing, we're doing it. We Just do it quick while, while they we're want in. you to give three uh, three. Clues then it's not happening time. with this game. Reset with less. Reset. I think you do that right. Mm-hmm. We got a reset coming in from not. Zoom. All right. So make sure some tantrum house words appear. Okay. So it'd be less. Start making. I'm doing do side B. I'm joining side A. Okay. All right. <laughs> Again, for everybody at home who's playing along, whether it be Zoom or on YouTube, at the end of this game, we are going to do a giveaway for Gearworks. And the Gearworks we're giving away actually has a pretty cool uh, sleeve on the box. Pretty cool design sleeve. You guys can see it here. And we're going to give away a Gearworks playmat as well. Two 
for the prize of one, which is free because it's a giveaway. That's right. <laughs> two two <laughs> things. <laughs> I got a two. I'm looking for a three because you asked for it. I have a two. Can I get a three? Gotta be a three, they say. It's gotta be gotta a three. Be a three. Gotta, gotta be a three. I mean, I could do a three, but... <laughs> oh, stink. I just saw a bad word in there. I mean, not a bad word, but a, a uh, outlier. A word that... Mmm. Mmm-mm-mm. That sleeve does look really cool, Jewel. You got anything, Melissa? I'm close. Are you close? Also, keep in mind, at 345, we're going to be playing Cubitos. It is going to be a race to the finish. And, uh, oh, at 445, I'm sorry. 445, we're playing Cubitos. It'll be a race to the finish. It is going to be Will versus Jonah versus Sarah versus Chantel. I need Team Jonas in the comments all the way through. I don't want them to have any support. Everyone just support me. <laughs> It'll be so much more fun that way. I'm just playing. You can support them if you really want to, but you're going to be on the losing side because I am going for everything. I'm going to try to win it. So, oh, we've got Team Jonah in the comments already. All right. Angela, thank you. Bailey, thank you. Michelle, Team Jonah. I saw one from Dean. I knew Dean was going to support me. <laughs> Thanks, Dean. You've been there since day one supporting me, and I appreciate it. Thanks, you everybody. Have something All right. We've got Kristen and Anna, Team Jonah. I'm doing Brad, fun. Team Jonah. Peter, Team Jonah. This is going to be so fun. It should be a two, but I'll mm -hmm. make it a three. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. She's just totally throwing another word in there. Shelf. Shelf three. Shelf three. You guys got it. Shelf three. Oh, I see a three a word clue. Okay. Uh, Zoom is saying calyx. Overwhelming. Six straight Calyx comments. And uh, YouTube is coming through with Calyx. And we got so many more G Team Jonas. This is going to be so. 4 445. Get ready to rumble. Everybody. I don't think that's shelf. Calyx? Team Jonah. Uh, no, no, no. That's not an option. We should have put that an option in code names. But they want Calyx. I'm doing Calyx. Calyx it is. That's one. Yep. That's mm -hmm. one. Shelf three. What are the other two? I don't, haven't ask seen very for much. Three, so it's of your else. fault when this goes wrong. <laughs> okay, I've seen uh, a record, like records on the shelf. Mm -hmm. uh, record. Record is coming in hot. Okay. Do a record. Record it is. Made it. Good work. Last one, everybody. What's the shelf three? What's the third shelf clue? All right, we have. On the stream. Hammer? Oh yeah, building a shelf with a hammer. Sure. Hammer. I like that. We've got hammer coming in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kangaroo shelf? No. I wouldn't think so. Do a hammer. Hammer it is. All right, shelf three. We have Good work, everybody. three green. Good work. <laughs> Going with the comments has not led us astray yet. Yeah, but, but wait till I give a dumb clue. <laughs> Another one? Yeah. No. Yep, yep. Hmm. Nice job with the clue, Melissa, says Anne. It's definitely. <laughs> oh, like, that, like the outlier is so good, like dance. Like, oh, but it'll be the one that I'm going to pick. It's the one you're going to pick. Yep. Yeah. The, yes, the distractor one. It's the distractor, it's so good, but, there, but everything else like fits good, so I was like, is it worth it? For everybody at home, Will just walked in the room, so uh, I'm not going to tell him yet that he doesn't have any support for our 445 game, <laughs> what? but I will tell him later, so flood the comments with Team Jonas. Team it's Will, be great. Team Will. No Team Will, don't. Team Will. We don't want to see Will win at all. We Jonah want Jonah, Jonah to win. Main competition. Ooh. He says he's my main competition yeah. until he loses to Sarah and Chantal <laughs> and gets fourth, everybody. <clears throat> Not gonna happen. There's a Jonah taunt. Everybody's keeping up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure a Amy is on my team. Wait till Amy shows up with the zoo. She alone can carry me to victory. That was <laughs> definitely a taunt. And we're getting lots of bingos. <laughs> from our people playing <laughs> Oh, is definitely. that one of the uh, squares? It was. Mm -hmm. 
It was. Do I need Jonah's help here? For a clue. Is it uh -oh. your turn to give a clue? Yeah. All right, I'll look. Uh oh, Kevin's getting help. Getting Kevin's help. getting help from the moderator. So I'm just one thinking, that one. Okay. That one. Yeah. Because of, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And you know where they where that is. Yeah. So I'm thinking there's three could come together. Mm. But this is the bad word. Trying not to listen. Them up. Cause that's what that come, cause that's what they're known for. Yeah. But I was trying to connect those three in. It's like should I just say? Should I just say? There's some words that I want to get off this screen, Do it. so I can right. give other clues. All right, here it comes. Here's the clue. How many am I doing? Three. Three. Ooh, Here's the clue, everybody. Three. Money three. <clears throat> Money three. Money three. Okay, we That's, have dollar. We're getting dollar. Dollar bank bank. Dollar mind bank. Giveaway winner giveaway dollar. Bank. Dollar dollar. Mint, Ooh, mint, mint. Mint is where you make, a mo make the money. All right, that was a Zoom, and YouTube is coming through with dollar bank, dollar mint bank, giveaway mint. Dollar, good one. Mm -hmm. I don't. As in a good clue. Oh, good clue. Thanks, yes. Jonah. Yeah. So, Team Jonah. <laughs> so I think dollar, bank, and mint are the three that I am leaning toward. Okay, dollar is a lot of dollars, lots mm -hmm. of dollars. All right, so I'm gonna go with dollar first. Dollar first. Mm -hmm. All right. Good work, everybody at home. All right, are we thinking bank next? Or mint, Let's which check. is the mint, 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 bank, mint, bank, mint, 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 bank, bank, mint, bank. I'll go mint. with mint next. Mint Let's is coming in hot and heavy. Mint and hope. All right. Good work. Good. So I'm I'm feeling pretty good with bank, unless I, I think with the Jonah and Coins Kevin. Coins are circles. I think Jonah and Kevin combine. All right, she's going for bank. bank. <gasps> no, that was the one. Okay. That was the perfect outlier. That perfect was, outlier. <laughs> that was a neutral bystander. But, but neutral is better than assassin. That's right. All right, Melissa, give a clue. All right, give a clue. Give a clue. It can be a. Um, we're going allowing proper. Proper names. nouns. <clears throat> Can, can, can we All right, that? I'm giving Wheel of Wow two. Okay. Wheel of Wow two. What do we got? We Wheel of Wow winner two. Winner. Circle. We want winner and giveaway. So easy. Go. Oh, winner and giveaway. Giveaway is coming in. But circle is there, and a wheel is circular. Circle is there. What do you guys have to say about circle at home? I'm doing winner first. Circle is there. We gotta, we gotta move this thing along. Uh, so that yeah. was a distractor. Uh, Melissa's throwing the judges at me now. <laughs> winner nice. was not part of that. Winner was not one. All right, here we go. I'm um, just looking at something just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's still a money out there potentially. Do you know what I'm saying? For fun? Try it. See what happens. Here we go. Try it. Okay, the clue is Bailey 2. Bailey, Bailey 2. Bailey. <laughs> like Barnum? Barnum Bailey? Bailey. Um. <laughs> what are people saying in the uh, comments? Uh, we're getting a Who is Bailey? In the comments, <laughs> someone's waving their hand. The same. <laughs> um, Brothers. Oh my goodness! Someone on our Zoom feed is waving their hand, and they might be named Bailey. They are named Bailey. <laughs> 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 Bailey. Bailey. <laughs> I see. Okay. 
The comments are now saying Zoom and crew. <laughs> Zoom and crew are the two that you should be selecting. All right. You know, I, I cannot argue with the audience. I will try Zoom. Hey -o. <laughs> he definitely right. spelled her name wrong. He did. I can't, I, Bailey, I apologize. All I can see from here is B and Y. <laughs> All right, we're going with crew. Zoom and crew. Nice. And sometimes and we we gotta, sometimes you just got to use what's in front of you. <laughs> Anne says, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um. All right, we got like three minutes, two minutes, Melissa, so just give me something. Yeah, last clue. They say Bailey should get a t-shirt or some coffee We'd do that, definitely, especially since I spelled our name wrong. Bailey, let us know do you want right now, would you like a Tantrum House t-shirt or would you like some Tantrum House blend coffee? Which one would you like? Put it in the comments for me. If you said t -shirt. She said t-shirt. All right. I saw you, t-shirt. Okay, here's what you have to do, Bailey. Email Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, at tantrumhouse.com with your t-shirt size, and we will be happy to give you a Tantrum House t-shirt. Thanks for playing. Oh, and your address. I'm sorry. We need your address, too, or else we don't know where to send it. <clears throat> All right, so we... Sorry, honey. I'm just going to give Good you... Good suggestion, Ryan. A... We agree. You're welcome. We're back. I'm just going to give a one. Okay. Hop. One. You're showing everything. I know. The whole world is to see it. <gasps> what? We are giving a little bit of technical Are we doing kangaroo hop? We're coming back, Kang everybody. Kangaroo hop. There they we go. They can't see anything. Kangaroo hop. All my secret information is safe. Oh, okay. Somebody already hacked it. What? Just don't share your oh, Wait, wait. Screen. We have to go back to um, Wheel of Wow. They're fine. Give away. Love it. Giveaway <laughs> and this is the real behind the scenes. We're doing circle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's, oh, she's, yep. uh -huh. she's doing the potion. Uh, there we go, everybody. She's doing, Sorry, she's doing potion. Uh, uh, potion again, we're getting it, we're she's getting like, it mm -hmm. all squared away. All right, I'm in. Knew what it was anyway. Well, I went circle right away because like held out wheel about circle oh, he circular. Needed, he needed, he needed. Mm -hmm. All right, Melissa, I'm giving you a clue. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, <sighs> all right, so our audience can see the game again now. Uh, they would like you to know, Will, that that was not a secure password. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was it We're back up and running. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I will need it, but I can't. All right, there are five words left. Mm -hmm. All right, five Melissa. Mm -hmm. I'm we're, because we don't have that much time. We, we're giving you four in three. All right. Is it E I N? E I N. I apologize. <laughs> Trying to spell on the fly. All right. I All mean, right. I just Zoom was says, letting Bailey feel check, better since I can't check. spell. Uh, Maracas mm -hmm. and Alps. I think all three of those are great. Coming choices. in hot and heavy. Check, Maracas, and Alp. I'm going to go with check first. Boom. All right. I also agree on Maracas and Alps. I'm going to go with Alps. But I said four I, not four in. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to go with Maracas. All your cards oh. have been found. From oh. now on, you can Ooh, only guess. Here we go. Okay. Listen. Two left. Two All right. left. All right. Since last you got clue. help with Jonah earlier. Two left. Jonah's going to help. All right. All right. Two left. Those are the two that this we is have it. left. We got it. We got to move on to what we're going to Cubitos. Mm -hmm. All right, is everyone ready over there? Who's playing? Jordan Chantel. <laughs> oh, this is our giveaway. While they're doing that, I'll do the giveaway. Here we go. So the giveaway that we said at the beginning of Codenames Duet is this Gearworks with the playmat, and the random winner is Deshant Kumar. Hey, thank you. You know what to do. Email. Sarah at teacherhouse.com. Congrats, Nishant. Congrats, congrats, congrats. All right, so this okay, clue I cannot clue. take credit for. Good job, Jonah. Jonah came up with this one. Last and one. We are going with twins. The last clue two. is twins two. Twins two. Brother. We want brother from Zoom. Brother. 
Brother, 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 brother. Definitely. Good work. What's brother. the last one? Thumb. We have a part from Barry. A part what question mark thumb? from Julie. They're thumbs are twins. A Let's see what YouTube says. YouTube saying congratulations to Nishant. I agree, <laughs> congratulations. But we need help. Last clue. It's mm. not studio or crew. We know. We want part from it's Steve. Why? Why part? We're getting some. <laughs> Jimmy can't tell me why. Michael, Christine, Michelle want thumb. Jared wants thumb. Brad wants thumb. We got a lot of parts first. Part or thumb? I, I'm fine with part, but I love thumb. For brother? Why? For twins. Oh, for twins. For twins. We getting some part. We like part from though? YouTube. We got a part and a part question mark. Bank, twin banks, twin winner, no, twin tantrum. Twin part race. again from YouTube. All right. Every, if, if everyone's Zoom saying part. Zoom is saying. I think Zoom also is asking why thumb. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting part from Chris. All right, here we go. Part, part of this. Part it is. Bye. You win. That was very close because thumb was one of the assassin words. <laughs> we almost lost. Was I went close. with you and not my. We went with you I guys. Thought. Good work, everybody. Congratulations. We are a little behind schedule, so I apologize for that. We're going over to Kibito Swim from AEG, and you're playing with that. I sure am. And that I'm taking this. Team Jonah. Kevin's gonna take over our our, our Zoom feed. Team Jonah. Here we go, everybody. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, welcome back. We Hello. are Hello. playing Cubitos. Oh, yeah. This is hot new game from AEG. Just hit stores yesterday, so I know a few of you already have a copy because some of you got it in the Tantrum Con haul. Oh, yeah. Some of you already made a trip to your local store and picked it up there. We will go over the rules first since it's a brand new game. Not many people have played it. And Will is going to join us in just a moment. For all of you at home that were in the comments on YouTube and on Zoom, I just want you guys to know since you weren't here, I may or may not have at least 30 people 30? on Team Jonah no already. Way. I already told them that I didn't want you guys to have any support. I wanted all the support oh, from YouTube, from Zoom, in the comments. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. We're going to win. Here we go. Should we tell them how to play? We were gonna tell them. Well, how to play. Right, we well can it be play. Team Chantel and Jonah? I mean, like, no, we don't want support. I mean... <laughs> team Jonah is coming for team this Doo. game. Team Do, Team Do, we can do Team Do. Come on, no, you guys are competing. This is a racing game. <laughs> nope. So, uh, oh, how to play? Team Chantel it is a uh, Team Chantel sneaking in. Who did oh, that? Yeah. Mm. Cool. Oh. Oh. You oh. would Team Jonah. Here we All go. All right. Mm -hmm. How to play? Uh, we have a player mat that tells us the steps that we need to take, or actually we have a little token thing that also tells the steps that we're gonna take, and the mat keeps our dice organized. So think of this as a deck building game, but instead of cards, we're using dice. And we're using those dice to gain more dice, but also it is a race. So we are starting up at the starting lines, our um, dice will race through the track and make it to the finish line. Whoever gets to the finish line first is the winner. That is correct. That is All correct. All right. So in the game, uh, you have a draw pile. We will start with some starting dice in the draw pile. These are pretty awful dice, really, to start with yes. because. Yes. All that the light gray die have on them is a single coin on one side. All the other sides are blank, which makes it difficult to roll uh, the one side that has something on it. The dark dice have a foot. The only way that you can move in the game is getting the feet, or some of the other dice that we can purchase have different abilities that if you get the right side with that icon, you may be able to activate some movement. But 
figuring that out is key. We are playing, I don't remember the name of this race, but I don't know that any of us have played this race. So the rules come with tons of different cards. Tons uh, of different cards. Each yeah. one of these colored dice comes with, it looks like eight different cards that you could set up differently in the game. Yep. There's some pre-selected scenario races that you can do in the rules, or you can just make up your own. The cards are going to remind you of another AED, AEG game mm -hmm. called Tiny Towns. So uh, the die, as you can see, this particular brown die comes with uh, only two sides that have icons. And so what the brown die is going to do for us during this race is just all dependent on the card selected. So we've selected the wizard card for the brown die in this game. And um, uh, different races have call for different cards, and that's going to allow you to determine what that die is going to do for you in the race. Um, so each each color die has a different uh, different card select to it. So we'll kind of go slow when we get some of these other dies in the game so we can explain to them what the dies are doing. So that way they can uh, understand how we're kind of moving ahead and things like that. And then we are just gonna go as fast as we can. Race wise. As fast so as we nice can. So one nice thing is been a YouTube Team cool. Chantel is yeah! Team Chantel is Trent. Get out of here. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Team Jonah. No. You, you guys, no one likes Team, team Jonah. You guys no are one killing likes me. Team Jonah. No one likes Team Jonah. You weren't no. here last game. Everybody <laughs> was saying Team Jonah. And the team fact Jonah. that I wasn't here and I am currently trending just says a lot about the people. <laughs> I am what the people want. <laughs> They're what the people want to see. Nice. Cool. <clears throat> all right. So on your turn, well, we're all taking our turns at the same time, simultaneously. Yeah. So you are going to, from your draw pile, you are going to take whatever your hand limit is. We all start with the same hand limit of nine dice. And then we're going to roll them. And when we roll, any that come up with a face with an icon on them, we're going to move them to active. Now, we can keep rolling as much as we want, but as soon as we get three dice in that active slot, then it is possible for us to bust on our turn. So then we have to make the decision after a roll, are we going to press our luck and keep rolling? Press it, always. Or are we going to stay with what we've got and take our actions? So if we have dice that didn't end up with any faces on them, they'll stay in your hand for next turn. And the ones that have a face that you were able to roll, you're gonna take all those actions. A lot of them have coins. The coins will be used to buy more dice. And just like a good old deck builder, they're gonna go in your discard pile. And then hopefully you have been able to move a little bit on your turn as well. So when you're done with your active, move into discard. You're gonna draw more dice from your draw pile and keep on going. So we'll all be taking the same round turn at the same time to help us keep track. There is a starter die, I think Chantel has it. Oh yeah. That helps us make sure we are all playing the same turn at the same time and somebody doesn't jump ahead on turn wise. Correct. So the cards that we are playing with today include the wizard. Uh, this one allows us to, if you roll the dog on the die and you keep pushing every time you push, instead of um, selecting to just go ahead and um, act, or keep going active instead of passing and taking your actions, uh, you will gain a... Um, money. Money, Ooh. remember what these called? Coins, money. Uh, money, 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 money. We're gonna money. use them to buy dice. Yeah, the token. So mm -hmm. there are coins that have to that show up on your dice that have to be used that turn, and then there are ones on the um, tokens that they can be held from turn to turn. What's the um, player count? Player count is four. So uh, two to four. Two I believe. to four. All right, we got the fat cat. You can gain some money. Uh, the Cubasaurus. Uh, this one you can gain any non-purple die and set it on any face in your active zone. So that's basically giving you a free die of your choice if you happen. This one is the most expensive we have in this game uh, along with the big cheese and it uh, is, only has one face on the die side, so it's difficult to roll that one. Yep. Uh, we got Llama Rama. 
The blue gives you coins, also gives a bonus for the secondary side, if it has the dots around it, there are some bonuses for getting on the fan track. We haven't explained that yet, but if you happen to bust, you will move along the fan track and there are some bonuses. So you can pick up um, the token coins or you can pick up a purple hand which adds to your hand limit so then you can roll more dice the rest of the game each turn so it's we, not bad to bust sometimes yeah it's not bad to either. it's not great but no. it's not the end of the world yeah exactly. <laughs> all right green is keep on rolling uh if you were to bust you may lose this to not bust so if you happen to have one it kind of keeps you from busting the big cheese Give some movement. Also, gain movement equal to half of your fan track rounded down. So if you've made it really far on that fan track, uh, this is a game that we've set up. So if we happen to bust a lot, which I have a feeling we will, we will uh, get some bonuses out of it. Got the bench warmer. Um, Lose this die and add any other die. So swapping out dice. And then the red cards are um, a little bit different from the other ones. So we will compare each turn. How, <coughs> excuse me. Well, I'll let you, I'm gonna get a drink. Cool, Keep. yeah, so the, for the red die, we're gonna compare each turn <laughs> how many swords cross, the symbol that's on the red die, how many each of us have. <clears throat> then whoever has the most is gonna gain movement equal to what they have over here on the flag track? Mm -hmm. Flag track. The fan track. The mm -hmm. fan track. Gonna gain movement equal to what they have over here at the fan mm -hmm. track. Then, which right. kind of stinks, you've gotta give up that red die. You've gotta lose that red die back to the back to the box. So um, it's really great if you're kind of moved up pretty far over here because yeah. you can get some really cool movement, but then you've got to lose that die, so you're not going to be able to get that next turn. Uh, on the track that's in the middle of the board here, there are green spaces that we can move through. There are mm -hmm. water, which we cannot move through. There are red lines that kind of separate on a grid like every three or four or five spaces or so. And if uh, someone moves ahead one red line ahead of anyone else, then these other players would also get to draw and roll an extra die on their turn. If gotcha. this player was two red lines ahead, then these players would get to mo roll um, two extra dies on their turn. So it's almost like a built-in catch-up feature. It's basically just making sure the race stays close, mm -hmm. but in reality, I've played this a bunch of times, and sometimes that doesn't even help the race stay close. Like if no. somebody's just off to a great start, somebody, you are not catching them. Well, <laughs> if somebody forgets that the point of the game is the race, yes. and they're like, yeah. I'm buying all the cool dice, Correct. they're probably not going. <laughs> right. Right. So, uh, yeah, that's absolutely correct. Um, did we pick our player? Oh, we should tell everybody that we're giving away a game. Yeah. From, since this is a QB Toast from AEG. So we put these in our Tantrum Con mm -hmm. hall, just like Sarah said, and shipped those out before Tantrum Con started. But since we're playing an AEG game, we thought, why don't we also yeah. give away an AEG game? So we yes. are giving away Whoa. Thunderstone Quest from AEG at the end of Cubitos. So stay yes. with us, stay in the comments, have some fun. Uh, we are going to be giving away Thunderstone Quest uh, to all the people who said Team Jonah. I I'm just playing, but hopefully somebody who supports Team Will, Team, team Will, Jonah right here. Let's do it. For Thunderstone Quest from AEG. Will is late to the party, so there is no Team Will. No, there is no <laughs> Team, Will. team Will. We want to see Team... Can you change lanes? That's a great question. Oh, yeah. You, you can absolutely move, can. You can. It's like where... free range of wherever you go in this game. You just can't go through water. Yeah. And actually, there is a card. Uh, we're not playing with it for this game. This would be a little confusing, but there is a card that in certain scenarios, you would be able to go through water. So we're not playing with that one. In the deck. I'm not analyzing the cards at all. I feel like he is way ahead of me. Uh, we barely. Joe has already got the combos in his mind. He's whoa, like whoa, white, whoa, yellow, whoa, blue whoa. all the way. Everybody. <laughs> Team jo I no just gotta grab the cheese. Jonah. Big cheese Team over here. Chantel. Oh, whoa. it's a lot. Love Guys. it. 
We're gonna, we got, we we're didn't know we're giving it away. That's Thunderstone right. Quest is being given away, everybody. We're ready Nobody to go. We are. I got one thing to say. <laughs> oh. Sorry I'm late to the show. I was just adding some brand new publisher demos to the schedule. So if you're looking for a couple new games to play, you can go check out tatermouse.com forward slash schedule before and after our shows. <laughs> After our show today, before and after tomorrow's shows, there are a number of sponsors and demo and publishers who are demoing their games on other platforms outside of YouTube. Uh, it might be Discord or Tabletop Simulator or something like that. Uh, if you're interested in those games, go check them out right now because there are limited seats at most of them. I think you can maybe watch at all of them, but if you want to play, you need to go find and register and save your seat right now because that's one of the ways that you guys can play from home. I think we're ready to begin. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep some of this extra money. I'm just gonna slide my water over here. <laughs> Where are my dice? I'm right here on the little left edge. Right okay. On the left. All right. We're gonna get it. I'm gonna, All right. I'm gonna adjust my seat. I feel like I'm probably super washed out by this hot white light making me extra shiny. Okay. Uh, but they're already rolling, so I guess I'm going. Here we go. We're doing it. Shake, shake, shake. The ball. Whew. Nothing. Great I was about start. To say, who busts first? <laughs> I busted. Because if it's me, I'm the upset. Doesn't count, but I already yeah. busted. Yeah. Don't do three, this to me. Three keepers. All right. Now I didn't roll anything yes. on this, but I don't have three One in my act. One extra keeper. I am done. I'm stopping. I'm my stopping. Goodness. Oh I'm yeah. Team Chantel. I'm telling One. you guys. Oh, I thought I'll stop you there. busted. Okay. I I'm gonna you stop there. Five. It was close. It did look scary. I mean, does anyone? Is anybody on the track? Oh, only me and Sarah. I didn't read all of them, but I just oh. know that five and two feet is where I want to be. I'm in the white die. Cool. All right. Well, yeah. I'm gonna read I have these one, now, two, three, four, one. five, six. I'm I have six die. money, and but I get to move oh, yeah. up on the track, the wrong which I will do. <laughs> you are he the white player, the Will. Wrong Jonah, decision. you're yellow, oh, and I'm the. How can I be the white very, player? I'm very confused. Because yellow. Chantel sat the table. down and. Oh, I said blue. So my player color is always green, but my backup is blue or purple. And there was blue. So. I'm taking a green and a brown. Right, uh, that's real interesting. And now I'm, I'm in six. the discard. So three, five, Lose two, this and, eight, and two, any other one die. Is this thinning my deck? Is that all this is for? Mm -hmm. What? That's crazy. No oh, time right here. Just gave you or whatever. So what you I'm guys going to. It's worth busting in this okay. game, it sounds like. So when you make a purchase, you can actually purchase up to two dice when you do a purchase. Whoa, whoa, so whoa. I have four, so I'm going to buy the green, keep on rolling, and an orange. I'm going to get a Each fat with cat. two. And so I did a movement. If I get this, I get three coins. Or, no. It's oh, either. Or it's when you or, roll the dog. When you roll the dog, you get. If I push again, I get a dollar. Mm -hmm. A credit. Every dog. time? Yes. Got to roll the dog. Dog's up. Roll again. Get a credit. I may yes. or may not have a brown in my I'm, deck. I'm, I'm in totally my dice bag right now. I'm going to call it Joe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, absolutely made whoa. the right decision. Green and brown are the correct stuff. Whoa. Ones to uh, choose. First off, now I that have, I've read the. <laughs> I have seen Amy Egg show up into the chat. And she is what on Team Will. Come on, Amy. Team Will. No, definitely team not Team Jonah, which is yes, Team Will. Team I'll take it. Uncalled for, Amy. We need support here. <laughs> IDK Chattel was giving me shame during the <laughs> We <laughs> need support, Amy. <sighs> what? Amy I mean, Amy, you got to understand, I had to play the game. So <laughs> we got a team, Sarah. I did see a team. team well, I had a me. lot of team Jonas right. earlier. My strategy right. has Where now are my people? Support me back. People. Strategy is now coming. Together. Team Jonah. They weren't here to see all the team Jonas. Let's let's get them going. <laughs> all right. You ready? So, I'm not so, sure so any of your dice there were so were many teams. Uh, they don't even believe happened? me. There were so many team Jonas. Let everybody know. So many. Teams I don't Jonas. believe the hype. I feel like they may have only known that there was one option. Maybe no. They knew like, there was correct. options. <laughs> they knew there was correct. options, and they were supporting the best option. All right. Okay. So all of the I dice that you like, had in yeah, active get put in your discard because you used them all. Correct. And Chantel is going to pass the starting player. Boom. To Sarah. Yeah. And so this doesn't count as my hand limit, it's just extra. And then I'm going to draw back up to my hand limit. But this first time, because we have just the starting dice that we had from last turn, we don't have any in our draw pile. So we will have to put our discard. Normally in a deck builder you would shuffle them. They will go in your draw pile. And now I have some to draw from. I can choose what I want. And they will go in my hand. 
I have a hand limit of nine. How come nobody moves? Two feet. Two, okay. There we got two when feet. I say nobody, the only half. people. Oh, Maybe you didn't you move. Roll your only two Chantel and I are already going. Here we go. Team going. Jonah. We're missing you, Jonah. We. All right. Is that your mom? Is that no. my mom? Wow. No. My mom? Is, is that your mom? mom? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Yeah. So Mary, we do have mom bear. this no. um, oh, no. she's messing with you. I thought token she was that we oh. are supposed <laughs> to flip when uh, we are doing the different phases. We have played this enough times now that I usually forget to do it. It is very helpful for first time players. I'm probably going to forget the rest of the game to do it, but it is there to help you keep track on the same thing. Coming I feel green. like there's a way oh, to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. I only I got I one. And not bust. Oh, I did get my green too. But I didn't bust yet, so it's okay. Me either, but I rolled I think very I well. I literally just busted on my second. I can, you if have to you lose it to bust. Okay. Throw the green away. This hand is red? no. You want to keep rolling? Busted and I had a good so roll. Two, I, mm. I think I should stop. I should have just stayed busted because oh no, I got a lot of money. That was bad. I, oh, I need to like oh, roll I got on this guy. Busting is not. I got my dog. Okay. What did I get? Can you show me you push? Okay. You I, I haven't five, even gotten my seven. third one. Oh, I wanted that eight. Because they kept being blank. Free there we go. Gonna I'm going to stop there because. Why would you I would, start with free credit? I just feel like I need one. Why extra would you start? Each time you push, you do not bust, you gain one. And then you have to throw it away? Active and run? Yeah, you have to. Okay, so I got two. I'm going to move up so one, two. Away. Oh, she's going to wait. And then I'm going to buy this one. Oh, I have three. Is there? I got three? a foot. I'm on the board. Here three, we four, go. Five, six, seven. I've got to move forward. What is happening? I'm going this way. I'm Actually, right you know here. what? No, I'm gonna. Can you pass me a brown? I'm gonna spend this. And I have one, two, three, four. There we go. Four to spend. Let's get this thing rolling. Gain feet so equals feet on the chance cost. Which is zero, right? If you're not oh, you using zero. Some of these die are really I've got expensive. to bust in order to even do anything. All right, find a green. You know, back in my cat strategy, which didn't work last time. Um, I'm going to grab another brown, actually. Let's do it. Okay. All right. All right. I'm ready to roll. Six, yep, we are on. Seven, we eight, did four, the run phase. Eight, nine, now we're back to a new roll phase. So starting player goes to Jonah. Uh, I need that extra die. Anybody cross that line yet? So if you have. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm about to. Nope. Mm -hmm. Ready. Six, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? I mean, come on. I must not be doing this correctly. I'm already not. Oh, yay. Oh, I busted. I gotta throw that green away. Keep going. All right, I'm gonna Keep do it one more time. Line. Come on. Yes, I'm done. I'm, gonna, I'm not I'm pushing get, it. Uh, I'm pushing it. I'm I can't. I'm already can't. in the back. Yeah, pushed it. Pushing it again. All right. Just doing it. Yes, got my Ooh, dog. Busted. One. I, I guess it was, but I gotta stop. I gotta stop. That's not anything. All right. I'm white. Is that what we decided? Yes, I've you never, are white. I've never been white before. You've never I mean, been white no. before. Never been whiter. <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened. I only play blue. Someone stole my blue. Is this a jetpack? What does that give yes. me? Two extra steps? Two oh. movement, yeah. I'm still going for the get rid of my die spot. Okay, taking the dog. I have three, three four, four, five. What? Six. One, two, three. Six. Why would you do that to Anything me? Anything six on the board? Eight for that? I didn't realize that was so expensive. They're really expensive. Yeah, okay. I have four. Six. So I, I can't have, buy anything with four. I, I have also the have cat. not busted yet. And it I'm, said I can gain one. I gotta get two of these guys. Oh, I gotta get my green back. And okay. then I gain greens. one gray, if possible, three, and gain four, five, three feet. Six, Wait, seven, so six. what What does that mean? You, you gain get one, one of the dark gray? No, if no. possible, which it is possible. There's some possible right now. Okay. Nobody crossing that line yet to give me so an extra die? I am. No. Come on. And you get three movement. Whoa, look at that. Because of what die? Because of that. I got the cat. I never One, could the cat. two, three. You can't afford and five. Then and then I gain a coin. And I gain a coin. So I rolled five, five the very first time, but so I, I have five a coins in total. Because I felt like that was smarter. And I think it was. I have one oh, more. She passed the line. I'm wasting because money on these three. Pass the line. Give me an extra one. New die, everybody. So with my five coin, I'm going to All right, to so in the chat, game. who is going to cross the next line? Let us know. We've got, Chantel's only got one, two, three, four, five spaces if she takes her sweet time. If I take my who's, sweet time. Who's, let's, you know, let's who's going to cross it first? Each leg of the lap, as they explain, gives the losers an extra die, no. which I appreciate. Oh, you're already on, like, you're almost the second line right now. She is. 
That's oh, she's good. a second. We're behind. Might Don't get, get too, too far behind. I know. I'm Don't get too far I'm, behind. I'm already too far behind. It's a race to the finish. Three. Oh, we got more Team Chantels in the comments. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. How did you get three? You guys would. Because I only spend two. Oh, no, you don't get to get three. You what have to spend the coins. Oh, I have to spend the coins. Spend the coins. Yeah. Whoa. Good thing to figure out early crazy. in the game. Crazy. <laughs> All right, give me a... Crazy. What was she trying this to do? This is her first time. Give me a wizard. Funny. I mean, give me a wizard. 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 get to keep them? Okay, get I'm sorry. Here. It was a misinterpretation. Do you want to go for the extra dice? I will, because that's... Yeah, we got to. I apologize, but I'm going to need you. Because cool. the guy's back. Can you? Oh. And I don't know what to do. Okay. Larry. You got it, Larry? Cool. Cool. Boot him! All right, we're okay, ready? We're rolling. I got we're my extra die. This is going to be my best roll of the game. I can feel it. I'm going to play. Right. But it's going to be my best one. Two, four, six. Okay, I got a dog. Now, if I push, I get a coin. Is that correct? That's what we're saying? Yeah, yeah. you got the dog first I roll. Got the dog first roll oh, and three man. coins. Push it. Didn't bust. Taking a token. I already got busted. Foot. I'm on my second oh, bust. Foot. I don't know if this is my... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Yeah. No, I can I've been throw a green away. Oh, I've been mine are going everywhere. I'm so sorry. Six, I should. Can I see in this area over here? I can't, but that's all right. Oh yes. Push Ooh. it again. I gotta stop. Thank you very much. What if I bust? Do I lose it? Yeah, like, yeah, you lose that. That's the Do point. I lose no, you never no, lose you credits. Lose All right, well then I'll just keep on pushing. All right, I am going to. Ooh la la. These guys. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I, I don't. No, no, no. There's those are for purchase. There's those are for purchase. I need to not have them right where I'm rolling at. Okay, we'll move. Okay. Oh, I, I have four. four. I think this should be a good stopping point for me. Five. I got a lot of money. Yeah, like. Yeah, you do. You have dice? a lot of money. Two. We'll be able to afford. Some things. I have six. I, have so I got three, much. six, seven, eight, nine. What can I get for nine? <gasps> I don't even know what this does, but this is always good. The purple. <laughs> the purple. The dinosaur. Line. The dinosaur. This is Cubosaurus. I gain any. I gain any one non-purple colored dice, and I can set it to any face in my active zone. Sick. Lose that die at the end of the round. Oh, not optional. All right. Or let's run. Gain four and lose this. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between the two? Because it's only got one face on it. As soon as you roll it, you get the now. now and, then and then when you it. are done with your rolls, you get the, the, the buy. run phase. When you're actually. Uh, you then get to do that. She has a now. Interesting. So I'm getting another dice's effect. Dice's. And four steps. That's basically all that's happening. And then I lose both two, dice. Three, four, five, six, I don't know if that's seven, as good as I thought it was. Four steps would be nice. Nine, ten. No, you don't lose seven, both dice. Steps. You just lose the one that you gained for that turn. So it's oh, lose no, that die at the end of the round. Doesn't this say gain four and then lose oh, this dice? Oh, if you do that's the bottom part, round. yes. <coughs> if I do the bottom part. Well, you would have to do the bottom, but you lose and it. And then I get bottom. three so steps. <coughs> so it's worth. So like it's, I don't know. What's this castle? I don't know if that's thing good as a yeah, You lose a die, so you can. Can we get pull back our zoom? Like, oh yeah, let's do YouTube. it. So I have three steps. One, two, three. Yep. I'm gonna what get did rid she get on? of. She got rid of a dice. Is I it? Am I getting? I guess it doesn't matter if it's from my discard draw. One step. Oh, I did have two other points. But that is the most Boom. Important. All right, I'm losing again. I'm I am not step. failing you, people. Thank you, Team Chantel. I appreciate you guys. I am out here. I am crushing it. I'm winning. She is crushing it. I'm crushing I'm it. Already she on. is. I, who's orange? This is Zoom camera. We're doing terrible. Get on that computer and the camera on. <laughs> as a unit? <laughs> yes, we as a team yeah, are utterly failing. Hey, you have this dice. Go ahead. And enjoy, oh, and I get the big die now? I mean, action. come on. Four. All right. Oh, Put that in my roll. Oh, all my dice. Four. Yeah. Five. Eight, six, seven. Nine. How eight, far am I behind? Two. Nine. You ready? Two. Yeah, oh, ready as we'll ever be. I am so far behind. Let's go. Yeah. At this point, I might as well just go for a bunch of busts. There we go. I, thought, I mean, the bus, the deck go. definitely leans Get towards those the What does this do again? But I got that I'm symbol. Just gonna do that. If you were to bust, you may lose this. Throw the green die away and then keep going. Got me a dog. Oh, I'm pushing. You nope, are. You did get a dog. Okay. I'm not getting my dog early enough. And I, I got, got another dog. dog. Does that mean I get two? Oh, oh I man, do I push it this way? Oh yeah. I don't think I can. All right, Stop I him. think I'm gonna be done. Four, five, six. I got the shoes. I'm gonna Seven, be eight, the eight. comeback kid, coming back from behind because right, I'm I getting got, up on that bus. I, I got the dog. Track. What does the dog mean? One more time. 
Dog means if you roll again and, and you don't bust, you, don't bust, you, can you take get a credit. Another coin. You get a credit. Okay. Ooh, Go I on. don't want to risk it. I got three gray and one dog. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't want to bust. Okay. No more browns. I bought it. Ooh, Joan, I bought the last brown. All right, so that's nothing. I got two steps. Let's hit it. All right, I'm just going to three, four, five, six, and seven, and a credit to Losers. buy the llama. This llama looks amazing. I My four. goodness, I can't do anything. And then I get one I'm giant step again. for mankind. I mean, I feel cool. like I got to buy cheese. something. I'm not. Hey, hey, Zoom, welcome. We are playing Cubitos. We apologize for downstairs. Yes. <laughs> Apparently we let Kevin were, control it for two seconds. More Zoom issues, so we apologize for that. Thanks for bearing with us. <clears throat> I also you, get two steps. You, you want to tell them five, what QB says? We haven't said anything. Cool. Yeah, we'll tell them. Seven, eight. All right, I'm nine. going to spend. I'm guessing. Okay, for everybody who is just now joining us, we are playing Cubitos uh, okay, from AEG. This Let's is a racing game where we are uh, dice building as opposed to deck building. Mm -hmm. Dice building in our hands to roll dice and move our players and tokens forward. First one to the end wins the game. Right now, we've played about three or four rounds. Chantel is in the lead. Team uh, Chantel, let's go Zoom. Not Team Chantel though, just Chantel is in the lead. It's still Team Jonah <laughs> over here, right? I know right? that you guys were loyal to Team Jonah in the beginning, but you can switch alliances. You cannot. You can. Have you guys ever seen Survivor? You don't switch alliances, you'll get voted out. It's a whole thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, and in this game, we are, uh, every time that you roll your die, uh, the dies either have, they don't have all the sides filled. For instance, this brown die only has two sides with, that actually have tokens on it. One side will give you money, the other side it gives you the special ability of that particular die. So we're rolling to see what we get without busting, meaning without rolling blanks. Um, if you roll blanks, you get to move up on the fan track, which will give you a little bit of a bonus, but it doesn't really help you out in the race right then that turn. If you do get a bunch of symbols on your die, you have all of these special abilities, and you can move, you can buy things, you can do all sorts of stuff, so it's actually super fun. Uh, again, Chantel's in the lead. I'm right behind her. Barely. Will and Sarah are in the back. You're way back. It's okay. Although I did take one. I'm not in the very back. last spot, thankfully, now. Mm -hmm. You're one spot, spot in front of her. <laughs> we're also, just in case side. you guys weren't watching on YouTube, but we're also giving away a copy track. of Thunderstone yeah. Quest at the end of this game uh, for hanging out with us and for helping. All right, are we ready? We ready? Are we yes. ready to roll? Um, did I do this? No, I didn't. Oh, man. Did you literally just miss the whole turn? No, no, no. No. I just don't have anything good oh, to roll. Okay. But I am a line behind. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Hopefully, I got all the right PCs Eight, here. Nine. All right. Got this thing. Good. What does it do? Oh yeah. It's gotta be good. I'm ruling. Got a dog. Awesome. Pushing. Whoa! I got so many things. Thank you. All right. I mean, I need to bu build up my mm. money. All right. Got two of them and a foot. Ooh. All right. Pushing again. This is gonna be exciting. Let's see. You were getting that dog so early, and I'm getting two of them. I yes. Oh got yeah. Okay. I finally got, I got an amazing steps. turn. I busted. Okay. I'm out. I got four. Okay. I'm gonna get. Three. That was not ideal for me. Should I roll again? I Should I roll again, one. audience? I got four dice. One of them is a sweet purple one, which is gonna be amazing if I can pull it off. Is there a is there a gray that I can okay. get? Sure if I push, I get two more dice. Which gray? Oh yeah. It says Thank gray. you for your opinions. Discretion. I don't know what they were, but I'm pushing. Which gray would you like? I right. want the dark. Come on, gray. don't fail me. Make sure you didn't make a mistake. No busting right now. Bust, okay. bust, bust. Woo! So I get Got it. four steps. And another money. And I'll stop. Now. You have so much money. I have so much money. It's you amazing. do. And I got some steps finally. Seven. Oh, I got this is not four steps. I was excited that I was going to hit this lose a die thing because I wanted Three, to get rid of one, but now I got to run four. past it. I got that I'm one. I'm sad. I could like jig jag just to lose it. Is it worth okay. it to thin my die? Let's see. I think I can get rid what of this What does this one here. do? Is it worth it to thin my die? You're two lines behind Chantel already. What, what does, does the do? flag do? Yeah. Move up on the uh, flag track. Game oh, okay. So I have four steps. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Let's do it. She's so far away. She's oh so gosh. far ahead. Okay, you're right. I can't wait. Good okay. Morning, and then my dog there. is each time you push okay, and do. Is that a blocked off space? And uh, I don't no, know it's not. No, I don't want to. No, it's not. Thank you very much. I can't move there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> these were all in my cat. draw, so right. these are coming back to my draw. I, I, can draw all of these. I love the cat. I've got go, baby. this puppy, which gains me also gain a flag. One, two, I don't three, get the three four, coins, I don't think. Did you think both? 
I get to roll Eight. all my dice. What do you think on this? I, I rolled the dotted corners, so I definitely yeah. get this. Do I also get that? Uh uh-uh. uh. You roll. Uh uh-uh. uh. You rolled the dotted. You rolled the dotted. Okay. Corners. All right. Two, three, four, so I'm only getting yeah, two. So eight, nine. Some of the dice of have well, it says get, two different on symbols yeah, on them. Oh, and you don't get any money. Right. There's like a symbol and then there's like a bonus power symbol. Similar to some other game. I want to see. Is it, is it Thunderstone that has dice like that? I don't remember. But. Mm-hmm. I do not know what these dice do. I would want to do them, but. Let's do it. I mean, you have so much money. Warriors is the one that. I know. With all like this money, you should be powering up, How do I get, leveling up. You need to get You're going to lose to Chantel if you don't start going forward. <laughs> what what, <laughs> what roll of your feet? The cheese? I don't know. I just like I to bust, make cheese. I that? busted one you time, and now look how far I don't have any cheese, but I'm just saying, I feel like I need, so I need the cheese. How, yeah, how are you, how you getting so, so many far? feet? Because of the fat cat. The fat cat has Uh-oh. two feet on it. She's got four gray dice now. All have feet on them. All right, I'm gonna switch gears and rip off the right. house strategy. Come One, on. two, three, four, five. Spending my credit. So many money. I don't have any. I've never had any right. yet. I, I mean, he's guy. able to buy the most expensive stuff like twice if he wants to. I have to. three brown dice on I think I, I think I like. Dogs. I got a lever set. Nobody else can afford it. I gotta try the purple one again. Nobody. Do you hear him talking to one, us two, like that? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, oh, this cheese short. doesn't make sense for you because you're not, you're only on one space on the fan track. It's just good to always have some cheese. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm. I don't know what we're going for. Brad says he's got Cubitos on pre order. So excited to add it to the collection. Cheese? I agree. Yeah, with you, I have paid nine for cheese. cheese. Cubitos is super fun. It's nice. It's mm-hmm. imported. Yeah, it's imported yeah. cheese. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. All right, you guys right. ready? Who's got that big guy? Is that Me. Me too? No. no. <laughs> I got it. Don't worry I about it. Like, I got it. it. No, I just used it the first time. Right. Calm this down. I just yeah. got it. I'm on okay, nine. three. What does this do? Do I again? Two more. I lose this die Blue. and any one other die. Okay, so can I play it right now? It is a... Or Run, so no, you cannot play right now. You're on roll right now. Okay. Cat. Let's go. Oh, I got the dogs. There we go. Let's go. One more. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Yes! I had four, and I rolled three of mine. Oh, my goodness. And look at that discard. Oh, my. Team Chantal is here for the win. stays in roll if you just rolled it, not discard. I rolled it. She just so rolled it. Stays it. In the oh, wall. yeah, you're uh, discard. Oh, okay. I'm done. Uh, I also rolled everything. Oh my one. word! You rolled all of those? Yeah, I sure did. I did not roll hardly any oh. at all, but I got Time to go. some of my best ones. Let's see if I can pull it off. I got. Are you throwing your browns away when you get the dogs? Here we go. Will cheating. is always there cheating. Is Will, Will is cheating. Will is always cheating. Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> oh, there it is, June. Throw Will the brown is away. Cheating. If you throw get the dog the and you use the dog, away. you got to throw it away. These are definitely gone. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Now we got some more to buy. Now, if I, I had a guy, oh my. my first time. Oh, you were you weren't even you couldn't even buy them because I stole them all. Yeah. Well, I hadn't no, gotten any Jonah dogs took them all to do anything, but I'm I sorry. just did one of them. I will confess that I, cheating strategy cheaters never win. Obviously, yep, so not gonna win. Here. All right. Oh my. Three, four. This guy oh. is gonna get me. Oh, I one of <laughs> team well. Did I get a team well? I just lost all my team well <laughs> support. I'm sure. Uh, cat. I had a one. Okay. So we're saying the cat gives me. I get three. I'm going to use this turn. Mm-hmm. A gray die impossible. I get possible. to throw this away and, and a gray three away. steps. This is discarded. Yes. All right, I got three, three steps, which I use. Awesome. Three. I have, I have three, four, six. Then, six, seven, eight. What can I buy time. for six? Here we go. Now I got the purple. Eight. Purple says, two. getting any one non-purple die. Yup. Yup. I, I do dude. like that cat. It's only got five. to do it. What'd you do? Don't worry about it. I'm not telling well, you what I did. I did this one, so you I just get you to share with the audience and another one. one. The audience wants to know what you did. That's obvious. Audience at home, I bought a red die because no one else has one, and it's going to get me moving. But gonna now gonna that I said that, they're going to buy red dies. No, you're going to okay. lose it after one turn. I mean, it's a good Okay, one, you were supposed to be losing brown <laughs> dies after one turn. <laughs> well, now that we're all keeping each Pass other accountable. <laughs> you need to stop buying these cats. And I get three steps, so we're going to go. Three steps? And it usually immediately. 
So I'm trying to gain one non-purple. Set it to any face. Wait, in that's active six, zone. seven. Oh, I don't get to keep it. Keep it. <laughs> no, you don't get to keep it. Equal to half of your count. But there's none of that that I which need. Which would be one, Man. or just gain one. I'm trying to figure out where I want to well, go. Oh, you're catching up. That was short lived. And then, uh, and then I have to get rid of this. Way. But I gained one, four two, steps. One, two, three. Wow. He passed me. How'd you get four steps? You just got right here. You've got to get rid of it, but it gives you four steps once you roll it. How many oh lines am I going? I feel like I'm back in the game. <laughs> Maybe able to do it. Just a little cheating, and I'm back in just it. Just a little bit. <laughs> Ten. Just a I little cheating. I don't have the so I have Five. this in my draw, and then I discard. Does this so automatically go in my draw? Yeah, yeah, this would go first. Ten. This would go first, and, and then this, then right? whatever you need to finish Gotcha, yeah. Two. Four, six, eight, nine. Oh my, that is literally my nine. Mm -hmm. This is not a good roll for me, guys. No, I'm not feeling great. Either. It is not a good roll. Is this seven points? Yeah. I definitely went the wrong way. No, oh, no not lining points. Up for it's, seven credits it's seven or credits. Well, obviously there's no points for me. So seven is a bunch. Okay, three. Okay. Whoa, I'm not really What does this well. do again? This is. I'm if you were to buzz, you may points. lose this to three, not buzz. Four, five, six. One step. Come mm -hmm. on, Jonah, roll something good. I mean, I have nothing. Whoa! One you rolled them yes. all? <clears throat> yes! I'm done. Oh my gosh, I just busted. <laughs> You've got yes. to be kidding me. I rolled them all, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Okay, so, but I can use this, it. though. So, I would have busted, but then I could use this to not bust. That's Correct. Right. Throw it away. You have That's to put it away. in the trash. So, I have to throw it away. But now and, you get... And then to, I get to re-roll if I want? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. You should I risk it? You haven't busted yet. I did bust. You did bust, okay. So, that's why I used it, so like right. that I could yeah. roll again, right? Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Oh, my so You goodness. definitely want to roll again if you're spending it, yeah. Yeah. Risk it for the best. Risk it! Oh, yeah. she got a dog. dog. All right, so if you risk it again, you I get credit. Use money you get every credit. time. I get one. One friend. If you three. don't bust, if you I get one. If I you know. You also lose your dog. If you bust. I mean, no, no I'm not gonna do it, it because if my cards bust, are bad. If you bust, you don't lose the dog. No, you but. Should do it. I should I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this is the person who was behind and cheated, so <laughs> I think I'm good. I'm gonna put this in my disc. I mean in my It's, it's always family song. friendly as long as you cheat with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> Life lessons right here. <laughs> okay, I've got the most red. Okay. Okay. Yes, so I do. move up so to one. I get one equal. I get two and count, then for two steps. What is this? That you push. One, you you get to like you have to around. have seven movement seven that roll, movement. and then you get to jump that other space. I don't, I don't think I can do it, but I can move one two spaces. I'm so far behind. And then I got I get, I have three, two. four, five, six. Coins. I want this one. I'm not gonna. I do money. like that. Ooh. Fact. These are in my draw. This is gonna so go in half the draw here before it's empty. Alright, who right, had dibs on Chantel Crawford's line? I'm sure everybody guessed that. We got one more finish line coming up here. Who's Two, finishing four, six, crossing that one first eight. is the next question. Here we go. Alright, I got ten. Oh, I'm two behind. Five. Five. Yeah, I'm rolling all my dice. Five. Is this game six, okay seven, as two eight, player nine. or better? It is. It is good at two players. It's good at two players. It is, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm only getting one behind you, so I'm only getting one. There's less getting the bonus. Hotel's got it. Less, mm -hmm. less, well, no, I, never mind. It feels that is like, a, eight is a lot for that. Honestly, guy. it feels better with one player, two players, three players, four players, well, because no. you're still focusing on your stuff. Now, obviously, the pressure of who is in front of you changes, but the gameplay is a very similar experience. It's very cool. All right, look at them feet. All right, I got the feet. dog on the first roll. I got roll. a dog. I'm gonna need. Re roll for that credit. Oh, I got a I dog got too. One. And I'm I got a cat. Again to get me another credit. Okay, I think I am done. I'm not. Right, no, I'm, I'm gonna not gonna push it. again. You gotta lose the dog. Just wanna yes. point that out to everyone. That lose I'm the dog. Getting rid of the dog. Uh, I'll roll again. I'll just lose one of these. Okay, so I have. Four, I'm stopping there. Five. Oh, is this supposed to be me? No, I just put oh, it there. Just... Next time. Yeah, okay. All right. Time. The cat says oh, I have five movements. So I got two coins. <laughs> and gain I one. And I gain three. Trying to get something. If possible. Pass no, Will! You oh, take thank it. you. I don't want it, right? Uh, and take three. Oh, so Discard. wait, question. Maybe we need to oh, find out. Should we leave the dog, too? Maybe No. I am. Um, 
Gain one gray if possible, and gain three, three feet. feet. She yeah, is the only first player. Gain... No, she wouldn't be because if you're the first player, you go clockwise. Yeah, she's the first player this round. She just, she, just, she was it. done with it and just handed it to me. Yeah, we're a little ahead of that step. Sorry. Okay. Do so I only she gets gain the the three feet if I take the die, or am I gaining the thing? It wasn't possible to gain the die, but I still gained three steps. You gain a gray. So yeah. it's gain a gray if possible. Oh, Do you, that's mean, also gray. gray. She took the better gray. It says if possible, and there are gray dice available to take. Okay, I'll take so it mostly because I'm going to get it in three feet. Six, right, I did it twice, actually. Eight, nine. Okay. Did you also, you got like three? No, I only got one cat. <clears throat> oh, is it only the cat? What are we talking about? I thought it's you were talking about the cat. The, what about, it's only the cat symbol. This is a foot symbol. They need a little yeah, icon in the feet. corner to show it. No. That's How many of those did I take? One or two? You took, I, I think you only one. took one and then Nikki put it back and then, then you took it again. So you're good. I don't want any of them. <laughs> <laughs> there was only three I don't have gray. We're all the color I the whole have time. five steps. One, two, no. I, I have scared. a lot of grays. One. Everyone has grays? Two. I have a lot of grays. Three, four, I, I five. I do have, I feel like a lot so of like grays. That that's why I didn't two. want any more. Two. One, two, three, and four, five, two. three, four, five. Okay, six, I did my monies. Okay, this need gray that. goes over there. And I don't need my doll, John. So I have six. Oh, I got seven, eight, eight, four, five, eight, six. Eight, six. Eight, six. That I spent. I'm gonna get get getting that blue. I can roll ten. I'm gonna get two dogs. That's what four. Ten. That's all I can roll. Eight, ten. Ten. I have so eight, many grades. Do we have colors? Okay. I have so many what? Are you about to roll that big one? Yep. Oh, oh, my. It's in my hand. Worth it. One, two, three. All right, everybody. Five, six. <coughs> and then two, four, six. Okay. We gotta go. We gotta go. Ten minutes. Do we? Ten, Ten minutes. minutes. I, get a rolling, Will. Uh, you have so many die. Me. Are you kidding me? How'd you get so many die? Okay. Because I, I can do it. I'm. I've got stuff that's making me trash. Like we have a lot of team Jonas downstairs. There we go. There we go, Zoom. How many? How many die? Thank you. Nine. One extra. Let's go do it. Unless the There's dog a is a werewolf. <laughs> oh, I got a cat. What does a cat do? Girl team? Girl boy team? team? Yeah. Team boys? Can we can, we, can we align for team boys or are you only playing team Jonah? Oh. Oh. I mean, these are I'll horrible. take it. I'll take it. I'm down to Okay. Yes. Yeah, really I'm taking dogs. this and this. Oh, I got a dog. All right, we're done. If I roll, I got to throw the dog. <laughs> Okay, so I got four. I'm going to throw this Jonah. one away, and I'm throwing you throw. away. Oh, I got one. I, I busted. My first bust. Throwing that second away. Bust? No, I meant getting oh. moving. I got uh, four. But I do get oh, a token roll. and an extra die. All right, I'll take that. Okay, <clears> I have four coins. <clears> but I probably just lost my lead. You guys caught up. I was getting away. Um, oh, no, these were... One, two. A dog. Okay, one, two, three, feet. four, five, six, seven, plus eight. I have four. eight to buy things with. I'll take a five, blue. Five, six. Uh, give me a I'll cat. I'll take a blue. Here. Oh, I got so many cruddy gray. I have one, two, three. I can take a gray. Okay. And I have four steps. So I'm not having one, anywhere near this. One, two, two three, three, four ten. steps. Two, and I'm behind six. by one. Four steps. Two, and and I, I just sure handed it to him. I was about <laughs> to say. <laughs> Draw All right, roll. are we ready Move. to roll? Do it. Let's go. Got a cat. Seven. I got two dogs. Eight, I got a cat. Yeah. And pretty good starting roll. That was all I rolled. Don't bust, don't bust, don't bust. I'm a dog, bust. I'm on a dog right got now. No dogs. I'm getting all the money. I might need to stop cat. here. Hello, cat. Oh, yeah. Got it. Gain the cheese. Two steps. Gonna gain What's some dice. All right, two let's steps. go. I'm done. Yep, I'm stopping. Because right this there. is such a great roll. I got three cats. All right, Jonas, three first. He got cats. cats. I got three cats. That's Do you know what that means? It means you're gonna have Bust. all the gray dice except oh Jonah busted. I busted. Alright, so I got a cat, which means I gained one money. Guys, I'm winning. I'm I, winning. I'm winning. Yep. Take a gray dice. Okay, I, I so got it. Three. Which is not okay. great. I busted. That gives me three so that means steps. Two. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me go first. One, two, three. three. That's my cat. Yes. Done. I got a fourth step. 
Catching up. Two of these guys. What are these giving me? Gain that. Interesting. I'm short. I'm just short to do this. Okay. And then I got three, four, five, six. I have ten. What's I'm losing. I'm not doing well. I got seven money. Is it Brad? This oh, right. is what does seven money get me? Anything? All right, y'all ready for this? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh, we lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> two more dollars. You got a buck. And I get. I do have three, to say, I have I am, five money. I am one short to teleport past you two. Bummer. This is I know. What is it? One, Credit? two, three. Zoom people want to see the board. Three, oh, hit it. Of course they do. This uh, is me. I'm winning. So three, all of you who are five, team six. Wait, Jonah. Show, show it again. Seven. This is me. I'm the blue right here. What's I'm the end? winning. Where's the end? I feel like I need right to here. get. She's, she's taking. Are we ready? From us. No, I need to roll something off. Whoa, Chantel is doing well. Seven. Oh, no, I got four. Thank you. Four. All right, give me one more cat. Oh, I will spend two of these. I'm supposed green. to get a gray. Give me a cat. Give me a cat. Thank you. She's doing the cats all the way. I guess I'll take another cat. I don't like mine. Ready? All right, all right. Can you spotlight mine? One. Okay. Can you spotlight your iPad? Four. One, two, three, four, five. five. Six, seven. I get the big one? Eight, nine. Six. Oh, I rolled my purple. Okay. Fur I rolled a purple and a dog. Four, five, six, you guys are done for. I don't even know what the purples three, four, and the dogs five, do. Six, seven, Hold on, right? I know what the dog does. What does the purple do? Name. Game. 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 So and I rolled a blue. these have a face oh my up. Goodness, this is gonna be perfect. Three of them in there? Yes. So right now, if I, I choose to roll again so and there's no faces, I but bust, I which means so I discard I everything. So what's it worth? So should I risk it? Zoom? Oh yes. Should I risk it? How many I, faces are on your dice? I am Wrong. ahead. Uh, so like cool. these one only has two. This one has two, this one has one, Everybody and this one has risk three. It. Risk it. People are saying risk it. Risk it? All right, let's go. I am ahead already. Whoa! So got one. I did get one. All right, we're going to we're gonna stop there. Finally, my best roll. All right, you're holding. So, so now what happens? Eight, these four, two specifically, I get to discard this one and discard any other one that I want. Is that a good okay. thing? Yes, because you want to get rid of your four, graves. Five, six, these seven, literally have, like, there's nothing. Four, five, there's six, only seven. one point. All right. So I'm getting rid of my grades. Right. There we go. Now what happens? So nice. now I get to roll better cards. Um, this is a foot, which means that I get to move on the okay. board. So I'm going to move up one. I have I'm eight move in the this lead. One, and I, I am in movement. the lead. Jonah has Whoa. eight movement. Eight. I rolled my purple, which I threw away. All right, now what happens? I can pick something else. Chantel, what are you doing with those grades? So the grades are, are um, like money. So right now I have two that this I have to spend yep. or else I lose yeah, them. And the green. This oh, is up. a credit, so that to stays there. Over? So this oh, says no, no, that no, if no, I would have no, rolled no, no, and bust, right. then I would be able to two, throw three, this four, away oh. and roll again. It's worth so it's right. like, so it, it kind of saves you. Okay. One, two, three, All right, four, so what are you five, buying? Uh, I have three money. We're gonna buy. We're gonna buy a green, which is worth two coins. Okay. And we all put in this card. And if you use that one credit, would go away. And yes, I if two, I would have used the credit, yes, but the two. credit stays. Oh, is so the only now, thing that stays. So is there another phase to the game? Uh, so right now I am. So I put all this in discard. So just like in a deck builder, from my draw pile, I'm gonna put into my. Oh, uh, she's drawing all those whites. Yes, you guys. It's over. It's over. But I can only draw up to nine. Okay. My hand is up to nine. All right, I'm ready. So two, four, six, eight, nine. Now look at that. All right, we're gonna look at Jonas this time. All right, come on over. I'm not doing so hot, but I oh, am. Oh, and back I get the big block. Okay. What do you got, Jonah? Uh, what? Uh, I'm rolling Guys, a, man, a lot of grays, but this will keep me alive, and I really need this purple All right, badly. Here okay, not bad, not bad. Okay. I'm oh, that was a foot. These. Don't mean to turn it. That's a foot. Oh! <laughs> you didn't even think. You just like I'm rolling again. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm in. Okay, so this isn't good because the right, purple, pressing your luck much the purple more. only has one side on it. That's good one, right? I'm gonna go one more time. One more great. time. So you're, what are you doing? Oh like, yeah. Okay. Yes. Do it again. Do it I again. No, I'm not doing it again. Push I, it. Get I got so I many green. feet. I gotta stop. <laughs> Do it. All right, Push. so I have three, four feet, and four okay, money. I'm so with my four feet, I can go. 
One, two, Jeez. I gotta get this purple. Four. four. Okay. You got the purple? I did. I have four money. One Huge. Of these. So I'll take a green. Seven, eight. Green. Eight. I can you get can something. Out, Kevin. Eight. I'll take a right, green so and an orange. Eight. I'm gonna get that blue. All this comes over. Maybe so maybe now, eight. like in a deck builder, so this I'm is a pile. This red. So I have to draw close. those three okay. before I would shuffle these. Okay. One, two, so three, now I have four, one, two, five, six, three, four, seven, eight. five, six. Three seems pretty one, huge. And then you should go up to nine. Seven, eight. Four, five, six, seven, nine. Eight. Guys, I am but I'm two one, two, away. three, four <laughs> lines wait, wait, where's, behind Chantel. Where's Chantel? I am right up here, guys. So get four more which means that all of you who Chantel. chose Team Chantel, I appreciate you. I thank you. Wow. Zoom, you picked Jonah. Wow. You picked wrong. <laughs> She wow. could, but you did the wrong dude. And one of us could right. still win it. Right. It's could not over. over. I got She's getting not over. Over. She's She's getting getting cocky, everybody. She's one, getting cocky. Two, Here we go, Chantel. Show us what's happening. All right, Roll two, four, six, purple, six, which I'm going to get rid of. Eight. I'm going to pull out a this yellow to here. activate, which gives so me So now all my discard goes over to my draw, down. and this so is what I got to roll. It's not a good roll, though. But I'm, all you need is two? two I only three. need two to win. And then I got to get rid of the purple, but I can, I can do it. Oh, someone says Jonah still has this. One, two, Jonah. three, four. Whoa, That's what we Will is catching up. I got four points. What can I get with four points? Anything amazing? No, no, that's, that's where I'm at. I got huh? six. Can we just go now or do you have to wait for Oh, I have to well, wait. I'm five, just, but five is Yeah, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> I guess I can do one of these guys. Can't Cheers. hurt. Is he and cheating again? That's what people are asking. Actually, oh, hold on. I'm going to put that in there. Give me a purple. Anybody need to throw away uh, a white one? She got that's not good. She got purple on the last turn? That's not good at all. Oh, I Yeah, no, it, there, but yeah uh, and then it went there, yeah. Shoot. How did you, you got rid of all your dice? She did. She was. She was. I used a lot of orange oranges. ones. Yeah, yep, I did so see did you I. have those orange ones. Uh oh. <laughs> all right, everybody. Is this it? Moment all right, you guys oh, yeah. ready? Yeah, but she's gonna bust. Well, she needs fine. two feet. 13. Here it is. Two. These come on. Oh, I got a cat! <laughs> but she could still bust. I could. No, nope, because I'm done. Um, I, I got my three. Uh, okay. I got my three. Oh my Maybe just stop there and see if I can pass you up. Hold on. Oh, I got a purple. One. It's Will's not over. Playing, he is cheating. It is not double. over to the ten. But yeah, I'm going to cross right, right now. But, yeah. but he Nine, could cross, 10, 11, and if he has more feet than you, One, two, three, he will four, win. Because he will go past the finish line. Worth it. So I'm going to stop. Five I got roll. five feet right now. You have five feet? Or you got five. Well, I have. Oh, I have four. My four feet. So I have one I'm foot here, and my cat, cat is oh, worth three. Feet. And the cat is I'm worth stop. three. That's just money. So I got a one, uh, two. I got a purple. I haven't even rolled. It's not over. Three. I haven't even it's rolled. It's over for I me because I have didn't roll. one, two, three, four. And I have, that was the wrong cat. thing. And I, I have three money. There's one foot. A foot. Not going to be enough. Will's not in it, folks. Oh. Two feet. Yeah, he needs like. I just want to thank all the people. Get out that of encouraged me <laughs> along the way to win this because without you, the accepted speech. Without you, I just I don't know where I would be right now. <laughs> so you crossed the finish line. So how much? thank you, thank two. you, thank All you I can so do much. is two. One, two. I've got. I do have that one, was, two, a bunch of this stuff. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. Seven, Game. eight, nine, ten. A bunch of money. I can go for ten spots. Ten I just is a bunch. Close. Four here. I'm oh, yeah. equal. Oh, and you got the purple? Plus that. Yeah. What, what are you gaining for the purple? I gained the red. Oh, okay. So, so Chantel five. wins? Ten spots. Hold ten. on. I'm, in, I'm not in the back, though. Because Jonah's pull out second. I am Three, the four, champion, five, six, seven, my eight, friend. Eight, Pass me! Uh, boom, 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 boom. Good game. Did I win? I get to be on the board! Oh, Oh yeah, we got one more. She gets to be on the board. She made it. <laughs> Is that the first game you've actually played? Yes. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> oh, what happened to my pen? <laughs> Good job, Jonah. Second. Someone stole it. Thanks, Sarah, for not leaving me in last. Appreciate oh, you. No problem. <laughs> my, I, I busted. Oh my. So many How are we giving away times. this game? What are we doing? How, oh, what's Thunder, the giveaway Thunderstone prize? Thunderstone Quest. Thunderstone Quest is our giveaway. In the chat. We're you gonna give it to somebody who was in the chat. So who was somebody with Team Chantel? I think it's gotta be Team Chantel. Does it have to be a Team Chantel person? Does it? I think it kind of oh, has. Yeah. Man. I feel I like it. so. You guys you are just so randomly, supportive. Yeah. You were randomly so supportive. Selected. All right, Sidekick Larry has been paying attention to that. He has randomly selected already. And it happens to be a, the one who led the team, Chantel. <laughs> just by who chance. Who is it? Coraloo. Coraloo! Coraloo! Congratulations! Congratulations! 
Thunderstone Quest. Thunderstone Quest. Thunderstone Quest. Thunderstone Quest. Thunderstone Quest. It is a huge game. It's huge so good. Huge game. Thunderstone Quest. Uh, Corlew, if you would please email Sarah, S A R A, at tantrumhouse.com with your mailing address, we will send you this beautiful copy of Thunderstone Quest. Congratulations. I have no idea what's up next because I can't see the schedule from here. What are we heading out to? We're playing. We need to talk. We need to talk. Sweet. From Smirk and Laughter, uh, I think we're going to head to the couch, rotate some cameras, see if we can get over there, and uh, we'll be ready to psychoanalyze Jonah. Ooh. Is it here me? It comes. I think it's a bunch of people. Oh, Let's okay. do it. I think it is you. <laughs> is it me? It is. All right. All right, so we're all on the couch because we all need some help. And you guys are going to be the ones to help us, I think. Yeah. Melissa, why don't you tell us what we're playing and how to play, and then we'll figure out how you guys at home can play along with us. All right, so we're playing We Need to Talk by Smirk and Laughter. And basically, it was determined ahead of time that the first person who needs an intervention is going to be Jonah. Yay! All right. Obviously. So basically, nice. we're going to draw a card, and there's going to um, be a condition that he has 
that the four of us will know, oh. but Jonah will not know. And so he's going to try to guess what we think his condition mm -hmm. is. Right. So uh, there is. So I need help from you guys at home. Yes. So <laughs> those of you who are watching in YouTube and Zoom, as we give clues, you can maybe help Jonah out of what you think the condition could be. Now there are three I feel rounds. Like I know people who have this condition. <laughs> there <laughs> are three <laughs> rounds yeah. of giving clues. So um, I'm just going to explain the first round. And if Jonah doesn't guess his malady at the end, by the end of the first round, then I'll explain how the second round works. The first round, we are just broaching the subject. So those of us giving clues, listen up. So you can say, we need to talk about, and then you can use up to two words that relate to that condition. But can now, we use any of the words that are on the card? You cannot use any of the words that are on the card. Okay, Fine. let me Jonah, check yes. this card You have 15 for exact points in words. front of you. I award points based on... Each time someone gives you a clue, okay. don't, you don't show them at home. give us two points and you lose a point. Oh, if you no. want to guess okay. after the clue, you have to give that person a second token. Okay. If you actually mm -hmm. guess it right, whoever gave the clue that made you guess it right loses all their points. <gasps> okay, good. So those of us giving good. clues, we I don't like want to be too obvious, but if you give a clue that is way out there, the rest of us, the concerned friends, can say, that's not a valid clue, and you get no points. You don't get a token or anything. Okay. I love that. So it's that balancing. Terrible. No, that's a perfect rule because that way you guys can't cheat me out of getting okay, this I'm correct. I'm giving you garbage right. clues. I'm trying to just try. So, so hard trying to think of. Okay, so let me make sure I got it. I start with 15. Two words. You give me a clue. I flip it over and give you two points. If right. I want to guess off your clue, I have to give you four points. If, if I get it correct, you lose all your points. And everyone who has points keeps them. Everyone, so you everyone else keeps them, and I get the rest of them. And he has to. Get just something close okay. to this. It, it right? has to be close. We have enough. to all agree. Okay, mm -hmm. he's. I'm that's gonna look right. one more time. Hey, everybody. At I home, know. I need your help. Right, and that's what we're. That's what you guys are here for. So if you have suggestions for what you think it might be, put them in the comments because Jonah can glean from the group wisdom to figure out what his condition is. So actually, it's you and all of YouTube that suffers Perfect. from this. <laughs> so so just. To an example in the book, so if the ma malady was uncontrollable interpretive dancing, in this first round, people may give clues like about your impulsive timing or your jazz hands. Oh boy. Oh, or your yeah. jazz communication hands. skills. I could have gotten off jazz hands, but the timing one, I would be like, oh no. Right, you'll so, be more take all my points. by all of our clues after a round or two than they will have helped you out with. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah, do do we go in order clue? or just kind of whenever you get um, one? Well, in this round, each of us needs to give one clue. Just one Since I've been okay. talking the most, I haven't really thought about it. So okay. if you want to let me go last, that would probably be a good thing. Okay, Jonah. Okay. We need to talk about your comments. And we can yeah. use two words? Up to two words. Yeah, that was what I, those were. And, your, and your comments. Oh, your and comments. Oh, and two I, um, words was pronouns. Two words. And I was going to describe like an entire. Pronouns <laughs> and articles don't count, so oh. the, okay. your. Oh, so I can say stuff. more than that? Okay. Wait, that well, that's. She's holding it. Okay. We need to talk about your comments. All right, everybody, help me out. We're not ready to guess yet. Obviously. But keep that not. in mind All right, as so we you hear got the next points. ones. I got She's two got points. She's got two points on the board. We need to talk about AMC. That's like three letters or one word. <laughs> <laughs> Two points for Will. Uh, can I guess off you, Will's? Yeah, you can. You, can. But you have, have to give him me another. more points. Have and if you're wrong, I get to keep the points. I know, but okay. I'll get you the rest of the points. You already got it? Sweet, all right. All right, everybody at home, help me out. Yeah, this is your chance. Type in some comments. I <laughs> like movie reviews. I was going to say talking during the movie. Help me out. Is it movie reviews? YouTube Bad is... movie critic? I like that. Should we go one more? Should we let Dan or Melissa give a clue? Talking during movies, I like that a lot. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, well I won't guess. I mean, if you want to give me another point. I won't guess. <laughs> I'll let you guys continue. All go right. Ahead. Go ahead, Dan. More clues. I like it, Lauren. Jonah, we need to talk about your constant talking. They're trying to, they're trying to set me up. <laughs> they're trying to set me up. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
Amy's already offended. I like it. That's the one I was going to go with first. I'm guessing off Dan. Here's an extra two points. Oh. Uh, my problem is that I talk during movies. No. That is not no. it. Oh, that so is not if we it. want, we can put this on the yes. hot and cold side. Tell me about I, hot I, or would, cold. I would think he is somewhere right around here. We're right kind around. of hot, yeah, everybody. Warm, they yeah. moved it a little bit to the warm side. We're yeah. close. We're close. We gave I, Dan an extra two points. Though. I know. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. audience. We, we got to at least give me the points. If we're gonna All do right. Jonah. Yes. We need to talk about your witty replies. Okay. Um, I'll okay. accept it. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, your clue was constant chatting. Talking. Constant talking. Your clue will... Just, we Katie's clue was AMC. comments. Right. Your clue was AMC. Right. It's got to be movies. Got to be movies. Your clue was... Witty, witty replies. Witty replies. While Jonah is thinking about this, let me explain. If we go into round two, okay. the concerned friends will use one or more sentences Sentence. to describe sentences. their wow. feelings about how oh, this feelings. problem is impacting you. I'm wow. Ready. I'm how do you feel? Okay. This is the best one. I'm excited this about this one. This behavior <laughs> makes me feel. I, such I think and such. we're going to get into the second round. I really wanted to get it in the first round, everybody, and we were close. We're close, but I think we're going to go into the second round. I've okay. awarded Melissa two points. Let's let's keep moving. What do you got? Okay. All right. How do you feel about this? Your what do I say? What is the what is the, the start behavior point? makes me feel okay. Your behavior makes me feel like I am trapped in the cinema. Trapped in the cinema. Am I quoting movies? Am I giving bad reviews? Am I telling them what the movie is before they go? What am I doing? <laughs> quoting movies? Okay, we gotta think back. Comments, AMC, constant, constant talking, witty, witty replies. replies. <clears throat> quoting movies sounds right, everybody? We're gonna give her an extra two points if we... Should we go with quoting movies? Everybody at home, put it in the comments. Are we going with quoting movies? I've seen some nods. I've got some yeah, quoting movies. I see a no. Well, I see a lot of yes. If you don't guess on me, you're just going to have to give Will two points and then guess sometime later. Or YouTube. wait until it's my turn. <laughs> Here's you some YouTube more. feedback okay. for you. Yeah. Uh, you're talking too long in the bathroom? <laughs> no, that's not it. YouTube? Too many spoilers. Do you want to guess Movie who said spoilers. that? Movie spoilers. Movie spoilers, maybe. Oh, quoting movies too much. Overreacting during movies. That's yes, a real thing. Quoting I movies, do. spoilers. <laughs> what? That's so unrealistic. I can't believe that would happen. <laughs> How could I do that? <laughs> Giving movie oh, reviews, man. quoting movies. Okay. Uh, what do you think? I'm you want another clue? Give you want to give her two? For the clue. I'm going with another clue. I don't know. Going with another clue. Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, I can't believe it. It actually, okay, this is how it makes me feel. It actually, I think it's funny. Oh, no. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> he thinks it's funny. <laughs> Go ahead and give me two more points. That, uh, can, we, can we say that's not a good clue? It is a good oh, clue. You can say how that. It feels. You can say that and take his points away. Do you away. not feel that? You can say that and take his points it's away. It's just so broad. So broad, that's the whole purpose. <laughs> what what is yours again? I said I, how it makes me feel. I actually think it's funny. Nope, take his points. <laughs> you don't even know what take his it. points away. <laughs> take his points away. I mean, knowing Will, that probably yeah. is how oh, he feels. Oh, oh, take it. Take it. That's true. I commented with something that was helpful, not necessarily truthful. <laughs> 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 Are you still uh, no. on not Team Jonah? No. Nope. Someone says. <laughs> no, not Whoa, team Jonah. they just conspired against me? That's what yeah, happened. That is. You got oh some people on Team Dan. You're not even in, like, you're not even on Dan. Alright, Dan, go. go ahead. Your behavior makes me feel like you're just not listening to me. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. 
I think that my problem is that I quote movies. All I do is quote movies. That is. Got it. That it. Ding, 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 Take ding. all the dance points away. Good job. Good job. Fanatically oh. recites movie quotes. There we go. Good work, everybody at home. So, yep. Jonah, you have... Do I get his back? No. No? No? You get... One, two, three, four, five, but six. But I still lose mine. You right? lose all yours. Okay. So I have two. Katie has four. Will has four. Dan has zero. Jonah I have six. six. Team oh, Jonah, everybody. What just happened? For everybody at home, we need we're to give him worse team. clues. Oh, he gets to keep everything. He doesn't give away. Of so, <laughs> is there a scoreboard? Where's the scoreboard? So, I, I don't know if we'll ever get to round three. Let me just explain. If we had gotten to round three, okay. that's when the friends offer a solution. So, mm. um, it might help. If you did this, sure and this maybe <laughs> maybe if you watched with the sound off, that's what I would have said. If you put the s s subtitles on, on put on the captions, <laughs> I'll still be quoting it. <laughs> Perfect, I love that. That was, All right, awesome. that was the hot seat. Who's rotating in the hot seat? Who, who wants who's to go? Listen, I feel like whoever's at the end of the chain has the least. Like it's gonna be hardest for the guy in the end to get points because you've already got well, 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 the Let's slide it down. Let's slide it down. All right, we rotating this way. Yeah, do it. I'm in the hot seat. Yeah, are we actually moving? Let's rotate. Yeah. Yeah. Make it I've got six points though. Hmm. Just don't lose your points. Do we keep these for the game? No. Nope. Oh, nope. Wait, for the round. what? You gotta remember. So what yes, do you, I think there might be a scoreboard or a Let's score see. sheet in there, maybe. All right. If not, well, so you should have. There's a bunch more points. What do you have? Two points. Bunch of ones. Mm -hmm. So you have right. six. I have six. And we both have four. I, I have, have two. Keep two, track four, four. at home. Track. How many four? Are we getting papers coming in? Write the scores. We got it. All right, Jonah on the board with, with six. See if I can read these things. All right, Melissa has. What is it? Jonah's favorite movie quote. I had two. Two. Katie had four. I'm sorry. This, this makes me feel really good. Had four. Really good. And Dan. At least his was reasonable. Awesome. Will's trying to read the card as Katie. Follow the card. I love it. That's wonderful. What's right. my favorite movie quote? That's a good question. Um, if you watched our latest board game news segment that we put on YouTube, I actually said one of my favorite movie quotes in that video, which was from Home Alone 2 when Buzz is uh, <laughs> making fun of Kevin or something and he gives yeah. some options and he out. says one B and four. Oh and so goodness. I actually did that uh, in our <gasps> board game book. news section when we were talking about the new Caverna the expansion available. coming out. So that's actually one of my favorites. Hilarious. <clears throat> Uh, I'm glad that I'm on the end of this one, but yeah, I, so I don't have any idea. I don't have any idea. I'm going to give Melissa. Because we started with Katie last time. Yeah, we could do that. that we kind of went. Yeah, because sure. We'll always all start right. in all this right. seat. <laughs> Um, so we're moving seats. We need to talk, Dan, about your unusual beliefs. Wow, my yeah, you figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's points on that one. Um, where are my twos? It's oh, the other side. side. Okay, yeah. let's hear some more. <laughs> unusual beliefs. Um, Scientology conspiracy theories. Ooh, um, I like that, Chris. <laughs> I got a clue if you don't steal it, but I don't oh, know. Oh, okay. <clears throat> we, um, we need to talk about. I have like a good clue. Your festive. Festive. <laughs> decorations. Ooh, festive decorations. Unreasonable <laughs> beliefs? Un unusual. unusual beliefs. And you usually believe festive decorations. Uh, uh, yeah, Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. Um, totally unusual beliefs. Unusual Dan's beliefs. a flat earther. Uh, he's part of a cult. Yeah. yeah. You believe you're I'm, funny, but you're not. <laughs> that sounds like baby eggs. How did you know? <laughs> All right, Will, what, what do you have for me? We need to talk about your candy obsession. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yours made sense. 
<laughs> I did Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> really? I did. I was close, like, from the beginning. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um, he okay. Unusual beliefs. <laughs> Festive decorations, candy what? Candy obsession. Candy obsession. Candy obsession. So I. It's hard not using any of the words on this. This part is what he's eat. Like that. Yeah. That whole card's funny, honestly. Okay, I I'm gonna need more help, Jonah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to take two points to make sure I get them. Um, <clears throat> Dan. Thinks he's Santa Claus? Festivus? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like some of those always wearing ha Halloween costumes. Um, wait, wait. Someone's saying Michelle has an Easter all year? Okay. <laughs> It's hard. It's, I need to look it's hard <laughs> using two words and right, not yeah. any of the ones listed there. Are we talking about how we feel? This is tough. This, no, not he's yet. got... He's no, got no, we need to talk. I'm ready to talk about my feelings. <laughs> I am I'm part. ready to talk about my feelings, too. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. What do you got? Uh, Dan, we need to talk. Um... I think this is correct. Tell me if this is not correct. <laughs> Dan, Dan, we need to talk about taxidermy. This is not correct. That is so <laughs> weird! Is okay. that not correct? Okay, good. Oh, I hope not. I mean, <laughs> in like the like weirdest of stretches, yes, but no. Am I stuffing animals full of candy to celebrate Halloween? <laughs> Is it not correct? I mean, I don't know now. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, wait. Thank you, everyone at home. That's a great clue, everyone at home. Let's keep moving. But is it a great clue because of where I went? Questionable. I, can't, is that I don't think I'm allowed to tell you. I would say it's a bad animals, clue. Stuffing animals with candy and using that as decorations for Halloween. Because when I said that, suddenly it was, was like... Was that a guess? Well, it, are you guessing was, off of Jonah? I was piecing, I was piecing things together, but as soon as I said You guys that, are coming at me for bad clues. <laughs> we're like, oh, well, that I guess that makes sense. Gets it. It uh, a bad clue or not. I guess it was a great clue. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Oh, you know That's what? Great. I guess pinatas, maybe. Yeah. You can see pinatas. I'm um, not going to get a chance to talk about my feelings, am I? <laughs> <laughs> well, it got dark. <laughs> Taxidermy. Are you um, are you officially guessing? You need to make make up your mind if you're guessing or not, because you have to give him some points. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it go one into the feelings. Let's. Now wait, if I guess and I'm wrong, you guys adjust this to give me some correct. correction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I guess I'm wrong, I give him two more points. Um, you could wait till it's all the way back to him and then take it guess again. If you're just right, take it off. you've got a ton of points in front of you, so. Yeah, if I'm right. I don't think I'm right. I'm, I'm, I'm close, I think, but okay. Uh, feelings. Let's, let's hear them. Alright, so your behavior makes me feel like your imagination is running away with you. That doesn't help me. <laughs> You're my friends. You're supposed to help me. My imagination is running away with me. Um, I think pinatas are actually real animals that I'm stuffing, um, or the dark side of that is I think <laughs> the real animals that I'm stuffing are pinatas. Um, You're right. That is a very dark side. <laughs> or real dead animals. Yeah. Wild yeah. game. Mm -hmm. Bad clue, Jonah. LOL. <laughs> Bad clue? You guys don't even know. The yeah, points uh, almost <laughs> don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah. Are you going to make a guess? I'll, I'll make a guess. Why not? I... I am obsessed with stuffing animals with candy to celebrate Halloween. That I, I don't think um, that. Uh, I mean, it's warm, but it's not the right answer. It's, okay. It's barely. It's barely and warm. So does that mean Jonah's <clears throat> clue is trash? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> it means I have a lot of points in it front is, of me. It is. So we need to get back around to you so that you lose okay. them. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All right, my my feelings about I'm your behavior fun. is that they make me uncomfortable because it seems like you don't understand fantasy and reality. <laughs> 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 the one, the one I think is throwing me off is Jonah's. <laughs> you think that until you hear the right reality. answer. <laughs> I'm, I, uh, I forget the word you use, but basically weird beliefs. I'm festival decorations obsessed with candy, taxidermy. <laughs> What was your feeling again? Do you remember? Um, that your imagination is running away with me. My imagination is running away with me and... You don't understand the difference between okay. fantasy and reality. <laughs> YouTube says you think you're the Easter Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> you also stuff turkeys. Stuffs um, himself with candy? Apparently Brad has the answer because he's confused at why taxidermy's throwing me off. He um, believes pinatas are real. The Easter, the easiest bunny is actually <laughs> the easiest bunny. Okay. Um, I just want to know what the clue is. What the clue yeah. Is. Yeah. So <laughs> everybody, everybody knows. Not doing <laughs> All right, uh, Will. What's your uh, feeling? I feel like you might be too confident that you uh, know something that we don't. Is that a good clue? Uh, I wouldn't give him two points for that. But you guys also hate it on mine, so I can <laughs> come and hate it from Will. But if you're asking, I know. Me, I nope. feel like we let yours slide, so let mine slide. He's gonna get it off of mine. <laughs> he obviously didn't. He's going to. Um, <laughs> what was yours again? Wow. He, he can't even repeat it. Do you not want me to repeat it? No, go ahead. I, can. I, I think you're too confident that you know something the rest of us don't. Too confident that I know something <laughs> you guys don't. Um, I'll, let, I'll allow that one, I think. It doesn't get it Because of no that part. Right. That's, yeah. that's, that's the hard part. That's okay. what I'm trying to help out with. Yeah. Right. If we're allowing it. I think he can get away without even saying that, though. But that is like, there's two different parts to that answer. One is. <sighs> mm, it's hard. Sorry. I think the one that Jonah had is a real thing that people actually struggle with in real life. Haven't yet met anyone with this disorder. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. Um, That's a better clue than the one he just gave. <laughs> That's just me outside of the game helping you out. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually guessing. I think I'm... You should actually just guess at some point. Dressing up in costumes all year. Thinks every day is Halloween. But now I just feel back bad to for the <laughs> Now I just feel the <laughs> Come on back to me. I'll help you out. All right. Guess on right. the rest. Let me get those two points. points. I have zero points. Uh, I gave right you two points. Because right. yeah. sure. you okay. guessed the with way, her. What am I supposed to say for two? Uh, your behavior makes me feel. Your behavior makes me feel like you don't understand birthday parties. What? You guys, you guys are laughing. He's going to get it. And he's going to be like, Jonah, those were fine clues. <laughs> He'll probably say that if like nine turns that. from now yeah, he actually yeah. realizes yeah. what's going on. Thanks, are real. We might make it to round three. Right. What's on round three? I know. So you're right. give him Offer to out. Behavior makes me feel like you don't understand birthday parties. <laughs> okay. Are you um, making a guess? I'll make a guess. Guess over here. Guess it. Don't feel like it, four it, 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 right. You're winning, so. Um, <laughs> I am winning. I like I like what some of the people are saying in Zoom. I think that makes sense. I'm not sure about YouTube, but I I believe that pinatas are real. That's um, it. Okay. That's it. You <laughs> believe, that, believe that they're real, so but they're, you. Devout knowledge that pinatas uh, are alive. I was trying to help you get an extra, okay. like, you're super yes. confident. Yep. Yes. People at home, I don't actually get the point. Was taxidermy home, right? a real clue? Was it a good clue or <laughs> not? It, Let us know. Like a it was not a good clue until <laughs> he was. Let the people until, decide. Until let he thought decide. that she. That First off, got when I said that, he said the right answer yeah. talking. He, he legit did. It. And he then did. three people in the comments uh, said it. You guys were like, that's a terrible clue. I'm like, everybody's <laughs> getting it. It went so dark right. with You're taxidermy, like, though. Thanks for 
have been Shea. It would have been the, like, appropriate. Not like he's stuffing <laughs> I couldn't think of it. <laughs> and I was like, if I say wow. this, he'll know. That's what I thought. All right. Where you were like, I don't know if this All is the right word. I thought points. he means Tater Shea. Right. <laughs> Instead, he said Tater Shea. You don't get points, right? You can get, what is that? Five? Five? Uh, five or if I flip them over. Five is, dead. is that zero? <laughs> wow, Dan, good job. Said it yeah. That was that. Brad says, taxidermy caused us to go to pinatas. You're welcome, Jonah Brad. Scott, <laughs> I agree. Zero. So my yeah, next clue was going to be, you need to Sorry, stop Sorry, I have to retract story. my other comment okay. about it being a great clue. <laughs> 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 it was a fine clue. We got the pinatas. All right, yes, taxidermy was a good clue. Terrible, look, terrible clue, look, Jonah. Look all caps. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would agree, Jonah. I think yours were solid. Thank you. Do you want to read me? You they were hated. Did you I not will. see them hated on me? Right. They were hated on me. Taxidermy was mm. just like. It, it got dark. Taxidermy <laughs> was only a good clue because Dan talked about it long enough that we're all like, okay, yeah, sure, we'll let that clue slide. All right, this is going to be a speed round. All right. All right. Jonah, I'm first. Quick, I'm give, first. Me my, give me my. How do I issues. say the first Oh, one. that's good. I like that. <laughs> Here you go, two points, give me a clue. Um, we need to talk about Clark Kent. Clark Kent! All right, I like it already. <laughs> uh, that's not enough information, but I'm, I'm in the superhero realm. Oh. Secret identities. We need to talk about your interaction with strangers. My interaction with strangers? All right. Just, I'll just keep on <gasps> passing the points out. Um, <laughs> we need to talk about people. I can't say that many words. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna give a sentence instead. Yes, yeah. yeah, so oh, this one's uh, one more word. We Two. need to talk about. Impaired vision. Impaired vision. Nice. All right. So in the comments, I'm seeing. I think I'm Superman. Uh, he hangs out in phone booths. Possible glasses. Interesting. Cheats at games. People who don't Cheats need saving. Games. All right. So we're gonna talk it's about Superman. Straight talking to strangers. Your interactions with strangers. Interactions with strangers Ooh. and impaired vision. Impaired vision saves people who don't. Want to be Yeah, and then saving <laughs> people who don't. I need accidentally to save people that are not in trouble. All right, Dan, what do you got for me? Two points on the board for everybody. I'm gonna hoard all the rest. Um, Give me the good clue right now. Somebody says you might even think you are a superhero. I might think I'm a superhero. Yeah. Something with superheroes, blind Superman. I'm a blind Superman, that'd be awesome. He thinks he has x-ray vision. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Always wearing a disguise. Ooh. The two words is getting me. Mm -hmm. um, I know, that's the hard part. He thinks he... They're calling you Sir Cheats a lot. Sir <laughs> Cheats a lot. <laughs> yeah, I like it, I'll take it. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna point out it took you to day two to get a bingo on me, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> There were a lot of bingos during the Kabitos game. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I think I'm Superman. I interact with strangers poorly. I've got bad vision. We need... What, what is the... We need to talk, talk about, about... We need to talk about your... Changing identity. Changing identity. So it's definitely in the Clark Kent. I think I'm somebody I'm not... Uh, and I'm blind, you got two points. How do you feel about that, Jonah? <clears throat> How does it make you feel, his behavior? Your behavior makes me feel like I can do things I just can't do. So I, it's Ooh. definitely in the realm of like, I think I'm a superhero, but I'm not a superhero. That's a good, that was a good <clears throat> clue, Jonah. Skip I'll give you props oh, for that one. Now you know? I'm giving good clues. <laughs> that's a good clue, Jonah. Now I'm I have a god clues. complex, that's possible. <clears throat> I think everyone else is a superhero. That'd be confusing. I, I like the I think I have x-ray vision. Oh yeah, I have another two. All right, I gotta start saving some points for myself here if I wanna win the game. Uh, Melissa, how do you feel about my... Um, this behavior embarrasses me oh. when we're out in public and you go up to people. <laughs> I tell people that I'm a superhero and <laughs> I love the vision part is throwing me out though. I have, what was your clue originally? Um. It, impaired vision. Impaired vision. 
I talk really close to people about my <laughs> problems. What do we got? Anything on YouTube that's worth helping me out? Um, glasses. Somebody you says know. maybe you're Daredevil. I'm, I'm a blind <laughs> superhero. <clears throat> All right, okay. I, I want to get it on Katie's. Give me a good clue. Okay. Okay. Tell me, tell me how you feel. <clears throat> you make me feel like I have no chance at doing anything good in the world. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's solid. I, I feel like I do that to people anyway. You know, like <laughs> one of my main flaws. Uh, so I, I'm back to the God complex. I you think should think I'm, about how we each felt. How you each felt. <laughs> because that's, each your, felt. that's a good hint. <laughs> I felt like you made me feel like I can do things that I just can't do. But I made her feel like I couldn't do things that I just can't you made, do. You made me feel like I could never do anything good in the world. The schizophrenic thing is sounded pretty good. What did, how did I feel about um, that? I felt embarrassed when you went up to other people. He thinks he's the number one superhero, thinks everyone is his arch nemesis, villains dressed up as superheroes, Whew. other people with glasses are superheroes, jackal. What I got in that? I need. I, I gotta figure it out. Oh, you gotta give me two points. I um, gave you three. <laughs> and are you thinking, Dan? How it makes you feel if it gets back to you? Um, time is ticking. Mm -hmm. This this would have been a little bit better if we. There was there's something that that could have made this a little bit Keep better. Keep telling We're just me not. about the thing that you want to tell me about. <laughs> All right, Dan. How do you feel? <laughs> you make me feel like. You don't value other people with good vision. Uh, now I'm lost if it's a superhero thing or not. <laughs> <laughs> Clark Kent is two different people. Uh, I made some people feel great about themselves and other people terrible about themselves. Is it like a job? Am I like a... Read some comments. Glasses are super. With no concept of personal space. I know, that makes sense. Uh, he thinks he has extra vision. I still like that one. <laughs> Villain dressed up as a superhero. Devil's advocate. Ooh. That wasn't in there when you said read the comments, so I don't think that's it. But <laughs> that's a good concept. Do we need to get a round two? Oh, can we? Round three. Let's round do it. Three. I'll pass out all my points. Three. All right. Round three. Um, oh, I should guess. Friends so get propose cold. an idea. You should. Mm -hmm. To help guess on me. Your guess guess on me. <laughs> <laughs> guess on me. Give Joan all the points. <laughs> so something you suggest something to help that them overcome help their How problem. How can I overcome okay. my confusion as to people's personal value? <clears throat> Six points this is ridiculous. Dan, I'm guessing on yours. <laughs> you can. You, he hasn't given you a clue yet. How do I help guess? him get over this? That's mm -hmm. what I need to do. Okay. What's a to, suggestion? To get over this calamity, calamity, you really should um to get over this calamity, you should spend time with people in To get over this calamity, you should spend time with people in vision works. In vision works. Like Dan. Do you work in vision works? Who do you work for? <laughs> <laughs> you you work in the okay, so industry. I definitely have bad eyesight and I'm judging people incorrectly. Um, and I don't understand how I make feel. Are Some you people... going to t make a guess? Sure. Go Dude, back to the clues. Another two? <laughs> Go back to the clues and Go back to the clues. Through. All right. So Clark Kent needs glasses. I don't remember what your thing was. Interacting <laughs> with people. I can't like... interact with people well, and vision, uh, impaired and vision. Definitely the glasses thing. And then it made everybody feel uncomfortable because some people I got overly cool and some people I got underly cool. I think so that's how we describe needs glasses. It. I think everybody needs glasses. I know he knows all the clues. I don't know all the clues. Um, he's. Misidentifying people because he can't see them. I feel like that's getting me in the ballpark. All right, I already gave you your second point. My okay. guess okay. is uh, I have a tendency or a compulsion to mislabel, misjudge everyone I come in contact with. Mm. Mm. Ah. 
Wow, no, he's like, that's like really, there. that is close. No, that's pretty I, close. It's I, just not would, quite there. I, I doesn't say, say like, I'm thinking <laughs> like, it's like warm. there. Yeah. Super warm. I like, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you get to keep the points? Sure do. This is terrible. Sure. All right, uh, I, I, you're missing All like right. some key components. Okay, I'm going right. to have, work on that. To, to solve this, you need to ground yourself in reality and take people at face value. Okay, so I'm going to guess again. <laughs> I, guess, I have no points left. This is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> and I'm probably going to be wrong again. I Just guess wrong when um, nobody gets points. Uh, did anybody remember what I said last time? Uh, I think I had the answer right. I think it's maybe just like a, a greater extreme. So like I okay. instantly characterize or uh, judge people compulsively. Again, I use the same word. Um, based on my own self hero level. Man. <laughs> Still not. I think you're going wrong. Ah. <laughs> you what, were, do you home? what do you got at home? What do you got at home? Oh, come so on! Alright, we need to speed this up. Alright, alright. What if I'm just going to run out of points? Say it again, Larry. I can't guess again until the end. What, what'd say you say it again, Larry? Larry? People are saying well, glasses. glasses. I think I head. need glasses. You need, well, in your, look at Zoom, in your guess. I'm quick to judge. Guess. Okay. Okay. In your guess. Glasses, um, not everyone. I, I only judge people with glasses. I think oh. that that you can, what's the words I'm supposed to use? Um, this one is how, how you, you how would it. you would All right. tell him to I think you problem. could get over this if you just look at other parts of somebody's wardrobe and saw that they're not really as fantastic <laughs> <laughs> as they Fantastic. I, I can't think of <laughs> okay. they're not they're not as they're not as super and amazing and fantastic as certain parts of their wardrobe might lead you to believe. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> I was like, what? I'm just gonna blow down a bunch of stuff. You tell me when I get right. I think that everyone that wears glasses is a superhero with a secret identity. Yes! yes! <laughs> Somebody in the comments it so said it like so, early. so long time ago guessed it right in the comments. There, yeah, so okay. like, it's he long read it we out loud even. Right, for sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, excellent stuff. Thank you guys for watching me. Uh, well, I solved my we secret identity do, issues. We need to do I oh, lost all my points that wait. round. You lost all your points? Yeah. Well, you because you guessed on mine. Oh, yeah. okay. It's because I, I gave you an amazing guess. I'm pretty sure I just gave Joe to win. Oh, and then Melissa got a lot of points too. In you just a second, totally once down, I don't write my score on the leaderboard, mm -hmm. we're going to go over to the table where we're going to watch them play Caper Europe, the new Kickstarter. Uh, it's not out yet, but it's coming from Keymaster Games, and it'll be on Kickstarter, I think, maybe this month or next. Uh, it's the daughter, version. the new version of Caper, the original. No. And uh, Kitty Brian, but you keep here, so we will check All it out right. in a second. Who got it? Melissa Who got the win? with 16. Melissa with 16. Jonah got with 14. Oh, oh so close. 14. I will with 10. I said Clark Kent so early. And 9. I was like, and then you just abandoned superheroes. I thought, well, I thought I was, the, I was Clark Kent. So Clark Kent was, was a great thing. That was the confusion. Who he was Jonah, and who other people were. Jonah, do you wear glasses? I assume you do. Uh, no, sometimes. Oh, it would have been better if you'd been uh, wearing glasses yeah. or Melissa Someone had given the clue. Of, like, yeah, I mean, sometimes me. I wear the glasses. I'm not a superhero. That would have been great. Would have been very helpful. All right, cool. I think we're ready to go to the couch. Melissa, we're all table. Table. Oh, yeah. To the table. I'm ready to go to the couch. Europe. Celebrate Melissa's victory. Uh, yeah. We'll see you guys in a few. <laughs> hey. hey! What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> we are thieves trying to get the best heist done in Paris uh -huh. in Caper Europe. So this is the prototype of Caper Europe, which will be on Kickstarter the first weekend of March, first week of March, I believe the second. And uh, we are going to see which one of us is the best thief. So I am playing as the Madame, and uh, Chantel is playing as the Pickpocket. Yes. 
So in the game, we will do a little bit of explaining and then we will jump in and see which of us is the best thief. So we will set up the board. There are three locations. The locations we have selected for this game is the Louvre, mm. the art gallery, and the chapel. And we are going to each have a hand of cards for the round. We will be drafting cards back and forth and placing thieves and their gear at the location to try and get them to steal the most art and get the most points. All right, so this board has a little round tracker. So the first round, uh, we will um, just play thieves out of our hand. So we will deal some thieves. And we will select one to play in one of the locations. We can only have three thieves at any one location at a time. So uh, some thieves have a benefit of gaining some coins because we're going to need some money in future rounds to be able to pay for gear to purchase for our thieves. So all of the cards have symbols on them that give them some type of ability. Some cards may be able to just straight up steal some of the goods at that location. Some of them may um, give you bonus points for the type of gear that you get later in the game. So I am up first. There's a little um, cheat sheet right here on the board that tells which player goes first. Um, I am going to play the illusionist. Mm -hmm. The illusionist gives me a caper point, which will move the track toward my side. Whoever gets there, the, I'm going to call him a thiefle. Ooh. It's like a meeple, but yeah. it's a thief. Uh, if it's towards <laughs> me, uh, for e for a location, then I will get to score some bonuses at the end of the game. If it's toward Chantel, then she will get to score that location at the end. And there are some very nice bonuses for that. I think I am going to play the illusionist here at the art gallery. It has a caper symbol, so I'm going to move this on the track one space. And I get to take a coin. The coins are limited, so I have to keep track of how many are in are already taken in the game. I'm going to play the banker. I'm going to play him right here at the chapel. So with the banker, I get a caper every time I play a yellow card, a yellow gear, um, under my thief. And I do get one money. All right, now we will switch hands. Ooh, I like and, this part. Yep, and now uh, back to my turn. We will be drafting cards back and forth, playing them on the locations for the thieves. I'm up first. Oh, sorry. Um, let's see here. I will play, oh, I'm going to play the Madame card. Oh. Chantel didn't Madame. play it in the first round. I'm going to play her up here. I am going to play the, the smuggler. So smuggler. I get a caper Ooh. over here and I get to put one of these. She gets to steal. She just stole a painting. I stole a painting. Mm. Which like is that... great for this one because at the end, oh, yeah. for every painting I have, I get two more points. If you win the look, if, if you win I the win. Louvre. If I win the Louvre. All right. Let's switch. Let's switch hands. Okay. <laughs> Definitely gonna play the gentleman here. And the last card in my hand, we are going to put in a discard. So. I'm going to play the actrice right mm. here and I get one discard. All right. So that's the end of round one. We have placed out our thieves before we move to round two. We have a giveaway. Oh, uh, we are giving away a copy of Dungeon Drop. 
And if you are commenting below uh, on YouTube while we're playing or and or on YouTube. All right, YouTube will win a copy of Dungeon Drop. So I just I, I need to know. So last game, a lot of you guys were Team Chantel. I am now the Pit Pocketer. So who <laughs> is Team Pit Pocketing? <laughs> Let me know, because you know I'm winning this one. This is my madness. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, the madame definitely knows what she's doing, so uh, you could tell I've been stealing art for a very long time. <laughs> is that what happened to your eye? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have round two. We are going to play gear. And I will deal our two hands. Let me make sure I got six here. Yep, got six. Okay. And five. Six. All right. Chantel gets to go first. Some of the gear costs money. So we each have two coins. We will see. Um, the gear will go on top of a thief and will possibly give some benefits. Um, maybe give you some um, caper. There's ways to steal more loot. There are some ways to get some more coins if you have run out. Boom, boom, which I will play. So I get two coins, and because I played a yellow gear, I get a caper head in my direction. Ooh. And I get two coins. All right, let's see here. I now there is a limit of gears that you can put on your thieves. You're limited to three gears, yep. right? Yep. Per thief. So you have to kind of play your cards wisely. Yes. I am going to play the false bottom briefcase on the gentleman. That seems like something he might carry. And that costs me two because it's a pretty great card. But I get to steal an item of my choice. I will go ahead and take a painting. Stick Ooh, that over here. Right. Okay, switch hands. Ooh, haven't seen this hand yet. Good stuff. Correct. Mm. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, so some of the ways that these thieves will score at the end of the game. So uh, both of us have some that will score for types of cards that are at that location with that thief. So um, my gentleman will score. Uh, four points if I can get a set of a purple, a green, and a gold card there. Um, Chantel's actress will gain two points if uh, she can get a yellow card and any other card. And every one of those sets will be able to score. So, so I'm going to play the Sleeth suit. It's costing me three. Oh, that's expensive. It is very expensive, but I get a caper and... Man, I'm I don't even have diamond. any fees at the Louvre. Oh, Chantel's coming out strong right there. Oh, yeah. All right. I will go ahead. I'm going to play this simple disguise on my illusionist. Like he needs, uh, simple would be just fine for him. <laughs> See, as an illusionist, I will go ahead and steal some jewelry. Ooh, la, la. I like fancy things in life. Taking some jewelry. <laughs> Let's see here. So, if at any time you get to a turn where you cannot afford what's in your hand, you can always just discard a card to take a single coin. It's a pretty wasted turn, so you always hope that you never get that far. I'm going to play the Super Magnet. Ooh. Which with this one, I actually get to take as the I get to gain coin um, equal to the amount of thieves that she has. So she has two thieves in the gallery, so I get to get two coins. Mm. That's a nice one. I saw that, but you've spread out your thieves at all the locations, <laughs> so it's like one coin. Uh -huh. Ugh. I'll just hope that I get another. All right, I am going to play a skeleton key as well to hopefully unlock some stuff. And I get two coins. I'm out of money. And I know there's some good yes. stuff in this other hand. All right. All Back to Chantel. Right. Let's see. Let's see what I need. I need, ooh, I'm going to play the incognito tuxedo 
because I get two capers, Ooh. which now moves this towards my direction and not Sarah's. Costed me a coin. Mm. And you see how it's purple? So now that I already have my yellow and a purple gear, I'm definitely getting. Definitely getting a point. Getting my points. Unless. Oh no, here we go. Unless I pull out my Pyromaniac Blaze Blaster 451. No. I'm playing that. Uh, my illusionist is going to be playing that. So what that means, this is the one card in the deck that is a little more take that. And it cost me two coins to be able to play it, so I'm out of money. Um, I get to remove one card that is the top gear card at the same location from one of the thieves. No. So her top gear card happens to be... The purple. This gets removed into the discard. It's okay. I have money, and Sarah does not have money. Yeah. So. That is true. We, we, we shall see what happens in this battle. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Oh, switch yep. hands. Whew. I can't afford something here, so that's good. I was... Mm, I don't want one. I cannot afford that one. Yikes, but that means you get that one, but you have no money. Mm-hmm. And our last card we're gonna discard, so. Yeah. Oh. To play this one again, the super magnet. So I get to gain two coin because she has two thieves. And this oh, is boy. discarded. And that was okay. such a good card. All right, I'm going to play this yellow card down here on my madame. I'm going to show her face a little bit. I get a coin, and at the end of the game, I get a point. That's oh, that card. That's All good right, round. that was the end of round two. On to round three. This round, we will go back to playing uh, some thieves. So we will draw three thief cards per hand, and... Chantel gets to go first. Ooh la la. I like, I like, I like. Let's see. I am going to play the, ooh. I'm gonna risk it. I'm going to give up the money for the capers. I'm going to play the tourist to where I get three. One, ooh. two, three. There we go. Nice. That's a pretty good card. It is, but I gained I no trying, money from it. That's true. You're gonna be poor the night. Are you already got four coins? You're already sitting on money, so <laughs> didn't even need. Okay. Let's see here. I've already got people down here, so let's go ahead and play the conductor. Ooh. Gives me two coins, and then um, every time I play a green card. On that location, I will gain some caper. Hopefully, take him back to location. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, I am going to. I already have some here. I'm going to play the. <coughs> hmm. Huh, let's see, let's see. I do have a green hey. here. All right, I'm going to play the Bon Vivant. Right, is that how you say bon that? Vivant. Bon Vivant. I get two coins, and then this one gets mm -hmm. discarded. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm just rolling in choices the choices here. I think I am playing the cleaner here at the art gallery. It seems like a nice subtle job that somebody can come in, <laughs> take some art. I got the last coin too, so that's good. Okay, so that is the end of round three. We will move awesome. on to, to round the gears. four. Five, six. All right. Here we go. Awesome. If they have the original caper, how is this a little bit different? Or uh, This one has some slightly different rules. So there are 
some of the iconography on the cards is different. Some of the uh, the uh, this version has uh, tokens that are not in um, the other game. So this is a slightly different game than the other version. Um, and this one is totally remastered by Keeper Game, Key, Key Master Games. So, am I going first, or is that you going first? Uh, I am first for this round. So, let's see here. I got some money. Money, 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 money. to spend. video of this uh, for our channel and for their Kickstarter page. So it will be coming soon, so be on the lookout. Alright, back to me. Yes. Let's see here. I have, oh I have three coins. Let's go ahead and do this. So I'm paying two. I am stealing something of my choice. What? At the chapel. Some chapels have very nice artwork, so. <laughs> um, this is true. Especially in, this is in true. Petty. So let's go with a paint. Well, do I have one? I already have one of each. Let's go with the painting. Okay. I used my briefcase to do so. Oh, and I get a caper for playing a green card. I'm going to play false documents. I get a caper, oh, man, and then I get a point at the end for every card that I have here. So that costed me two coins. All right, switch hands. Drafting my next thing. Oh, All right, I'm doing this. I need some more money, and I am going to play my secret shades. I only need half of a set of glasses, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can cover up the fact Ooh. that. Uh, very true, very true. All right, I'm going to play two coins down here, which I get to move oh, one man. caper and I gain Chantel two coins. Chantel is killing it on the caper levels here. I, this is not I'm going trying to well make sure. For me. Okay. Not good. Okay. Ooh, that was that is good. Let's see here. I will go ahead and play. Sure, I'm gonna play this. <clears throat> We're putting these tokens on your card, but you don't have to. I found it was easier to keep track. Alright, so simple disguise gives me a caper. Ooh, the thing about it, Sarah, is that I'm about to take it back. No, and that one has a point. And a point. But it does cost you a coin. Okay, last selection for the round. All right. I am definitely doing this card. Let's go with, I can put one more simple disguise here. 
the cleaner is trying to get in deep at the art gallery. The thing about it is that with simple disguise, yeah. it comes back to me. <sighs> Sarah is trying. I am trying. She is trying. But the okay. pit pockets her. <laughs> <laughs> Got Make this in the bag. Head. We will see what happens. All right. So now we are. No, no, no. No, the, yeah. Sorry, wrong deck. <laughs> Here, there we go. Uh, we are on round five. The last round with thieves. We each have two thieves to choose from, and we will only be playing one of them. Uh, it looks like I am at first. <sighs> Do I even bother? At no, this you don't. You just don't. You just don't. You just don't. Ugh. I think I am going for the auctioneer here. And oh, it doesn't matter. I'm getting a getting a bust. Looks like of Cleopatra. I'm going to do the chef. Mmm. And for every blue card I put I down, get I get a caper. And I get okay. one coin. Coins for my auctioneer. Alright. Okay, now we are on to round six. I grabbed the wrong deck of cards last time. Now these are extra shuffled because I, <laughs> I got dealt again. So the nice thing is you do go through all the cards, but uh, over there, Chantel can pull them out. So when you set up the game, there are tons of locations, locations. you could choose from. So. Uh, there are some base locations, so like the art gallery, the chapel, are base locations, and then some of them have this little blue symbol, and there are cards that have a focus for that location. So we are playing with these um, Paris cards. So we have the Notre Dame and Versailles and the Louvre. And then there are characters like the Madame and the Chef who are from Paris and will be playing for this game. Uh, there will be other locations that will also come in the box that you can select those cards to add to the deck instead of the ones from Paris. Yep. So that is something to know for setup. We set up for Paris and uh, there are other locations that you could have selected instead. Correct. And then you're going first, right? I am going first. Got I it. will... Let's see here. Definitely... Oh, I can't do that. Okay, doing this one. For a coin. Played my aqua respirator. I am going in at the chapel and I'm taking a thing for going there. All right. Another bust. I'm going to do the incognito tuxedo. Ooh, going fancy. And I get two, oh. but I have, do have to pay one. Oh man, I am not doing, this may be one of the worst things I've done with the caper <laughs> levels on a game. We're going to have to go for, let's see here, getting some points on my cards. Let's see here. I have some money. Let's go ahead. I feel like we need like some Mission Impossible music in do, the background. Because I'm stealing in, some stuff. Stealing some stuff. Getting another briefcase to take. Last piece of Ooh. painting from the art gallery. Great. So I... now if Chantel plays one of those green cards that lets her steal something, there is nothing that left at the art gallery to take. Nope. I have taken it all. Now I'm going to play the helping hand, mm. which literally is the last diamond in, <laughs> in the game. I wanted to play that at the chapel but did not get to there's no painting left or jewelry left down there let's see here Ooh, all right i got those there i got that i thing. am not gonna win these locations Chantel has got this got it in the bag yeah. literally all right i don't know what i can do here Let's go ahead. I'm going to play a second 
blazing blaze blasters that's my last two coins i'm taking <laughs> oh, no. out your simple disguise it only comes back one towards me but man all right i am going to play oh i don't really need that do i so then we're gonna go over here so i can get two coins then all right let's switch all right, it all right. Let's see, let's good, good. see. Okay, doing this. Coming over here. Yeah, I'll put it on here. With my plasma cutter, I'm getting a coin and a point. All right, I'm gonna put this one over here. I'm going to take, oh no, it I doesn't can't. Match. No! JK, JK, it doesn't retreat, match. retreat, retreat. I've been retreat. watching. Okay, um, I am going to play then Oh man, oh man. Let's see, I'm gonna play it right here. But that makes no sense because I already have all this here. Oh, you know what, I'm just going to trash the card then. I'm going to get rid of this one and get me a coin. Okay. Because something tells me there's something good in Sarah's hand. Nope. Nope, it's literally <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> But I do have a coin. I am playing this last card over here <sighs> okay. with the conductor. At the end, it will give me a point for blue cards. All right. Which is helpful because I need some points. I lost all of the <sighs> locations. What? It's awful. Lost the locations. All right. So I play. I'm going to blame it on this eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> she could only see out of could one only eye. only see out of one eye. Okay. So, we have played all of the rounds in the game. So, we will first go to uh, each location and we will see who wins. I doubled down on two and didn't even win either Correct. one of them, which was incredibly <laughs> unfortunate. Pops up. Yeah, so Chantel wins the Louvre. She also gets points for that, uh, the bonus points for, for the Louvre. Louvre. She won the art gallery because she is one step. Had I gotten one more card, I maxed out my cards. I have three gear on each of these. Couldn't play any more cards. She was able to get one more and one that she also won the chapel. Man, what an unfortunate game for me. Okay. All right, let's write down our names here. I mean, pass okay. me the leaderboard. <laughs> That's right. Pass, pass, pass it. Tell don't, the leaderboard now. Don't, don't even she do has, the math. She has <laughs> outdone ready. me. I do have a lot of points in cards, so we'll uh, see if it balances yes. out the we'll see. We'll see. Uh, levels from she's going to get. We shall get. see. Okay, so uh, starting with the Louvre, so it's three points just winning it, and then she also gets two points for every painting that she has yeah so she has one painting so that's another two points so we got five points for the loop she also gets two bonus points because the caper is so far towards her on the track two more points so i what is that seven five, six seven seven points for the loop remember that yes okay uh at the art gallery she gets five points and then she gets one point for every green card. This is where it would have given me a bunch yes. of points, and I didn't win it. I lost it at the end. So she doesn't get anything for that, and she, there's no bonus for her caper. Uh, so five points. So we're up to 12. Oh, boy. And then the chapel, we have two points for being there, uh, two points for each thief card. Those are the white cards. And then uh, two points That's for being... 20. Twenty. Oh my word. Whoa. Wow. Okay. So now some of the caper or the thief cards have points. So this is where I'm hoping I will come out <laughs> with some points in the, in the game. Okay. So the smuggler doesn't give points, but the bon vivant does. So it is two points for every set of a green card and uh, any other card. So that's six points. Boy, she did well on these cards too. All right, the uh, actress is a yellow card and any other card with it. So she's got a uh, yellow and a purple here at this location. So that's two more points. Eight. Eight. 
And her other two do not give any points. They just gave capers, which is how she got so many points this way. All right, I'm hoping this location does me some points. All right, so I have the cleaner gives two or three points for every set of a red and any other color. So I've got two and two, six. so that's six points. Um, gentleman has four points for a green, yellow, and purple. I think I only did that one time, but that's another four points. And the illusionist is one point for a set of any two cards. So I've got two, four, six, eight, or no, 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 one, two, three, four, four points. 14 so points. 14. All right, the Madame gives a point for every blue card, so I got three more points. And then this this one does not give me any points, and neither does the Auctioneer. So 17. 17. I feel like I redeemed myself just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> now to gear. Gear cards, let's see. Chantel has, uh, what is this? The Blaze Shield Suit, which gives a point for every green, so she's got three. A point for blue, that's one. A point for purple, that's one. So she's up to five. Uh, no points. Another one point on this one. And that's it. So she yeah, got six, six points. Yeah, Sarah might have actually killed me on the points on the actual cards. Okay, so uh, none of these give points here. One, two, three, four, five for this one. So five points. You actually have one more point than me on <laughs> the cards. All right, now the stolen items. Oh, so yes. this scores in a different way. You will count all the ones that you've got, and every set. Oh, Sarah has so many of these. Three is. Uh, so one is two points, two is five points, and three is nine points and you'll count all of your sets. So I have nine plus five plus five, so that's 19. So all you right. said a set is nine. Nine so and then, then plus, two. plus two. Got it, 11. Oh, whoops, I wrote that wrong. Whoa, she crushed me on that one. I did get a lot of stolen items. All, all right. right, now it's the maths. Right at the end, I got... Come on, Ooh. Team Pit Pocketer. All right, I had 41. Chantel, 40. I can't do math with one eye closed. I don't know why it's so <laughs> much do harder. <laughs> do you want my glasses? Ah, okay, I can see to do math. That's hilarious. Okay, so I got 20 plus 11 is 31. Uh, 39, 45. Chantel! Yeah! Go me, go me. <laughs> nice. Good job. <laughs> Stealing the arts. I get Taking to over the location. All right, Chantel. Oh, and then we so have a for, winner. Yes, we our winner for our giveaway. A winner. You can join me in the winner circle. Come on. Joshua Wide was the winner for Dungeon Drop. Nice. Dungeon drop. Yes. So, so you can join me in winning. Yeah. All right. So send an email to Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, at tantrumhouse.com to receive your prize. Joshua Wild. All right. And... Did you show the closest of your character cards? No. We need to. Oh get gosh, in on that. We have to. 100%. Get in on that, Will. We didn't have a roaming camera like we were supposed to, so... Supposed to. <laughs> All right. So here Since is... Kevin. Oh is my card. Uh, we do not have a full card of oh, Chantel, no. but you can Chantel. pull up this brand yeah. new artwork. Has not been shown to the world. Oh, I see. Ooh. Okay. All right, here so we go. Let's Will's see if we can focus. focus. Will's focusing. Who's winning right now? Oh. Melissa is winning on our leaderboard. She has three games won. <laughs> Spinning image. <laughs> Jonah has only won one game, and I'm feeling really good because now I've won two. Nice! So. No. There you go all right. for all you Zoom Did people. Luck, all right, we had we had a question. Did luck affect the outcome? Um, I mean, really, it's down to 
cards. I yeah. want a diff much different strategy than Chantel. I tried to get cards that lined up together. Yeah. It's also, if you don't plan with what um, thieves you put out, then you may run out of money or not have enough thieves. Like, I didn't have any thieves at the Louvre. So I was like, oh, I've already lost it. And then I was like, ah, I missed out on points. And the thing about switching cards when your turn is over is that at one point you might be thinking, man, I have a really good hand. I need to get that card back when it comes back yep. to me. But then you've already spent your money with the new hand that was given yep. to you. So when you get it back and that card is still there, you're like, oh, but I spend my money. Yep. Very so true. it's there's a there's some strategy to it there. Yeah, so this is a two player only game, which is great to have out right now. The um, Kickstarter is coming soon. I'm sure Jennifer has already commented when that will be up and I'll be looking for our video uh, coming soon. Uh, at our channel here. You don't have to dress up like we did. We just no, did it for fun. No, we just wanted to have. <laughs> but you a can also time. dress up if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I would oh, love to see that video. Yes! <laughs> yes! Caper! Europe needs... So this needs to happen. We need a yes. Facebook page or a hashtag or something. <laughs> People dressing up as the characters yes. to take on these heists in these cities. So, uh, we are headed over to the couch to play Night of the Ninja. Ooh. Hey, yeah, we're playing Night of the Ninja from Brotherwise Games. In this game, we are all members of different ninja houses, uh, specifically the Lotus House or the Crane House. The goal is whoever has the house with the highest priority card uh, still alive, they win, highest being number one. Mm -hmm. So if there's a number one on one team and a two and three on the other team, all of the number one's team will win uh, points from the bag even if they're dead. So who, whichever house has the higher priority card, uh, everybody in that house will win, even if they're dead. If there's a complete tie, it's a little different, and then it's whoever's still alive, uh, which oh. throws a, a chink in things. And then if we play with an odd number of characters, kink. Oh. a kink, chink. Monkey wrench. Yeah, a link. Uh, <laughs> if we have an odd number of characters, we also throw in the Ronin, and he doesn't really care about anything except just keeping himself alive. As long as he's alive, he gets a point. And there's ways to get other points. Uh, when I first played this game, this is a story if you're playing bingo, uh, <laughs> my house never won, actually. But I still got lots of points through cards and other things. Um, so it is possible to get points. I don't think I actually won the game. So we'll see how it goes. We play several rounds until, because every time you win, you get a uh, point token. They're two, three, or four. Once you get 10 total, the game's over. Whoever has the most wins. So uh, needs confirm who all is playing this game. Is it just us five? Jonah's Man, coming. I'm in. And Will's coming. Will, Will and Jonah? OK, here we go. Oh, squish. So squish it up. Oh, I've got right. one through three of copy, Lotus and Crane and a Ronin. So we're going to I'm joining. Shuffle You're these playing? Up. Oh, yeah. What? No way. Uh oh. Oh, how? Wait a we minute. We need another person. Ninjas are over black. We, yeah. We'll get it. Just like... Are we good? Are we? We need the eight. Playing seven? Eight? Uh, well, we're trying to do an odd number. An odd oh, number. Jody, Jody, I took your spot. You want to squish in right here? Yeah, I want to play seven. Do you want to play like I'm doing seven. So, so choose, choose we're all, the We're all oh, jumping in. in on this game. Oh, I'm More in. people than scheduled are playing oh, this game. So now we're not on. Four, five, six, oh, seven, eight. Oh, we need one more. No, totally fine. Nine one players. more. Nope. They might call me in. <laughs> yeah. Monica. 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 We could. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll go. It would be a little crazy yeah, with that many. Do this. Go, um, don't leave so, my cards. Tantrum House friends, you don't know, but I am on your Facebook page live right now. Oh. Oh. Everybody. I was wondering who she's talking to. Hint at what goes on backstage, like all, right. all of the cameras. Oh man, George Crazy world. Look at that. <laughs> I think so, I'm right. behind me. So I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to have a little view of the stage. I yeah, hope yeah. you appreciate How it. And apparently I'm playing this game. game? Yes. Yes. Uh, so it plays up to 11. Whoa, so we're playing two 11. Short, uh, just in case you were wondering. I saw that somebody in the comments asked who makes Night of the Ninja. 
and that is Brotherwise Games, and this game can play up to 11 players. It is so as you can see, we're all piling in to play this one. This will be super fun. We're going to have a great time right, in just a second. All right, we can yeah. scooch. <laughs> okay, are you right? Yeah. So all one, right, so this game actually is not available yet, but it will be coming to okay. Kickstarter. Is, is oh, yeah. it? I can't even show the camera because everybody will be able to see. <laughs> okay, I think you're okay. I'm going to lean back. Okay. Don't so show that to this game okay. is Don't show not that even anybody. available yet. Don't show. Even. Don't show. <laughs> Not even. Don't show. I yeah. think it's coming to Kickstarter. Right. I think we have uh, seven people. Be able to see. Seven people scheduled, and we're just <laughs> be, jumping be in. Here. Five. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, and do stuff? you have cards? I don't. Does everybody have three cards? I have. Yes. 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 Do. The, the way this game plays is the three cards are going to kind of influence the who dies and who finds out what. Um, first, we should all probably like reference who we are, because that might influence what we call them. Okay, so what you're going to do with these three cards, first you're going to pick one, pass two. Then from those two, you're going to pick one, discard the third. So you are handing a possibility to the person on your left, we're going to say. Uh, so can I, can I just have a quick rundown then? Yeah, if you're in a house with somebody, you're sharing the same color or the same number? Color. 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 Same color. color. Blue Wait, Lotus, color win. Red Crane, and then there's a Ronin, who is okay. a... So you might not be sharing with anybody. Well, just for themselves. We are playing with that? Yeah, I okay. remember, I think. So that person just wants to survive? They just want to survive. Yes, Ronin yes. just wants to survive. Okay. I just had to it's check. Gonna, can you play cards no. that? No. <laughs> it's not, I think it's one card. And where are we, yes. what are we because playing? Pass, 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 pass two. Clock clock clock. Clock. Eliminate the other people. You can play cards you that are key house cards. You pass me your two cards you don't want. The yeah. yeah. cards have nothing to do with house. Key ones, pass the rest. And the last card, discard in the middle. I guess we'll discard it face up. So we'll take two, keep the one, and then take one new one. That's going to you. Take one down, okay. pass it around. Discard your oh, third card. Discard it. It has to be in a separate uh We're going thing. in this order, just heads up. Yeah. All right. Because some cards interact with the discard. Kill, if you have two of these and you get killed first, you never Okay. Play. All right, so we all have this player aid uh, card thing. Oh, when out? you throw it down, it yeah, shows that you're, you're dead. Extra. On the back, there are all the phases. So we drafted cards. Okay, now, yeah. any you don't have to play a card if you have it, because you might pretend that Maybe you have one of the cards that kills people, even though your card is lame and just gives you lots of information to use in the game. Uh, so <laughs> that's not lame. No, I mean it might be. it's nice oh, to know right. that it never works for me. It's way better to kill. It's more fun. <laughs> All right. So anybody who has a spy card may play a spy card. First up, spy. But if you don't play okay. it, you won't get another yeah, chance. Yeah. If you don't play it, you won't get another okay, chance. Okay. Let me just look at my cards real fast. It's gonna say. Spy we threw on all it. the spies yeah. away okay. in the upper you left under the edge. Do we go in order? You do. <laughs> you do. So you you all reveal cards. first, and then we go one, two, three, four, up the number, yeah. up the cards. Oh, so, so no spies. We threw all the spy best. cards away. All right. And now she's gonna spy. She's spying. Spy. She's spying. Oh. She's spying. Oh. Okay. She is the six, so she would go pretty last yeah. if other people had played them, but she's the only one who played it. So yeah. you get to look at another player's. I think I'll look at Katie, so she doesn't have to feel like she. What are you looking at my house? Your identity. Are you the red identity? You need to go. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh. Oh my God. So if you're on the blue team, eliminate red team people. If you're on the red team, you want to eliminate blue team people. <laughs> what? She meant never obviously. All right. Can we clarify what kind of talking is allowed? All, All kind of talking. Okay. Even when you're dead, you're still right. allowed to talk. Okay. You're a ghost. Dead talking. You're allowed to lie. Dead you're allowed talking. to tell the truth. You're allowed we'll to tell. Well, we can't trust Monica about anything. That's the only thing I about. Here's, what I, so upset here's what I shall reveal Werewolf. with oh. my spying. She's safe. We are not oh. of the same house. Oh, oh. 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 so she says. So now Katie I know. I don't know. No, she lied so well during Werewolf. <laughs> I don't know. From last night. I, I have literally no idea what that meant. The only restricted <laughs> information is if your card is manipulated, like if someone swaps your card with someone else, yeah. at that point you can't look at your card anymore. Other than that, you can refer to your card, make sure you remember who you are. Oh. But if someone swaps your card with somebody else's, that's the only time that's no an information option? is allowed to go. I didn't see any yeah, of the powers. powers. Really? So All right, oh, does anybody is. have a mystic it. card they want to play other than me? Yes. Mystic. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, there's a lot of mystics. Right, so oh. Liam's got the one. Liam's got the one. What does mystic do? So, look it, at a house. 
card and one and one and ninja, ninja card, card. Another player. Yeah, so it's like the spy card, but you also get to look at one of the so you can action look at cards. Have. If you look at Katie's, if you look at Katie and Monica's, you'll have some information you'll know. about both of them too. Oh. Or you can look at Monica's and tell me if she was lying, but you wouldn't know Monica. <laughs> <laughs> you could just tell him your house. Uh, yeah, I'll look at Katie's. Everybody's looking at mine. Burp, burp. And all the information. Card. Do you want to and tell me if we're on the same team or not? to look at one of your ninja cards. And yeah. one of Who my ninja. That? It's which, random, right? Which ninja yeah, card would you like to random. look at? Ooh. Tons of information <laughs> there. <laughs> information. All right, I... Can I look at the ninja card he looked at? Yeah. So I know what he saw. Your hand at any time. Mm -hmm. All right, that was mystic number one. I'm gonna look at Liam's. Good. <laughs> now tell me if I'm on the same team with Liam. <laughs> oh, probably. I don't know what your team is. <laughs> <laughs> and a ninja. You get to look at his card. You get to look and at a ninja. ninja. Oh yeah. Ninja. Let me look at your other card. We can play. You get killed later. Oh. Dude, that was more powerful than my card. Uh, right. But you yeah, have to go first. Later. But yeah, All right. Uh, who has the next four. one? Four. Uh, who played the four. Me! Larry. Larry. Oh, I want to see Will's card. Mine? All right. <laughs> Always a good choice. I think, yeah. I think <laughs> that's the information. Ooh, on, yeah. okay. I don't have any information. Oh, I didn't And a ninja. And a ninja. He's trying right. to decide if he needs Dan? to kill you or not later. Right, exactly. I'm going to look at Monica's. Are we on the same team or are we Oh, so does so somebody check out Monica? So spies and mystic give lots of information, and then the later ones do a lot of killing. A lot of killing. Are we friends? About then? to happen. He's not telling, apparently. He, oh, he's similar. He how may or may not want to uh, give information. Well, if he claims yeah, anything with Monica, uh, he knows I he's making an enemy or a friend out of me, and I don't, may not be good. Katie, how you doing, man? About what? Liam, are you, are you claiming to be on my team? Katie's or a team? You are? Are they a team Katie? I think I'm going to abstain at this point. <laughs> He's going to abstain. Did Monica nothing? look at a card? She got Mystic too? No. no she she oh, her. sorry. I thought that was She did her spy already. All right. Yes, He's the, uh, the, the no, Morris. Oh, that was right here. I just went. He, he oh, did. Number five is that. I think that's Monica's. Uh, so see. now we go on to Tricksters. Tricksters are unique in that each one has a different ability. Ooh. Ooh, trickster. Have a oh, there's a trickster. Yeah, not a surprise. Not a surprise. <laughs> Trouble maker. Trouble maker. Trickster. Uh, okay, I can look at another player's house card, and I can reveal it. I may reveal it. Uh, I'm gonna look at Ryan's. Wow. It's a mistake. Oh, Ryan. It's a mistake. Uh -oh. Has Ryan Don't looked do at? Don't do it. He's looking at other people. Are you revealing it? Uh, <laughs> I will reveal out. that. Yes. Oh, reveal it. He's on the other team. Lotus. 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 Not on the same Lotus. team as who? Maybe. Not on the same. I will reveal it. Mm. Right. All right. Yeah, sure. Interesting choice. Blind assassin. Who wants to play a blind assassin card? Assassin. I literally oh, only saw wait, two kinds of cards one? the entire yeah. time. I didn't know there were this oh, many in the game. Killing people. Oh. 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 Lots of people get killed. Oh. Or blind assassin. Or death. If yeah. Dan right. first. So if I kill somebody, their they card does kill. not resolve. Yeah. You don't flip it. At least that's how I remember the rules. Sounds like a plan. Do we need to pull the rules no, out? We we're, also we're do just have Brother play Wise. Tantrum House rules. So <laughs> you, Brother Wise is in the chat, so they can. Katie. Katie. If we're totally that wrong, who's going okay. first? Who had the one? Dan, had, the one. Dan has the one. Dan had the one. Um, I don't, we don't know anything about Melissa over there. We don't know anything yeah. about me. <laughs> no, she hasn't even played we know a card. lot of that, right? Yeah, yeah. We know a little bit. <laughs> the question is, is that worth? Like, it's not the one. So I don't Could know be. if it's worth. Who is who? Except you it's three. Mine, that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But yeah, right. And I said so I was you guys. You don't know what my other card is. Comments and I totally lost whatever was happening. You don't know what my other card is. So you guys, you card one. He knows mine. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought we were on the same team, Dad. There, there's three. Dad? Is there five? You don't want to do that? I said Dan, come <laughs> so I don't know any of that in the comments. Is there four kill? through what? one in each color? color? Is that it's one through three. It, all I know is that. Like, one through three? It's one through four. four. I'm asking you because we're playing with that. One through four in the right It seemed like you were thinking about killing Ryan, which tells me that maybe I can trust what you're going to say. So I'm asking you about Monica. Because you're both red? Mm. Or oh, he's the Ronin and he doesn't want to oh, play with anything. I forgot we were playing with the Ronin. He doesn't want to say anything because he's scared of being a target for everybody. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going uh, to take a shot in the relative dark here. Oh boy. So if uh -oh. you want to kill Ryan, you don't want to kill me. 
What? You want to kill? Oh, interesting. Would you? Would you die? Was I wasn't even asking, asking you, was he? But if you die, I'm going to kill you. What? Has anybody said anything? You looked at my card. No. 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 So it's my card. Monica's is the next. Wait, you, you guys need to make a plea for him not to kill you. We need information on Katie or Monica because he knows. Don't rush right to me. No one will give us out. Because I have a significant amount of power to wield in a second. I don't know what team you're on, so it doesn't really help you out. I'm a significant amount of power. Significant amount of power. Knock him out. To help me with that. But it's the mirror or whatever. It is. That, oh, that keeps wait, me from killing someone. Say, There's a mirror? Do we get any connections? Does anybody know what you're doing? If I, I'm you're like, saying so if I don't dark. want to kill Ryan, then I don't want to kill you? If, or, you, if, if you I do, do want, want to kill, Ryan, kill Ryan, then I don't want to kill you. If you do want to kill me, then you don't want to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. How do we do it? Who played the assassin there? Was that Larry? Me. Yeah. And then Liam played one. A lot of Miyagi Do going on. I don't really know about Liam. And <laughs> you might want to just kill me. Liam has to kill Monica. Who played the other because you because assassin first. Know both. Oh. So he knows know. to Wait, kill. Wait, what are you saying? I'm gonna, are you I'm gonna know their opposites. Katie, Katie and I are opposites. So I said. I really wish I knew what wavelength you thought we were on because that would help me. I thought it was very clear. Don't kill me, Waverly. That's uh, no, I thought it was clear we were on the same team, but maybe not. <clears throat> I'm gonna kill Will. Oh gosh, you're dead. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, you so I feel like you were doing it in the first place. Right? Oh, no, I, I don't know. That no. is a question we probably should look at. That is a question. No. What? Uh, uh, the, uh, but the you might publisher the publisher from Brotherwise is watching us right now, so just ask him. What? Do I reveal? Reveal. Does he reveal his card? Will is down. Dan kills Will. This is a harsh. This is it dark? No, you do not reveal. No, you do not reveal. Yeah. Don't do it. I didn't think so. Monica, you're up. So Monica is up. I'm being a blind assassin. Oh, boy. Seeing as you guys know that I said Katie and I are opposites. Oh, Katie's Katie gotta go. has to go. Oh. There it is. This is bad. Welcome to the afterlife, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping we, we were on the talk. same I, team. Never we can talk it all. Kill. I was hoping that Who's up? You're up. Dan uh, was going to uh, save my hide by killing right. Monica, but I don't, it doesn't... He didn't make any decisive oh. movies. He gave no information to anyone. I no. think he <laughs> did give information by not killing me. I think he did. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, who am I gonna take But he knew my card, right? Yes. Uh, he he know. was giving yeah, no. Him. He must he be on the same team yeah. as Monica her. because he didn't kill, kill Monica. He chose to let her right. kill somebody who knew she knew was on the opposite team. Exactly. What, what are you claiming? Say, somebody is trying. I don't mean. Yeah. What are you claiming? I claim to be a good guy. Doesn't even say. I'm not the traitor in this game. Alright, make a decision. I'm a ninja? He's dead. No, no, no. I, he Larry. killed me. Oh, so, we're on yeah. the next thing. Oh, okay. Larry, Larry make Larry's a decision. Turn. Kill somebody. Uh, what? Don't bring him. Don't bring him. Alright. And I, say, oh, so no. he's blind. So he doesn't do anything. Assassin doesn't go. Nope. I've got a shinobi. Shinobis. Choose. Okay. Choose. Whoa. 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 You can look at cards. someone's card and then choose whoa. whether or not you want to kill them. Yeah. I can look at someone's card yeah. and then choose. She house. still has two cards. That's she dangerous. Mm. Do you want to look at my world? card and then choose? Oh, wait. Nothing now. <laughs> they could have helped you win, Dan. <laughs> I don't know. You have no more cards. What is Correct. there a card that she can kill me? Probably kill her? she can reflect stuff. She there could be the could card. Be, could There's be. a card that lets you like if you survive till the end, you your team know. wins. And that right? they were gonna I be gotta break here and determine. Mm -hmm. A shinobi or blind assassin chooses to kill you, kill them instead. Oh, oh, yeah. Come on, kill me. Come on, come on. So that was all the shinobis, correct? Shinobi's gone. So everybody reveals if you are still alive, reveal your card. Like what is evil Dan? left? Dan's a lotus, guys. Yeah, yeah. Two, lotus. Two, I had to three, be. Four. I have the mastermind. Yeah. If you are still alive during the reveal phase, yeah, your house dude. wins the yeah. round. Oh, oh, let's go. Oh <laughs> Like, I, was I, was, like, I was gonna kill Monica. Nobody made right, Larry so and Larry to talk about everyone together. Why I flipped his. You had the you one. You were red. Thinking, if someone blue's gonna kill me, I'll just oh. tell him. And if someone red's gonna right. kill me, don't tell anybody. We've got. Red, oh. What is red? Are you 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 red? Thanks for not getting killed. Can we play a speed round? Oh, we can definitely play a speed round. We're gonna play a speed round. We also need to do a giveaway. Yes. 
A Wait, giveaway. We also need to do a giveaway. Were you red? Knight of the Ninja. Yeah. I was a red one. Okay, cool. Am I shuffling them together? What if I was the yes, real Yes, shuffle them together, mm -hmm. then what happens? Do we want to tell mm -hmm. people you how they can win this game? Alive. We the, do. The Ronin gets points, you were alive? alive? Yeah, you get a point. Oh, good yeah. job, Ronin. Great. What is it, two to I four? I don't know how to yeah, tell them that. Four. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Neither do I, because we're all playing the game. Normally, we draw a random comment so from, the, yeah, from the YouTube, YouTube chat. Dan, I'm yeah. surprised you didn't kill me, then, if you were blue. But I think everyone is... Uh, Busy. Well, I didn't know she was red. Two, I wasn't three, positive. Chat here. Six, and there was a G in the chat. All right, Larry's yeah, on it. Because he wasn't the one. Mm -hmm. Larry's yeah. on it. In the chat. In the YouTube chat. In, in the YouTube, YouTube chat. chat. see it on the right hand. Night of the Ninja. Let us know. Who wants Here's it? what you gotta do. Who wants to First off, in at technically in five minutes, we're supposed to go to the table flipping montage video round two, which is amazing. And I hate to delay it, but I think we'll play another game. And then when we do go to the table flipping tournament, I need you to go to our Facebook page where you can vote on your favorite table flipper. Do it! Let us know in the comments. You can say Ooh, yes or no, but let us know if you have voted already on your Facebook table flipping favorite. Yes or no. Regardless of your answer, we'll pick a winner after this round. And brother Y, since you're in the comments on YouTube, can you tell you everyone um, when the game, is it coming to Kickstarter? When it's coming? Because I know it's not quite available yet. <laughs> you get three together. Doesn't feel like I shuffled yours very good, does it? Oh, no. Like, all gonna be spots. like I was, yeah. It's gonna be nothing good because you don't deserve it because you killed me. I look at this round here. Sweet. Wait, we get three. Yeah. Three cards. Thank you. Cool. If you haven't gone and voted, go vote right now and then come back and then you'll be able to say yes. Oh, we uh, we're so passing to the right. To the right. Oh, to the right. To the right. Just to uh, shake things up. To the right. Oh, to the right. Keep one pass on round two. All right, these are the cards I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then get rid of one. All right, this is a speed round, guys. Speed round. Speed round. I'm seeing, I will vote. Voted, voted, yes. One more game, yes. Mastermind. Oh, any more yeses and no's? Do you guys want to win a prize? <laughs> Is this our discard? A distract? Uh, discard. No, discard has to be separate. Okay. And we get to see them? Is this what you put? Yeah, I put and the one too. on top of it. I put one in there too. Yeah. I put so one take that hey, one. Ryan, just for future knowledge, make, can you have two of the same Wait, ninjas? what? what I believe so. Oh. Yes. Because oh. you have a different number. <coughs> Dual wielding True. shinobis or something. Whoa. Okay. That's Maybe what I want to do. Maybe what was in my hand last time. <laughs> okay. Can you have dual wielding? I was going to look and kill them all. All right, everybody. Uh. Who has you spy cards that they want to play? I was spy. Dan is spying. Spy. Spy. Spying. Two spies. Ooh. I'll spy too. You only had two I'm cards. going to look at oh. Melissa. What she got? What she got? Pass it down. The big winner from the last game. Yeah. <laughs> she won it for the she whole house. She single handedly That's won for her whole. It looks like Brotherwise is going to be doing a pre-order campaign in July and then bringing the game to stores in September. Uh, this. Is the world premiere right now? Whoa. No. Is that what it is? So is this yes. the world premiere live stream? Right super, super, super early, early sneak peek. Whoa. This is your first experience. Wow. And it's yeah. amazing. I was going to say, well, we, you can tell by how many people are like, I'm joining the so game. So you looked at something. <laughs> uh, uh, did you, go, we're did all you look at one? Did you spy? No. Who gets the scope? Speed round. Look at? Um, Larry. How oh, dare you? <laughs> we're brothers. Right, who we're has, brothers at arms. We're going to keep going. Who right? has a brothers mystic card that they want to play? I'm Are mystic. we brothers at arms? Um, Liam. I'm gonna Liam. Claim... Oh, we should go to one. Oh. Oh. Liam! <laughs> not brothers from not brothers. They're not who brothers. Right. Who, who do you want to look at their cards? Um, I will look at Jonah's. Jonah. 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 Ninja. Are you and Joanna? Who do you want to look at? I want to look at pals or no pals. Pals or no pals. Hey, buddy. Do you have a single card or two cards? So who do you agree with? Give me a card. Remember without thinking. Wow. Are you a very pal? That's a card of Oh, okay, perfect. Love to hear. You get to look at a card, right? I'd love to know who. Who thinks they're pals? So you're not pals. Larry and Liam are pals. I don't know. Are you not pals? What do you mean you don't know? You're not pals. He doesn't like me. That's I'm pals I'm look with at yours. one of them. <laughs> What's one? Well, yeah. that, like, that one. Super Speak helpful. today. So not the, the Ronin guy. Or hmm. the... Oh, true. Not the Ronin. There you go. Okay, I've looked. Is that everybody with the mystics? I am. 
Yeah. All right, next. What do we got? All right. You're not saying you're, anything, Katie. Yeah, don't give it. Who'd you look at? What's your pal? Oh, yeah, I'm you sorry. Who'd you um, look at? I didn't even see that. Did I look that. at Ryan? Ryan, Ryan, and I are pals. Oh, I, I don't did. Know which one, but All right. right. Same play. Who has we're pals? A trickster card they want to play. Tricksters. I do. Whoa, we got two tricksters this time. Oh, she's the number one. Three tricksters. Tricking the spirit. Who wants to claim that they were? That they were pals with anybody else? N no. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> What's your power? Okay. She gets to swap cards. Uh, she gets house to look cards. at two, oh. two different house who, cards. Who and still has cards or not she has cards? Them? She gets to look at them and then and secretly then swap them. The house so they don't know what they have and they won't be able to look at them. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Do I have Sorry. to swap them? No. Uh, I can put that's, secretly that's the trick. Oh, oh, I can put them back uh, or... Can do yeah, they'll different. have no idea what they <laughs> have. So you should look How many cards does everybody else sure. have? One. One, one, wait, one. Wait, wait, wait. Two. House. Two. House. Jonah has two cards! It's, yes. it's their turn. Whoa! <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. We're throwing yeah, people under the bus. Look at them. What are you doing? She's, she's got my card and Jonah's. And maybe or maybe not. So she gets them. to choose what side they're on. This is terrible. This is awesome. I don't know at all. I like your discomfort. But she knows. It's Team Eagle Fang. Oh, yeah. I'm on right. Team Eagle Fang for sure. You can't look. Damn. That's you a terrible card. What just happened? That's, that's awful. Awful. All right. You had number two. Really oh, switch. Oh, yeah, number two. Jonah and who? Jonah and Monica. Jonah and Monica switch. We don't have a stand. Are you dead? No. So no, the extra stand? Just, I, yeah. They got swept off. I played the Gravedigger Trickster, so I can look at two discarded ninja cards, pick one, and I can play it immediately That's or keep slow. it in front of me Ooh. to use. You later. can look at the, the deck or just two? The discard. Discard. Oh, look at two discarded ninja cards and pick one. So maybe they weren't supposed to be face up. <laughs> no, he gets to look at them, right? Yeah, he yeah, gets to look at two of them, not the whole deck. Down already. Otherwise he would have And he gets to play he it immediately. Oh. Right. Right. So he could or kill somebody later. Oh, man. from an earlier card. He's fine. Or, oh. mm -hmm. I can't hear it. Right. Mm -hmm. I know. Right. Even Jonah has a play it. Y'all both. That's my, that's my favorite card. Y'all both have two cards. I had to try to help myself. Dad, who are you a part of You didn't know I had two until you ratted me out. You don't know anything? I know something. Oh. oh, we um, know you know something. <laughs> He's going to look at somebody's card and she's question. killed him. I'm going to look at Liam's card. Oh, wait, uh, can I look? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I can choose to kill you. Mm -hmm. Or not. Kill him. If you kill him, he's got to go. No. no. He's got to go. Like no. at some point. Point. He can say yes. what it is. You're but not going to kill him. Not going to kill him. I don't Why? know. Why? All right. Who is the spirit merchant? The brothers. You. Me. The spirit. Uh, look at another player's spirit. honor. Spirit merchant token. Oh, these are the house cards. Cards. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather spirit. look at the house card. <laughs> um, I'll help you out, Jonah. Ooh. Perfect. I won't help you out, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I don't know what I am anymore. <laughs> I don't know what I am. Help or not help. Well, you just looked at it, that was it? Who knows what Larry yeah, is? Knows so like one may swap no, an honor Liam token does. with them. He doesn't even have an honor but, token. Uh, and by extension, the smile right. does. Else. I also know. We are now at what, the is? blind assassin. Well, I know, Did you look I now know six? something about you, though. Uh-oh. Wow. What are we at? Because I... Blind assassin. If you I have a blind assassin card is. and you want to play it, please play it. Oh, I sure do. Here we go. Here they come. Oh, so you're Monica, very blind. Monica's first. You don't first. even know what faction you are. So, Katie, <laughs> we, when but you looked at our cards, 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 were we the same? <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you gonna believe what Katie says? Jonah and I the same. What is Larry? What team is Larry on? I I what? will say Larry. that one of you uh, he's on was not my list. friend. Oh. What? No. I will no, I will say not her friend, but I still know that. that I don't know. I'm not saying you got that card to your hand. friend now. Because you can tell you that. I'm not saying. Okay. <laughs> What did you say about their cards? Nothing? Mm. One was not I, I said that one of them definitely also, was not my friend. Alright, oh, uh, so first blind assassin. Yeah, I'm deciding. Who are your I'm friends? Gonna, I'll just kill Jonah. <laughs> you're gonna kill me? <laughs> oh, so, so, yeah, so you're obviously on assassin. the opposite team either way. We're, so. we're on opposite teams according to Katie. <laughs> if you can believe I look Katie. at it now? <laughs> I'm dead. You I'm dead. Dead. No, but you can still talk. So I think you're the last one. I didn't get to kill people. I know. I'll kill Larry. Don't do it! What? I kill Larry. I'm a martyr. So I get an honor token. Oh, because you die. Oh, you because you die? Right. So yeah. for the audience, what is oh, the martyr card? Yeah, if if you role. die while you're the martyr, uh, you, the you can token. react and gain an honor token. There are some 
things that you will, you'll all. still die and uh, you won't be able to use the martyr. But die I don't remember what they are. I, I know I've had the martyr before and still died. And I didn't get to use it. And it was. Oh my god. You didn't even die? No, I did die, but I did get the token out. Alright. Uh, shinobi. Who has a shinobi that wants to play it? I did have oh, one. Oh, Monica. Mm -hmm. I did have one until I died. I played mine. Shinobis. I feel like I can play it on I'm my going self. first. I don't know why and Ryan are both going to kill people. Mm. Right. Well, this is like, I'm no, not. I don't no, have a card. Uh, I have no okay. more cards. Oh, my I, God. God. And Ryan I had those early people cards and I was dead. I don't know. I just know us were opposites. But listen, do we know anything about Melissa? No, I don't think anybody knows anything about Melissa. Oh, that didn't play it. That's scary. Kill her. No, no. Okay. I don't know Liam. anything. I don't know Liam. anything about Melissa. What do we think about Liam. each other? Do we like each other? I don't even I know. know what's happening. <laughs> Actually, well, I don't know my color anymore. Katie switched me and Jonah. She said we were opposite, so I killed him. Did you know what your card was? I did. It was red. It was red. But I have no idea oh, if it is. Oh, I don't see blue. Oh, now. I guess I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm you blue. passed him a red card. Well, you're blue. Are we? I, just, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just, I saw his card. She knew card. what her card was. Oh no, you're right. right. Because, oh, you did see it. Yeah, no, we don't. Switched them. No, after we're opposite. After I saw after the switch, and he was red. I used to be red. She's not lying. Yeah. I you saw after the switch. She's blue. She only knows who I am. Oh, just now. I don't even have a card. Who's left? Monica. The trickster's awesome. He didn't like me. He didn't like me. He didn't like you. <laughs> and Ryan's here with a shinobi, mm -hmm. yep. and you uh, got a shinobi. I do, shinobi. but again, I, I, I don't even know who I am. You know okay. who he is. Right, Maybe Ryan, lost. so he doesn't... I think i got to kill Ryan and then hope that yeah. he won't end up on the same look team. First. Oh, do I get to look? Uh, yeah. 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 Look. And oh, he's oh, 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 it's not a blind Let's not kill him any better. Let me look at me again. Oh, let me kill Leo. No, you have a ball. I can't kill Leo because I want so much information. So you're not killing Ryan. You're not killing Ryan. Okay. Okay, Ryan and Will. Let me read my card before I play it next time. Will's trying to cheat. There it is again. Always. I don't know what is. I feel like I'm an irresponsible gun owner. Like, I don't even know my <laughs> cult, like, you what I'm supposed look at, to. Yeah, you should go. You get to look first. Oh, you do. Like, I don't look. know what my color is. You, 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 you need to decide red. Red. if you're killing Katie. Yeah. That's really what needs to I, 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 I got to look at Ryan's. You can and then kill yourself. I got to look at Ryan's card. I was all I got to do. His was red. Monica, his was red. Has anyone looked at Liam's? But she doesn't know her. He looked at the trickster. No, Dan, no, Dan looked at mine and didn't look at So I'm blue. Which side do we think Dan's on? I'm just saying, wow. Wow. and Melissa have a great. No one really knows. Hey, Liam, what color no are you? I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm either I red know. or blue. How does think, anyone trust Monica, really? I think you should look at <laughs> Melissa's. <laughs> I have a card in my hand. There's also the Ronin player. Look at her, no, maybe look at her before she meets right. Leverin right. again. Look yeah. at it, may but I don't have, kill her. Um, Melissa's yeah. card. Uh, sure. Um, and the people do not trust Monica. <laughs> <laughs> As they have learned, I'm trusting her based on Larry. Hopefully, <laughs> Melissa dies. Melissa does not die. She has the same card again. I figured that was the case. We needed to at least look at what you she had. You get killed instead. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So <laughs> I can look. She's the the, the rock. All one. other shinobis have been played, correct? Yeah. Uh, yep. you're right. Okay. Yeah. So, or you have one. So I'm not even gonna bother because no. I have what? the mastermind and my team wins. Yeah. What color are you? Wait, you I'm still blue. have to I'm kill blue. a Ronin or something? I don't have to. I don't have to look and and kill someone. Here, I look at your card. Okay, well, I choose not to kill Ronin? you. The Ronin still gets points. Yeah. We don't want to. Regardless, though, we everybody alive <laughs> reveals blue. their thing. Okay. Good job. All blue, blue people get points. I was the one. Yay! I was the one. Even if you're dead. Told us oh, we're she was dead. Yeah, even if they're dead. We so weren't. We were dead. Blue. We were the same. Rocket was blue. Oh, oh, good job. Okay. We were the same. She had me assassinate. Oh, <laughs> and she was nine. Oh, red. Oh, red. No, I thought oh, I was blue. blue. No, they were no, both red. No, they were both red. I was opposites. ripping wow. a page oh. out of Monica's hey, book. Hey, Katie. Uh, that was amazing. I, yeah. I'm so more proud us. of your deception. Who's the one? I'm so proud of you. You were alive? I was like, all right, well, these are the ones. And I'm alive. I'm in. Don't kill Ryan. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Anyone who was on the
on the blue team is getting points even yeah, if they were yeah. dead because the blue team won. I was the Ronin and I was still alive because of my mirror monk, so I also got points. Alright, so normally awesome you would play to 10, yeah. uh, but I think we're, we're going at it for a while. So, and I'm we do there. want to go I got five. into our I table got five. flipping. Ten. I have, uh, I have 11. I win. Liar. Did you get 11? Bo. He's amazing. Whoa. He, he did. won. Oh, oh, first place. Yeah. You got to steal one? No, because I had the martyr, so I got an extra one. Oh. You got an extra one. Oh. And I picked fours. So Larry can still put his name down. That was the game. Play. I looked in the bag. Uh -huh. We're so now going to go into Indeed. our table giveaway. Yeah, so let's give away. Oh, giveaway. Oh, giveaway. 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 So I saw a bunch of yeses and noes earlier in the comments. Larry was gonna keep track of him. Yeah. Now that he's looking at him. Well, who are we giving that ninja way to? This is like sealed and ready to go. So the game's not even available yet, but somebody is gonna win it, and we're gonna keep playing it tonight. Later. Got it. Um, what do we got? Who's our winner? Winner, Nathaniel McKinnis. Hey! hey. Nathan, Nathan, you know the drill. Send an email to Sarah, Sarah S A R A at tatenrounds.com with your address. And we will get that game shipped out to you. Congratulations on winning. Man, I feel like we're doing good. This is exciting. We're going to roll into our table flipping tournament. Uh, we showed this last night. It's the same video, but it's a reminder to you to go vote on Facebook. We're going to be giving away tons of cash and prizes tomorrow night based on your votes uh, on Facebook. So if you're, I mean, if you're smart, you're going to go share it with all your friends and tell them, hey, come vote on my video. Uh, you should go do that right now if you're one of the makers. And if not, just go vote on it to help uh, your favorite win. After the table flipping video, we're going to come back for just a couple minutes to actually say farewell for the night and to make some announcements about tomorrow. And then don't go anywhere because we are doing our house award show tonight. We got a bunch of special <laughs> guests who have tuned in to help us make those awards and uh, give them out to some of the best games of 2020. So I think without any further ado, let's flip some tables. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the couch. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that table flipping awesomeness. You, know, you need to listen to what you think because, so when you watch this montage, you're getting the high energy moments of those videos. But on you on Facebook, if you go check out those videos where you're gonna go vote at, uh, there's a playlist that you can get to. And some of those videos are hilarious. Like they're much yeah. longer than the little snippet that we included in the video. We were watching them again last night because yeah. not everybody had seen the submissions and we were dying. It oh was man, it was great. Great stuff. Thank you to all of those who submitted videos this year. Uh, it definitely has some great 
of videos that we had turned in this time. So. Yeah. yeah, it's a little different than our live action one. If yeah. you want to see the real deal, you got to come to TantrumCon 2022, apparently, or we'll be flipping tables in person again. One other thing that you can vote on while you're on our Facebook page is our mini painting contest. I saw a bunch of thumbs up on the minis. I think we had like 40 Did or we 50. Already, oh, we have already, our judges have already gotten in their submissions, but we have the crowd favorite category. So there are a couple of kids in the kid category and then plenty in the adult category. So go ahead and like those photos so we know who is the winner for the crowd favorite for our mini painting contest. Yeah, and we'll be giving away those prizes tomorrow night as well. Right now we're gonna roll into our house awards show. Uh, we put this video together, we got all dolled up for it, we have a lot of fun with it. I think this is maybe our third or fourth, third video doing the house awards uh, where we pick several categories for things that we are excited about in board gaming, whether it's the best art or the best board game or best Kickstarter, and then we've submitted those out into our entire audience to vote on and to narrow down and to curate, and then we finally pick our winners, and then that's what we're gonna award in just a little bit. And then be sure to join us Again tomorrow, we'll be back with more. Uh, also, right after the House Awards show, uh, you will be able to jump on some of those publisher demos. So if you go to tantrumhouse.com forward slash schedule, uh, you'll be able to see what games are being played after the awards show tonight. Uh, you can jump in on those and actually try out some of the games that we're playing tonight. I'm not sure if uh, Night of the Ninja is in there. It may not be, um, but there are Nothing several other games. Yet. Several other games you can try out, like on Tabletop Simulator and things like that. And then uh, we will see you guys tomorrow. So tune back in. Be sure to jump on our Zoom. We'll have a bunch more prizes and games to play tomorrow. Thank you for being a part of our Tantrum Con day. Let's go check out those house awards. some of the very best board games in the industry from this past year. Tonight, the Tantrum House crew will serve as your hosts. And this year, we'll be presenting awards in 11 different categories. We received hundreds of board game nominations from you. And we curated and categorized those lists. Then hundreds more of you voted for your favorites. Well, the votes are in. And tonight's going to be amazing because we've teamed up with lots of other friends in the industry and we're here to celebrate as we recognize some of the best board games in the world. So grab some popcorn and put on your fluffy slippers. Wait, you probably already have those on. And get ready because we're about to begin. Let's do this. The 2021 House Awards. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get this show kicked off by jumping into our first category, Best Kickstarter of the Year. We're going to have to change the name of this category next year as other crowdfunding platforms set up to compete. You're right. There's some awesome stuff going on over at GameFound. We're going to have to keep an eye on two major platforms now as publishers begin to set up campaigns over there. Here to present the nominees for Best Kickstarter of the Year are Glory Hound and Dr. Glory Hogg. What are you doing right now? Are we gonna record that thing? I don't think you understand, Doctor. This is an award show for the best Kickstarter of 2020 and you're wearing that? Like, we're supposed to be giving away this wonderful award. It's an amazing contribution that we're supposed to be giving and you're in your pajamas. Isn't everybody in their pajamas? Just Photoshop a tux on me or something. Let's do this. Okay, well that's a fair statement, but I'm not gonna Photoshop a tux on you. You have to get nice and fancy for this, you know? Can we meet somewhere in the middle? Like, what would that even look like? I got an idea. This year's nominations for Best Kickstarter of 2020 is Endless Winter, Paleo Americans, Wonderland's War, and 
dinosaur world. Now, for our winner. Can I get a drum roll, please? I feel like we need a drum roll in here. I no longer feel like we need a drum roll. Our winner is... Endless Winter. Hey, American. Congratulations to our winner. Hi, Five Thanos. Hi, guys. We are Fantasia Games. I'm Yorgo, also known as Yoma. And I am Thanos, not the supervillain. We are honestly so honored that Thunder House voted Endless Winter Paleo Americans as the best Kickstarter game of 2020 amongst so many amazing titles out there. And we also like to thank our collaborators, our team, and most of all, our backers for the amazing support you saw us as a newcomer company. We honestly cannot yeah. thank you enough. That was amazing, guys. Uh, have a happy new year, everyone, and play a lot of board games. Congrats to all the folks behind Endless Winter, Paleo Americans. That was such an awesome prototype to play and really cool to see them successfully fund. I know. I can't wait to see what the final version looks like. Up next is the best family game of the year category. So if you're looking for a game that you can play with your kids that you'll also enjoy, pay attention. Here to present the category are Mick and Starla from Our Family Plays Games. Hey guys! Everybody, I'm Starla. I'm Mick. And we are our Yeah! Yeah! What's up, Tantrum House? What's yes. going on? Yeah! And you know what? We are so happy yes. to be part of the Tantrum House Award Show. We're going to have to do an award show. <laughs> we must make Yeah, we got to do that. We got to do that. And we're going to talk about what we always talk yes. about and have fun talking about. Mm -hmm. That's Family games. Family games. Yeah, yeah. So let's give you the top three nominees for the best family board game of 2020. Now the first one is Fossilus by Kids Table Board Games. And next we have Parks Memories by Keymaster Games. And third, but not least, is Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion by The Op. And the wow. winter and the winner is the winner. Here you go, my lady. There you go. Can't wait. Can't yes, wait. do it, do it, do it. It is Fossilus. Fossilus wins. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations, kids. Uh, what kids table board gaming? Hey, congratulations. Hey, tantrum fans. I am Helena, publisher of Fossilus. I'm Josh, the graphic designer. I'm Sean, the communications director. I'm David and I'm the designer of Fossilus. And we're thrilled to be here to accept the award for best family game of 2020. And I wanna start by thanking uh, Kids Table Board Gaming and the team here for publishing my first design ever. And especially to all the fans out there who voted for us. We think you guys are all amazing and we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for being with us along this ride and for voting Fossilus Best Family Game of 2020. And thank you to Tantrum House for having us. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Congratulations to Kids Table Board Gaming. <laughs> you have to hang around to the end of this because you have to check out some of the outtakes from their <laughs> uh, announcement. <laughs> yes, they were cracking me up. I know we really enjoyed playing Fossilus with our kids. There are just so many cool things going on with that game. Yeah, really great experience, great art. And speaking of art, our next category is... Best Board Game Art. And to read the nominees are Ellen and Randy from We Game Together. Hi guys, I am Randy. And I'm Ellen. And we are We Game Together, a board gaming YouTube channel, which That's we true. do some top 10s. We do unboxings. We do some live plays on Mondays. Most Mondays. Well, we have four kids. Sometimes <laughs> life gets in the way a when little bit. life doesn't make you stop That's dead okay. in your tracks. But we are presenting an award for the best board game art of 2020 yes. for Tantrum House's Best games of the year. Very exciting. Uh, award shows, though, they mean fancy. They do. They mean so, get gussied up. I think we look pretty decent. I think we look good. I mean, you look amazing. Well, you look amazing. Well, I was really just fishing for a compliment, so thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I even got my favorite board game that player color. That is very What do you think? I love it. You nailed it. All right. Well, here are the nominees. Honey Buzz, published by Elf Creek Games. Art by Anne Heidzik and Jason D. Kingsley. 
Tidal Blades, published by Druid City Games and Skybound Games. Art by Lena Cassette and David Forrest. Finally, Tang Garden, published by Thundergriff Games. Art by Matthew Mazak. Mm -hmm. And the winner is... With my calligraphy written envelope. <laughs> what is happening? This is very fancy. I see you went all off the occasion. Give me that winner. Okay, the winner is Title Blade. Oh, all right. Published by Druid City Games and Skybound Games. Art by Lena Cassette and David Forrest. Excellent choice. All three great nominees. Game. Congratulations to all the nominees, but especially to Title Blades. Congratulations. Congrats. Hey y'all, what an incredible honor it is to get a, an award for Tidal Blades in the category of art. I, I just I can't say enough about the team. David and Lena, aka Mr. Cuttington, just incredible, incredible art skill, creativity, coming up with the world. But I can't not also mention Tim and Ben Eisner, who really helped contribute to the lore and the world build and, and Ben Kepner back in, and everybody at the Skybound office. It was a real, a real team effort with uh to help support david and lena just really build out the art for this game it's truly amazing i'm glad that everyone else is enjoying it and can't wait to show you what else is to come so thank you all for the award appreciate you hi this is lena and david we're better known as mr cuttington and today we're really excited and grateful to be winning the best art of 2020 with title blades uh, we've had so much fun with this game and the opportunity to really unleash our creativity more than ever. Uh, we're really grateful to Skybound for all the freedom they gave us as far as world building and art. So uh, again, thanks so much to Trenton Miles for this award. It really means a lot. Uh, Thank thanks you. so much. Tidal Blades looked so beautiful. I love all the fresh colors, the great minis, and how fantastic the whole world comes together. The minis do look amazing. This year, Ryan and I got to play more games together with each other than I think probably any previous year. Co-op games provide incredible value because not only do they allow you to play with just two players, but many of them allow you to play with much larger numbers as well as with just one player. There were several great games nominated this year, and here to present our top nominees for Best Co-op Game of the Year is Jeremy Howard. Hey, party people, this is Jeremy from Man Vs. Meepo, and I'm here to present the Best Co-op Game of 2020. I have three nominees right here. One of them is Pandemic Legacy Zero by Z-Man Games. I have yet to open this. That means I need people to play with. Come on, 2021. The second one here is Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, the baby brother or baby sister of Gloomhaven, one of my favorite cooperative games of all time. And then the third one, I don't have, and that one is The Crew, Quest for Planet Nine. I played it a ton online, I had the German version, it is fantastic, but there can only be one winner. And it happens to be the one I don't have right here in front of me, and that is The Crew. Quest for Planet 9 by Cosmos Games. Congratulations to you. You are the winner of the best co-op game of 2020. You can find more of my content on Man vs. Meeple for Solo Sundays and all kinds of coverage. Just go ahead and head over to the YouTube page. And with that party, people, you take care and have a wonderful day. Hope I see you in 2021. All right. Awesome! This is great. Thank you guys so much. This is this is really an honor. Thank you. Um, very excited. Um, as you can tell, I'm a big fan of the crew. I joined NASA just so that I could be uh, a little bit more in theme for for this this game. Um, thank you again. Uh, uh, the crew is a great game. Um, for those of you who voted for it, thank you very much. Uh, I have to make sure to give recognition where it is due. Thomas Singh, the designer of this game, did a fantastic job with this trick-taking game in an innovative new way. Uh, very excited about that. The, the German editors who did a fantastic job of, of making the whole storyline and, and kind of just making it complete. That was uh, Killian Voss and Wolfgang Lutke. And then of course the English editors who, who made it so that uh, the, the rest of us uh, speaking English can play. That was uh, Ed Garten, Ted McGuire. And then, Last but not least, I have to make sure to give credit to the uh, artist who who put great images and little Easter eggs and all those cards. If you haven't got them all, you gotta you gotta see them. They're great. Uh, that was Marco Armbruster. Um, again, thank you for the recognition. We're very excited for this game. I think that uh, it's it's one of those games that's just going to be a classic for years to come. Trick taking um, games that you know grandma and little kids can play together. Um, 
Thanks again, and uh, thank you. The Crew was my number one game of this year. It's so replayable, so challenging, and so fun. And it plays up to five players. And you guys played all 50 missions, isn't that right? Yep. More than uh, once. Someday <laughs> I'm going to get a chance to play these games. Maybe we should keep the show rolling, and then tonight could be the night. We'll play it afterwards. <laughs> Probably not, but <laughs> our next category is Best Roll and Write. And to present the nominees is Sarah Shaw from Board Games in a Minute. Hello, this is Sarah Shaw from Board Games in a Minute. Thank you to Tantrum House for allowing me to present the nominees and the winner of the best roll and write style game. I do love my roll and writes and they are just getting better and better. So I'm going to take less than a minute of your time to present the nominees and the winner of the best roll and write style game. So the top three nominees are Sonora, Super Skill Pinball, and welcome to New Las Vegas. And the winner is Sonora from Pandasaurus Games. Congratulations to all of the nominees and the winner. Thank you so much to everybody at the Tantrum House team for this incredible award. We are so, so, so honored to accept Best Roll and Write of the Year from Tantrum House, especially for such an incredibly special little game as Sonora. Yeah, and Molly and I can't take all the credit for this. Obviously, uh, Rob Newton, the designer, gets uh, the lion's share mm -hmm. of the credit. Uh, John Gilmore did development work on the game. We had a whole bunch of playtesters. You can see them in the rule book. Uh, Tom Goyan with the amazing illustrations, especially those cute animals in that cover. And then Michael Parla, who did the graphic design uh, work on the game. Hey everyone, thanks for voting for Sonora as the best roll and write of 2020. I really appreciate you taking the time to play the game and to vote for it. It was definitely not a solo effort, and there are a lot of people who helped bring the game to life, so thanks to them very much. Um, it's been a very difficult year. And I appreciate you taking the time to play the game, and hopefully we can all get together soon to play more board games in person. So, thank you. I think Sonora is one of the games that we all actually read on, right? It's got enough Take That for Jonah. A great color scheme for Ryan. Lots of little boxes to fill and dots to connect for Katie. And the stress factor is right down your alley, right Chantel? Uh, speaking of stress, let's talk about heavier games the best strategy game of the year. Here to present the nominees for the best strategy game of 2020 are Jimmy and Bradley from the Board Game Closet. Thanks Tantrum House for having us on. My name's Jimmy. I'm Bradley. And we're from the Board Game Closet and we are so excited to be here today. Woo! Woo! Top we three strategy games from the year 2020. 2020. <laughs> we finally made it to the end. It is over and we are happy, but some good things yes. came out of 2020. Yes, specifically three really good things came out of the year 2020. So we have the privilege of talking about the three best strategy games of 2020. And without further ado, number one is Tekkenu. Number two, Viscounts of the West Kingdom. And number three is Honeybus. That's a great list. It's a great list. It's a great list. And I really, there's, I don't know, that's super tough. That is tough. I think I know what I would have win. I know, me too. So we we'll will see. now reveal we'll the see. top winner of, here we go. It's da 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 Thank you and welcome. We, we <laughs> made it, <laughs> my counts <laughs> of the West Kingdom. <laughs> Yay! Congratulations, Congratulations, Shem and SJ. You made a great game, and the people love it. Yes, it's great. Great game. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks for having us on, Tantrum House. See you guys. Hey, everyone. This is Shem Phillips and my partner in non-criminal activities, Sam McDonald, and we are the designers of Fly Counts of the West Kingdom, which just amazingly won the best uh, strategy game of 2020 from Tantrum House, and we're so grateful for this amazing award. Yeah, I'm blown away. We had so much fun designing this game. It sort of started as a challenge. Like, we knew we were going to do three games in the West Kingdom, so we knew we had to finish off the trilogy well. But the challenge was that Shem doesn't really like deck building games. <laughs> and so we wanted to design a deck builder that Shem enjoys. And so we had this idea about, what if you had a hand of cards, but you're only playing one card each turn, and it becomes part of this rolling tableau where you can have different ongoing effects, immediate effects when you play the cards, effects where the cards drop off and then a way to shuffle and rotate your tableau around and that was the start of what became a very crunchy and fun game. And then about six or nine months later we had a baby so <laughs> uh, the, um, 
the final product. So yeah, thank you so much Tantrum House. This is such a great honor. We're feeling pretty uh, privileged and um, just so grateful. We, we love your channel, love what you uh, give to the community. Yeah. And thank you all for your support. Thank you so much. Thoroughly enjoyed Viscounts and very, very happy to see that our voting audience agreed. That was a tough category. All three of those games were amazing. Oh, I know. All of the nominees this year have really been incredible. I don't think there was a single weak game on our entire list. Yeah, this has been a very crazy year for gaming. Our next category focuses on games that are played with smaller player counts. That's right. A segment of the hobby that we really feel is crucial to focus on this year. Here to present the nominees for best two-player game of the year is Monique and Naveem with Before You Play. Hello Tantrum House and thank you so much for having us present this award. My name is Monique. And I'm Naveen and we run a YouTube channel called Before You Play where we play full two-player playthroughs with reviews. And speaking of two-player games, we are here to present the nominees for best two-player game of 2020. Starting with Unmatched Cobble and Fog by Restoration Games. Second is Undaunted North Africa by Osprey Games. And the third nominee is Stellar by Renegade Game Studios. And the winner is Unmatched, Unmatched Cobble, Cobble and, and Fog, Fog by Restoration Games. Congratulations to the winner and thank you again so much for having us. Bye. Hi there, I'm Justin Jacobson, the board game necromancer here at Restoration Games. We're thrilled that you all have awarded Unmatched Cobble and Fog the award for best two-player game of 2020. I guess you might say that among all the great games that came out last year, it's well regarded. It's been a labor of love for all of us here at Team Restoration. So I wanted to make sure that we all had a chance to say, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Lindsay, you're muted. Oh, never mind. Congratulations to Unmatched Cobble and Five. I love the London theme. Up next, we want to recognize the best solo game of the year. Now, I don't get the opportunity to play many solo games, but I was excited to see this on the list. We've asked Apprentice Dan to do the honors for this category. Dan, take it away. Hello, I'm Apprentice Dan, and I am here all alone by myself to introduce the best solo game of 2020. And the nominees are Under Falling Skies by CGE, Warp's Edge by Renegade Games, Food Chain Island by Button Shy, and the winner of this year's best solo game is Under Falling Skies by Czech Games Edition. Congratulations to all of you at CGE. Great work and thank you for producing a great solo game. Hi, I'm Tomasz Uhlis, uh, designer of Under Falling Skies. And I would like to thank you very much for this award. I appreciate it a lot. And looking back at how it all started as a nine card free print play game, I would have never imagined it could uh, end up here. And uh, seeing so many people playing the game and enjoying it so much is, uh, to be honest, uh, the best reward a designer can get. Uh, and here the big thanks goes to all the great people in Czech Games Edition for giving me this opportunity in the first place. So, uh, thank you very much and bye. Oh man, that artwork for Quantum Warrior just super draws me into Falling Skies. Yeah, our next category is Best Reprint. Sometimes games need a refresh with art and component upgrades. Here to present the best reprints is Grant Lyon with Grant Games Rex. Hello, I'm comedian and board game content creator Grant Lyon from Grant's Game Rex. Thank you so much to Tantrum House for having me. I feel very honored to present the award for best board game reprint of 2020. And I also feel pretty nervous to uh, present this because uh, not that long ago, another comedian, Steve Harvey, was presenting the Miss Universe Award, and uh, <laughs> boy, did he mess that up. So I'm not going to be like Steve Harvey. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nail this. I'm going to keep it together, keep it together, keep it together. Okay. Our nominees for the best board game reprint of 2020, number one is Rococo, Rococo from Eagle Griffin Games. Our second nominee is Tammany Hall. Tammany Hall. It's Tammany Hall. Why would anybody say Tammany? That's not a real word. So obviously the nominee is Tammany Hall from Pandasaurus Games. And our final nominee is Yidu. Yado. 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 It's Yeddo. Our nominee is Yeddo from Thundergriff Games. 
And our winner is... It's winner. Our winner is... Why would... Our, our winner of the best board game reprint of 2020 is... Rococo from Eagle Griffin Games. Congratulations, we made it through this. You should go celebrate. I want to celebrate too. It's so exciting that Rococo won best board game reprint of 2020 because it's a great game and everybody do. Can I not even open a champagne bottle correctly? It's a twist off. Boy, that really takes a lot of the joy out of it, huh? So. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm Grant Lyon. Check me out on YouTube. Grant Lyon. I make short and funny videos about board games. Rococo! Eagle Griffin did a great job with this one. They sure did. The artwork from Ian O'Toole is amazing and the components are so fun in this new version. Okay, time for best expansion. Here to present are our own Larry and Amy. Hey guys, I'm Amy Eggs. And I'm Sidekick Larry here. We're here to talk about the best expansion of 2020. But before we get there, we want to give a little plug for an expansion we've been working on coming in 2021. Yes, me and Amy Eggs here have been working on our own expansion for the last six months or so. And by we, technically, he put in a little bit of time at the beginning of it and- um, The most been, important time. I couldn't have done it without him, I'll say that. But the last six months have been all me. April 2021, our expansion will be brought into the world. Yes, but back to what we're actually here for. Oh, yes, yes, the, the 2020 nominations. <clears throat> yes, best expansion in 2020. The nominees are Wingspan Oceania from Stonemeyer Games, Parks Nightfall from Keymaster, and Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle Earth. Shadow Paths from Fantasy Flight Games. And the winner is... <laughs> Wingspan Oceania from Stonemaier Games. Congratulations. Congratulations! Hey, this is Jamie Stegmeier from Stonemaier Games, and I just wanted to thank Tantrum House, in addition to all the amazing content they've created for the board game industry and community over the last year and multiple years um, for presenting Wingspan Oceania with their top expansion of 2020 award. Uh, this is really amazing to hear. I know Elizabeth put a ton of time and effort in this expansion. It was fun for me to develop it and, and produce it as the publisher. And it was fun as always to work with Natalia and Anna, the artist of the amazing birds in, uh, in, in this expansion and in the rest of Wingspan as well. Um, so thank you on the behalf of all of us for this award. I'm glad the folks at Tantrum House enjoyed this expansion, especially among all the other amazing expansions released this year. And I look forward to more great content from Tantrum House in 2021. Thanks. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Awesome. They are the perfect people to present the best expansion with the baby on the way. That is so yeah. true. <laughs> we are making this a real Tantrum House. Let's keep those Tantrum House babies coming. <laughs> so now we're getting ready to do the best board game of the year, and the nominees are... Takenu from Board and Dice. Dwellings of Eldervale from Breaking Games. And Viscounts of the West Kingdom from Garfield and Renegade Games. And the winner is... Dwellings of Eldervale! Wow, congratulations! Yeah. Thank you, Tantrum House, for this incredible honor. When Peter Vaughn and I first conceived of Dwellings of Eldervale many years ago, we had no idea that we'd ever be able to really pull it off. We're fortunate that Breaking Games took a chance on us and published Dwellings of Eldervale, an absolute monstrosity of a game. We could never really have done it without so many incredible play testers, some of the best play testers in the world, thousands of Kickstarter backers, and an awesome team of artists. And of course, Peter Vaughn's masterful project direction that tied it all together. 2020 
was a challenging year to say the least. But it was a great year for games. It's amazing that Dwellings stood out with so many other great games on the market. Games can bring us together. Solo games can help us enjoy our time apart. And content creators remind us of the good things that we have to look forward to. It is my hope that in the coming year and in the coming years, that many people are able to find joy and companionship playing Dwellings of Elderville. Again, thank you very much. Congratulations to Breaking Games and to all of our winners this evening. It's exciting to see the process as all the nominations came in and as the votes were tallied. There were so many amazing board games this year. And it really is such an awesome privilege that we get to share this with the publishers and the artists and the designers, and especially you, our audience. Thank you guys for being excited about all these awesome games. Thank you for all of your voting and for communicating with us, and thank you so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, thank you again for joining us this evening. Hopefully you found a couple new games to add to your collection. And one more time, a huge thank you to all of our friends who joined us tonight to present these wonderful awards. Good night. Good night. Do you want to watch a movie? Movie? Movie to pizza. Ooh, Give me some ice cream. Yes. I feel like I'm in a Zoom meeting. I only... Hey, Tantrum people. I'm Helena. You're already, you're already <laughs> doubting yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're going to give them something for the... Blooper. <laughs> the blooper. <laughs> Always a blooper. Tantrum the screamers. T oh, that good. What did I? What did I say on that? Wait. Tantrum. What, they wait, call them the tantrum. Wait, what was the quote they put in the the uh, the talking bubble next to Tilt's my face? Adorbs. Tilts and dorbs. I can I can say something like, "We're here to accept the award for best family game of 2020." I think maybe something more like, "We are thrilled to or happy to," rather uh, than. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we are present. <laughs> Done. Okay. Raise the roof. Go. I'm gonna say uh, This is gold. I'm you Thank you everybody. You guys are great. <laughs> oh, she did it. Evil Griffin. Evil. Evil. Eagle Griffin did a great job with this one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. They sure did. <laughs> Uh, speaking of stress, let's talk. <laughs> just go. Uh, uh, I just. Uh, uh, I just. What? <laughs> so All right. Uh, oh, is that is that how you say that? Best board games in the world. So grab some popcorn and put on your fluffy slippers. Wait, they probably already have those on. <laughs> and. <laughs> Whoa, where did Katie go? Floating head. I, was, I, I feel like I should do something special, like where I act like I'm holding my head up or something. <laughs> but I don't know how to do anything special with that. <laughs> Getting ready to play the new Smash Up Marvel from AEG, AEG mm -hmm. and the Op. Yeah, so this plays very similar to regular Smash Up, if you're familiar with that. There are some minor tweaks. Uh, for instance, minions are called characters. They uh, summarized two of the actions, move and transfer, are both called move now. And there was another one, which I don't remember because it was kind of minor and I didn't care to remember it. 
but I'll look it up real Some quick. Some of them, there's, there's such minor, like, just wording okay. changes. Yeah, oh, instead of play on a okay. minion or play on a base, it's just a card that says base modifier, character modifier. So uh, just some wording tweaks, pretty much. Make them a little smoother, a little more streamlined, yeah. I think. We do have the rulebook here in case some keywords show up that we are not familiar with. Uh, but otherwise, it should be similar mechanics to what we played before, but all Marvel themed. So let's go around and explain, or at least talk about what our factions are that we've smashed up together. Yes, I wanna hear this. All right. All right, so I am playing with the Sinister Six and the Masters of Evil. Um, we talking about what they generally do? Do you know what they do? Uh, based on what this says, sure. Yeah. So I mean, we should preface this. Do you want to give we, it away to us? We have not played with these yet, are so we, this is going to be exciting to. and new for us. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and say what yours do. All right, so... And we'll see if that's true as we play. Yeah, we have, yeah, we <laughs> the Sinister kind of Six combo. love to prey on weakness. They have many ways to make bases weak get many benefits from weaker basis, and they have several base modifiers and ways to reuse them in their characters. Um, complexity is medium high, so this should be fun, but not as bad as the Masters of Evil, who are very complex. Uh, they seek to control the world through any means. In addition to the victory point rewards from bases, they've developed alternate methods of getting victory points. What? And they get stronger the more victory points they have. Nope. They're nope. also good we at destroying, watch destroying characters to slow other players and increasing their strategic gain. Danny the girl, this can be combined with base smash up, but oh, yeah. you again, minor wording changes that you have to look out for. I have shield, which uh, they focus on drawing in extra characters and then trying to boost other characters that are at the same base. And then I've got the ultimates, which are very movement based apparently, and they can kind of spread out and then all join at the same base for greater power. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, that's some base that's breaking abilities. All right, I am playing with the Spider Verse. I'm a little jealous. I wanted that one. I but know. Baby drafted I, it for me. Well, Sarah had the first draft, but I was like, no! She's like, fine, you I can play, play with it. Miles Morales and all the other awesome <laughs> she characters. She said, fine, I'll take the I'll Avengers. Just take the Avengers. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm playing with Spider Verse and the Kree. And I'm I chose the Kree because I really liked Ronan the Accuser in the um mm. in the movies. Specifically the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. I thought he was you like the really... dance off, huh? The, oh, the dance yeah. off. Well, I liked his character, um, especially his, like his costume and the way they presented him. Pretty I cool. really liked him in Pushing Up Daisies. Oh, pfft. <laughs> it's talking about the actor. Anyway, but um, I have a low to medium complexity on Kree and then a medium complexity on the Spider Verse. Um, and I forgot to read what mine did. I was just going to like wing it when I got going. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> we we, we, we can got see it all later. the time. Okay, right. Sarah. What do you have, Sarah? All right. I am playing with the Avengers, which have a low complexity, which is great because it has probably been at least three years since I've played <laughs> any form of Smash Up. So good to give me an easier one jumping in here. Uh, they have a signature action just like their characters do in the comic books and movies. And they are good at cycling through the deck and trying to get the exact items they need, which is great because I am also playing Hydra, <laughs> and Hydra, I know, I'm kind of playing opposites, but it must be so bad that they're teaming up together yeah. to take out whatever or you guys are doing. So, yeah. uh, Hydra, uh, when they get destroyed, they actually become stronger, and so I'll be pulling a lot of the uh, minions or characters that have been taken out from Hydra in from my discard and replenishing them, which is great because that's what the Avengers do. I want to see powers. you play with Captain America and Red Skull on the same base. Yes, yes. 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 We'll, yes. we'll try it out. <laughs> Maybe it's like that time when Captain America pretended to be Hydra just so he could get what he was looking for. Try yeah. not to do any spoilers in case I'm sure that's not spoiling anything for anybody at this point, but. Just in case. I mean, yeah. We Maybe that's friends. what it is. We're they're just pretending to play about along. WandaVision tonight, just in case we love it. But if we're going back several Will years we? of movies. <laughs> <laughs> we're going back several movies, I feel like it's it's yeah. okay. 
Oh, we got Sarah is so uh, kind. That's probably because she let first. me have let the me Spider Verse. First. I know. Yeah. I wanted it. Also, <laughs> don't forget, we are giving away a copy of Guardians Call during this play. So, uh, make sure you are chatting with us in the comments, and we will randomly select somebody to win this game. Yep. So we've all drawn our starting hand and put out the starting bases. We have five cards on our turn. We can play a character and an action in either order. Uh, we don't have to if we don't have one or don't want to. Dan is going to play first. At the end of that, uh, your turn, you draw two. If you have more than ten, you have to draw discard down to ten. And you keep going until someone earns 15 points. So it said character or action, Yeah, right? And that's yeah, instead character of or action, yeah, minion either order. or... Yeah, right. you play one of each. Yeah. Yeah, so One characters in exchange okay. for minions. But yep. same idea, it's okay. a person. Alright, so. Case. You ruined the movie for somebody. Uh, what? <laughs> you, I ruined the movie. The base comes in the direction. Which direction? This way? So that from the overhead, they are overhead. Oh, this way? Yep, there we go. We can do it so people can see the base better. And don't show off my this hand way? too much, yeah. Will, otherwise they're, <laughs> they're gonna know what's coming. Like that. Um, my hand's got some pretty powerful stuff in it. I'm so well, now. you have the what? Avengers. All of the so Avengers are edge. like a five power. Yeah, like it, that. that's that's something you have to deal with All right. when you're fighting the Avengers. I guess is they're powerful. Um. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna play. Start out by playing Mysterio. He's a four power character. He has a talent. Can a talent be used immediately? I think so. Yes, yeah. every okay. turn. So I can play a base modifier here as an extra action, or I can draw a card. Um, and I can still play an action, right? It's a character and an yeah, action? Yeah, character and an action. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going and to... And then an additional base action. So I'm going to use his... Let's see, after you play a character here, you may look at the top card of your deck and place it on the top or bottom of your deck. So I'll start with that. And then you can decide if you want to draw that card, because then that's one of your abilities. Yep. <laughs> That's a All good right. combo. Yeah, so I'm going to keep good that Good for you. There. I need to be thinking about comboing here. I am going to use his talent to draw a card. And then I'm going to play um, an action. It's a base modifier. Uh, ongoing, your characters here have plus one power. After the base scores, if its break point was 19 or less, I get to shuffle up to two of my characters here in two of your characters here into their owner's decks. Okay, so end of your turn, uh, you check scoring. Uh, it is 18 and you just boosted it by one. Yeah, is that so what it is? Five. So five, didn't score, draw two cards and next person. So that base is now 23 <clears throat> to break. Is that what we said? No, I'm I'm sorry. Okay. You're saying you added five. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have, towards I have five. the five of Okay, I thought you were so saying gonna, that he made it Five harder to play. You know, play. that would make sense. I just, in my mind, was like, he's on the end, so I'm going to go this way. Clockwise. Yeah, is you're going to play on that side. All right, I'm playing a Hydra Agent. Uh, this is an ongoing. After it's destroyed, I can play up to two extra characters of power here. So, Which makes sense for Hydra. Yep. All right. Except I'm we're playing yeah, cards I, you can't yeah, see. Yeah, I want to do it uh, where... Staggered. Yeah. Can, okay. we, can we do the it like base, this? The base, Katie, can you read the base? All right, it says, after the first time you play a character of a power two or less here, you can play an extra character of power two or less yep, here. I'm doing that. I'm so she's, stack them. Whoa, Hydra agents. Hydra's infiltrating the Ecor base. Uh, I am not going to play any actions, so I believe my turn is over, and I'm going to gain, draw two cards. All right. Um... Is Tantrum Mouse doing a Kickstarter this year? I believe the answer is tentatively yes, but it will be later in the year. If we do so, we're still talking about it. We're also still waiting on, because of all the delays with shipping and manufacturing this year, we still have a few more items from our last year's Kickstarter 2020 to arrive. So we wanna make sure we've gotten 
last year's people taken care of before right. moving on to the next one. So I'm playing we just, the ghost spider. Oh, we just cool. got in the mats Top from mats. Game Toppers. So we have some to, uh, we have a giveaway of one tomorrow, I believe. We haven't already done so. And uh, those will be going out to backers on Monday. Would you play a ghost spider? Yep. 20% off. Ghost oh, yeah, spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can, if you miss the mats on our Kickstarter, you can go to our website, tangentrumhouse.com slash shop. Everything in our store is 20% mm -hmm. off. Did you put mats on the website, Will? Nope. Ah, oh, Will didn't put the mats on the website. Reveal okay. the top card. Uh, I've cards in my deck. I will still honor the twenty percent off price on the mats, so. though. Or you can make a late pledge. And then I can put those are supposed to be on our website. Just itching to play. Actions okay. go. Ever since so I thought I was coupon, making myself a second, not last. Coupon code is Tantrum Con twenty twenty one. And and I can that shuffle my deck. Good so I'm done. Through next. All right. I play Monday. Agent Coulson. He can play a character of power two or less here as an extra character. Ooh. Extra character, shield agent. Ongoing if another character is here, this character has plus one power, so that's six power. Plus five, that's eleven. Let's see what else I can do. Uh, it, after you play a character here, you may look at the top card of your deck and place it on the top or bottom. So you get to do I that twice. am going to put it on the bottom. And then, yeah, I guess then do it I again. did it again, yeah. Move any number of your characters to other bases. Oh. After you move a character here, it gains plus two power until the end of the turn. What? So that would be six plus four is 10, 14. Not enough to break that. So maybe I'll put that on the bottom too. Um, okay, now I'm going to choose a base, draw a card for each of my characters there. Hey, let's nice. use that base, nice. draw two cards. But that is a character and an action. I don't have any additional free actions. So that is my turn. I draw two cards. So we're at five and five here, right? What's, is there uh, a hand no, limit? No, it's five and six because oh, this right. guy gives okay. that. So is there a hand limit, dear? I've forgotten. Ten. Ten. Oh, okay. Dan is up. Dano. Okay. What's Sinister Six doing this time? Uh, we are going to send. S I'm just sure. kidding. Hang on one second. I had a plan, then realized I couldn't do it. Ooh, I know, that's what okay. I do. I'm always like, I've got this plan, I'm gonna do it. And then somebody like <laughs> messes it all up with a single card they lay. And I'm like, no. no all right, I'm playing no, no. Green Goblin. Okay. And I can still do both talents, right? Yes. Right. Okay. So Green Goblin's a three power plus the one makes it four, and I can reduce this base's break point by three until the end of turn. So I will activate that, making this a 15 power base. And then here, um, I'm just gonna draw a card with Mysterio. Okay, so should these have power counters on them? Because they're plus one? Oh, or? sure. So we've got six. Plus I, my... I think power counters are technically uh, another thing. Oh, okay. So I have nine, plus your six is 15. The base is at 15. Okay. So that's going to break. All right. So you have the majority, right? Yes. So there, there's some it's, points oh. there. I thought it was 18. He, he oh, lowered the break oh, point. Oh, you goblin. reduce it. Ah, oh, I right. missed that. Here's your two for Dang second man. place, Ryan. Okay. I don't know to put it on your shield guard. When, when does this break, though? Because I can still play an action. Uh, it is at the end of your first. turn. Okay. Yeah, once you're done playing actions, it breaks. That's okay. when you check. So I'm going to play Witness Our Superiority, some more Sinister Six. Basically cancel out the ability of that base. Ooh. Um, so that is my character in action. So now we break the base. Yep. I got my points already. Discard pile for this stuff. Yep, unless it says something otherwise. No. Nope. Well, hold on. Yeah, I cover the exits. If it was 19 or less when it was broken, I get to shuffle two of my characters here into my deck. <gasps> Ooh. That's pretty that's awful. That's nice. Yeah. All right, so this one goes away. Ryan, these get discarded. This base is done. Come on, new base, what do we got? The new base is the Helicarrier. Yeah. 
On your turn, if you have a character here, you may move one of your other characters from another base to here. So you can put there. Okay. Uh, let's see here. And I draw two cards, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Do I do something minor just or later, or do I come in strong? We got Ghost Spider over at Exospace. What is, Ryan, can you read that? Um, Exospace? Yeah. Mm -hmm. After you move a character to here, it gains plus two power until the end of the turn. Yeah, so you have to be able to move a character there. Okay. Okay. After... You play a character, you may move one of your characters from another base to here. Let's do this. Let's play the Hulk. <gasps> oh, Hulk's coming in. And I can move over a Hydra agent to help him out. Nice. Okay. And what's the Hulk's talent? Uh, he's worth plus two, which doesn't help me out much, but I don't have much else in my hand. He's just worth plus two on your turn, is basically yeah, what it basically. is. Of course, so he's seven power. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Um, uh, that's it for me. So I draw two cards. Seven. Okay. I am going to play uh, Miles Morales here. Um, and he's got the special ability of moving before base scores. Um, Ooh. And I'm going to play this modifier on him. This is one of the character modifiers. Um, it, he gains a talent. He can I can play an extra action. So I played an action, but I get an extra action now. Um, I should have thought about which action would have been great to do that with. I was just concerned about getting it. Um, yeah, I'm going to forgo that extra action because I actually don't have any that makes sense at the moment. So, that was kind of lame, but that's how it had to go. All right, so Ryan's turn. All right. I hate having to give up an extra <laughs> something. Let's see. I'm trying to see if I can break anything. Breaking so how much is here? Seven? Well, ten? break a base. Ten. Oh, sorry. I keep playing my people out on the wrong spots. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> <sighs> All right. Uh, yes. First. I know that got from work. <laughs> Have you guys heard the story behind that line? Or no. That... I heard it was a wish. Make a wish yeah. kid that suggested it. Yeah. Oh, what? That's cool. Yeah. That's like one of the best lines it in the is. movie. It is. Yeah, they had a, a kid that um, was given a Make-A-Wish, mm -hmm. and he selected to be on set for the filming of that, and yeah. he suggested that line, and it like the best <laughs> line in the movie. He is. That kid could be a consultant. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yep, he was there. <sighs> Okay. I was say I that was that really was one of my favorite parts of that movie. Really, it was great. Yep. I'm gonna put America Chavez on Exospace. I, that is somebody I don't recognize. I'm sure they're in the comics and is stuff, it, but that's not somebody is, I know. Is she from? She's from the Ultimates. The Ultimates. I don't know. What's and I'm about just gonna draw two cards. Yeah. All right. We may see Good her in the end. future, though. She's got some cool All star right. earrings. <laughs> I'm going to play Sandman on downtown. Ongoing, this Ooh. character has plus Ooh. two power if the break point here is 19 or less, which it wow. is, so that gives me four power. Wow. Okay. And then I'm for my action, I'm going to play a modifier, reroute the power, so as a talent, if the breakpoint here is 19 or less, 
I can give one of my characters here plus three power until the start of my next turn. Oh. So right now I could technically have seven power towards the 18. I played a base modifier, which this base says give, allows me to draw a card. Mm. Mm. Dan's playing his his and hands better than I am. Draw two. Yeah. There's there's definitely interesting synergy with this. I like it. Mm. Up my alley. Okay. So. I well, see. you're the only. No, no. I was gonna say you're right. the only person playing two bad, like two people of the same faction. You're playing two bad guys. He's playing two good guys. We're sort Mixed. of fighting each other. I feel like. <laughs> well, we're trying to team up just to get somewhere. Like, Teaming up with the Cree. Yeah, I'm teaming up with Hydra, which is. I, I'm not convinced all the Cree are bad, though. I mean, they they've got some questionable stuff. They're just misunderstood. <laughs> I mean, Ronan, Ronan is a fanatic. That was said. Ronan's a fanatic. Now, truthfully, they had that supreme intelligence thing that was, like, I think, misguiding the entire population <laughs> and possibly controlling them, too. They need to check in on that. All right. I am coming in big with Iron Man over Ooh. here. Ooh. Iron Man's talent is move this character and up to one other character of from this base to another base. So, I can't do this one. Wait, after you play a character here, you may move, yeah. I think- You'd break this base, I think. Is Dan still at that? Seven, y'all, he's at I seven? Four, oh. Because this is only on, well, until the until start of my next, next turn. turn. So, so you're at seven. seven. He's at seven, you'd be at seven, and then the break point's lower, right? Because of? No. No. Oh, it's I thought it's that one card that the break point was lower. Yeah. Oh, sorry, missed it. I'm sorry. So, I thought we were. I thought that lowered the break point. Mm -mm. I'm gonna head over to the Exodus space. Okay. You get plus two power there till the end of the turn. All right. So we're so at seven, you at, eight, nine. Each one gets two. After you move a character here, it gains plus two power. So both Ever. of them. Yeah. Oh. So that's eleven. Eleven. 11. Plus, Plus seven, seven is 18. 18. 18. To my, oh, just this turn though? Yeah, so okay. you'll lose four power. Okay. That's all I got. Let's all right. See. Let's see what I can do on my turn. I can need to add, I'm just adding time. 14. What is it now? It's at 14? Mm -hmm. Um, 14. Uh, 14. If I do that, 14. So then it goes down, so it's got to be more than that, which means I can do this and make it something special. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to make this Cree thing work for me. All right, the Cree Sentry has two power, which isn't much, but, but I can play two actions, which gives him two power, two extra power. And let me Why see. Why can you play two actions? Because I get a regular action play and oh, I have a talent okay. that lets me play an extra action. Okay. <sighs> I can play an extra character is my action and I'm gonna play spider man 2099 oh. Ooh. cannot be destroyed by other player cards nice. nice all right so that was one action another action is um let me see what kind of good action I need to do. I got a bunch of characters in my hand, so I need to figure out how to get more actions now. Um, I will play, um, it begins. One of my characters gains plus one power till the end of the turn. Draw a card, you may play an extra action. Character modifier, this player has plus three power, putting it there. So I've played three actions, which is plenty for him to get the plus two. And then before, nope, 
I think I messed that up bad. <laughs> <laughs> Come, let me count this. Whoever is anybody watching the bingo, I feel like I need to take back my turn. <laughs> so that's uh, 16 there, straight up, and then whatever plus powers you have. 16. 17. <laughs> um... You may play this before a base scores when you have a character play against negative one. I don't know what that means. I played this out of turn. I shouldn't have been able to play this because apparently I had to play it Gotta as a base her. with scores. Who are you cheating? <laughs> this is me taking my turn back. <laughs> Anybody who's watching with bingo cards. Katie, I'm doing a turn. I appreciate I can't the play AJ. the stuff I nice. thought I could play. <laughs> Granted, it's because I'm pure evil, but... I'm going to do yeah. this instead. I'm going to play him here. I think I've got to because I need to break the space, and I can't do it with what I thought I was doing before. And I can't play that card, so i got to ignore that. So we've got 7, 8, 9, 10, 16, 18. 18. Plus, uh, did you do this? Oh, and plus the three power. Yeah. So 21. There you go. 21. 21. All right, so she has the most, right? So uh, you get four. Okay. You get two. I get one. Thank you. That was confusing. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, no, she gets two. Everything yes. I was trying yeah, to do was sorry. contingent on the base breaking. Yeah. The and angle. I was like, I got to yeah. do this. Nope, I can't do I'm it really unless the base right breaks. Back. I had other plans. So but there we go. So this is the the broken base. Yep. Yep. All right. What's coming out? That's that right. was Exospace. Glad I moved Manhattan. over there. Manhattan. After the space Manhattan. scores, each player with a character here may place a card with a special ability from their discard pile on top of their deck. Ooh. All right. So first. Special ability. Is that a talent? I think they say this special. Is special. They say special. Yeah. They say special. Mm -hmm. I'm going to. All mine are action cards. That say so special things on them. Let's see. Oh, I got a lot of moving cards, and I just don't know what to do with them. I kind of feel like that with my web slinger, Spidey friends. Do you have five here? Or he does currently. Seven. No, seven there. Seven. Ooh. I was gonna try to one? break. I was gonna try Until to break this oh, and five, that and base then that's seven. Yeah. on that turn. And I realized that okay. I thought I was going to break uh, this one. Seven. Wow. But I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, by moving this guy there, I thought it was going to work. But it requires the base to already be broken to move. Oh. And so I was like, mm. missed it. All right. Missed opportunity. The fact that I can get seven power out of Sandman is pretty awesome when he comes in as a two. It's legit. It is yeah. pretty legit. Yeah. I'll agree with that. Can I? That's Avenger high power there. Yep. But I am limited on both of these to lower level bases or oh yes, whatever. The low the the break point has to be low, yeah. but that doesn't necessarily mean that the points are worth it or low. Sure. Some of them are like great points, or not a lot of work. Yep. Oh man, I could do awesome stuff, but. I have to do a bunch of stuff first. A bunch of okay. awesome stuff. First, here we go. Uh, after you play a base modifier here, draw a card. Base modifier, draw a card. Ongoing, if you move one or more characters here. Draw a card. Draw a card. Wow. What? So I drew two. Um, he took that and the base action. There's two. He Yeah. Draw a card, yeah. So he gets There's to draw, draw two cards, one from that and one from that. But you didn't draw a card for moving a character here. Right. No. no. Okay. But I drew one for playing right. that, That's and then this one just straight up yeah. draw a card. All right. Uh, I got to figure out how I can do this. How's this gonna work? No, it's like how do you chain these things together? Um, uh, I don't know. We're starting to get tired. What? I know. I mean, the night is young. It's a Mountain Dew. It's been a long day already. 
And I had to go I run around in the snow it. because so, it's snowing here. It yeah, doesn't do so that. Right those of it. you who normally come to TantrumCon in person, it is snowing right now, just like tradition. Always snows. second, snows. at least what, the second year in a row or third year. Uh, Did it, ro just Did it ten? snow the first yeah, year? Yeah, just ten. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> I don't know. Okay, it's this is at least the second year in it's a row that it snowed, snowed during snowed Tantrum during Con. Tantrum on Saturday of Tantrum Con. Yep, that's true. Big old a fat big, snowflakes. These are like bingo. biggest snowflakes I've seen in a long time. All right, I'm going like to play clumps of Nick snow. Fury, and Nick he can place Fury. another character um, card. So I'm going to play Captain Marvel. We are we are in South Carolina. It's unusual and to get snow. And then I'm going yes. to move her here so I can draw a card. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, I think that's my turn. So I draw two. Four, five, six, uh, okay, Dan's turn. Okay. Um, that changes what I'm going to do, but we will do it anyway. Don't do it. I was it. like, what did I even do? Oh, I played Iron Man Don't on my it. last turn. Alright, so I'm, I'm oh, going to use my base broke. modifier to reroute the power and give Sandman plus three power, so he's a seven. Mm -hmm. um, you can do that each time? Yep. Snap! <laughs> I thought that was just a one-time event. It's a talent. I could both there, but I couldn't break it. And I was like, <laughs> it's not worth alpha striking to fall short. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know so... That feels. I'm going to... Man, I don't think I want to do that. Oh, okay. game table. So this is a game topper. Mm -hmm. um, you can check out Game Toppers LLC online. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, I never remember what this is, a Holmes. I don't remember what they have. They I don't know that that's the correct size. This is the half size or the yes. one that fits a regular like standard card table. Yeah, it's a three foot by three foot. And they, and they make them where you can get this one and then an, an additional one yeah. that they will click together yeah, and so make one, one side one comes off and you can put the two together to make a larger table size. That's what we've got because we play some games on live that are much bigger Oh, than yeah, Michael, it's been snowing for like an hour now. <laughs> <laughs> so busy watching Tandra got it. Yeah. All right, so I played Black Mamba ongoing. This character has plus one power for every four victory points that I have. So right now I have four. She's a four, plus my seven is 11, plus the five gives us 16. <sighs> but then I'm playing Sonic Shockwave, destroy another player's character with less power than my total power at its base. Uh-oh. After it's destroyed, if that character had five or more power, I gain a victory point. Oh. So I'm destroying <gasps> Captain Marvel. I get a victory Captain point. Captain we Marvel? Friends. No, no. Wow. The, the masters of evil are friends with nobody. I just I don't even care about winning the game he's now. He's gaining I'm just victory points you. without <laughs> killing the bases. What? I know. So sneaky. Why did Pure we let Dan cards. snake Pure draft that cards. way so that he got all the good stuff? Hey, we, I chose last. So. I know, but you got oh, you got man. your second choice. So that's better. my turn. Okay. I'm, I'm done. So what is that base up to now? Um. So does she still seven. have five? He's seven, she's four, so eleven. Right eleven. Now. Eleven. Yep. And it goes up to eighteen. Yep. Okay. It's at eleven. Okay, I think I got this. I think I got this. Okay. I don't ha oh, it says May. I could destroy something, but I think I'm not going to. I think I'm gonna play Black Widow. Oh. I could destroy somebody, what? but I don't a believe power her. five or less. Black I Widow have. snap. But I think I want to do this: reactivate agents, <gasps> so I can place up to two from my discard pile. So I have a Hydra agent. Does that put us at eighteen? Uh, seven plus my eleven. Yeah. 
All right, 18. special, special. I'm gonna move Miles here. Miles Morales can move before get base scores, and he's got one less power till the end of the turn. Okay. But it doesn't matter. All I need is one point. I'm lame. I got a single <laughs> point off of that, but. And I got three. Point is a point. Yep. We're gonna switch that, and then the interview. All right, downtown is gone. All right, what do we got now? Uh, I'm mostly waiting for to grab the stuff. There's, um, I'm just thinking if there are possibilities, but there, there are not. After the first time you play a character here each turn, draw a card. Oh. Oh, nice. <clears throat> it's the Cree Lair. All right, so it is my turn, huh? I mostly just wanted to get your miles out of here. Oh. <laughs> is that what you were doing? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that one bad. Two cards. All right, I'm going to... Mm -hmm. I'm going to play the Supreme Intelligence, oh. and I have to play it there. Um, ongoing, I can play, um, after you play an action, one of your other characters gains plus one power till the end of the turn. So, I've got that, and then all of my actions, I think, are not great at this time. Nope, I'm going to play this one that lets me play an extra action. So, let me look. It's, this one lets me look at... Oh, you know what? Spidey senses a Spider-Man is letting me do a lot of looking at my deck and kind of stacking the cards up. So oh. I've got Spidey senses. That's nice. Hmm. Remind me what we played to. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, there Draw you go. one and turn the rest. Getting pretty close. Um, a lot closer than I am. A little over fifty percent. I'm gonna Get there. draw this one. And it lets me play an extra action. I will play the action I just got that lets me draw two cards. So I get oh, to draw nice. the two cards that I looked at. <laughs> but that's all I can do on this round. And I will draw my two cards and be done. I do have to say, there's not many action choices for these two decks together. Really? Mm -mm. I have a ton of actions. Is it but possibly that... you're just not drawing them? Uh, the Avengers actions are not actual actions. Ah, uh, okay. And I think the Hydra has a bunch of minions. Right, yeah. I'm going to use this bunch, talent to move over here. A bunch of stuff. And then Tal I'm going talents. to... Is that... It's something that recurs each is turn. But it's not ongoing. Yeah. So you can't activate that or any other talent that's out there. Right. I can only activate... My my character's talent. Choose a base okay. and draw a card for each of my characters there. It's sticking. Oh, is it? Ooh. Oh, wow. Can't wait to drive home. All right. I know. The night. Apparently, we're <laughs> spending the night on the Tantrum House couch. All right. <laughs> we and so maybe you stay up all night playing games. Character in action. Hey, we'll be wonderful on camera tomorrow, but it wouldn't be the first <laughs> time. Right. Be just like so the 24 hour marriage. I draw two cards, I'm going to have to discard down. Okay. Are you done? Otherwise, I am done. What did Katie done. say? She said, the right. snow is sticking, and we've got a good accumulation. Are the kids outside playing, I assume? Couple of them, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they are. Well, surprised I can't hear them, and everyone else can't hear them at home. Okay. Let me see. What does this do? If you play a character here, you may move one of your characters from another. That's lame. I don't like that. So, um, I'm going to... Play in action, move the goods. Mysterio himself is going to move a base modif modifier from one base to another. I'm going to move this base modifier over here so it's no longer, its abilities are canceled. And then for my character, I'm. His talent is I can destroy that character and another absorbing man to gain a victory point. What? Just off of killing your own people. Yes. Well, we have to see. Okay. Uh, so those are my two. Oh. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. This is it. Sinister oh. Six and oh. Masters of Evil or whatever they oh, are. Oh, they're. These are pretty sweet. Uh, let's say they're in the chat. They're talking about me taking back my turn. That was. 
I um when we set those bingo cards up we chose things that happen fairly often as we play and taking back actions is my thing yeah. <laughs> it is just like Melissa pulling out the rules yep every single game is a thing. every single game what okay I just have a cool card here it's only because will, Melissa likes to lay me. eyes on the rules. So can we go back in time since you haven't played anything? Yeah, you want to you want to do the base I action. I get yeah, it's base action says I can play another that's two another or less. one two yep. or less. Two yeah. or less. Okay. Are you gonna play something there and destroy it and then get? Let's play another absorbing man. Are you gonna do that? And I might as well just blow him up and Dumb. get a point. Already. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, being destroyed only counts not when the base. Does it count when the base is destroyed too, or just no? When, just when somebody. That's like destroyed? that's like a discard. I don't yeah. think type your thing. stuff is destroyed when you when Des the base score. Destroyed is by somebody else's card yeah, action, destroyed. I believe. Okay. Make it sure. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's that's more like a. a I think because it specifically says like before your card would be discarded after base is scored, it can you know do something yeah. specific. So I think it's okay. pretty sure it's a discard. So I'm gonna play a Hydra agent here, which allows me to play another one. That was the downside of removing that ability. But yeah, play another one. All right, I do not have an action, so it is Katie's turn. All right, I'm just gonna go with the obvious choice here, which is um, I get to, I'm gonna play a power of two or less, and I'm gonna play another power of two or less. So there's my two. Um, and then I'm gonna play an action. Hmm, a, a lot of Spider-Man's cards are special actions. Mm. That's pretty cool. Gives you a lot of versatility. Um, yeah, it really does. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see what I got. I really want to show and it hard will... to the audience, but I don't want everybody to know. Well, I just we... have this like. Yeah, go ahead and show oh, it. A... No. Make sure it's up on the screen. No, because then you're all gonna see it. So we'll just wait until I play. Here's a character modifier. Um. Um, mm, I want I will... this game now, though. The... Yeah, plus one power for each of yet? your characters here. Uh, I believe it is coming soon. Okay. I don't know what the date is on it, if it's not out already. Because I've only seen comments of... Uh, so, do these have extra power or anything? Gotcha. Do these have extra power or are they at yeah, face value? Has, has an extra... So, you've got five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a ten. ten. I just okay. I had to count it up to okay. make sure I knew what was going on. All right, that's my turn because I couldn't manage an extra action. I get all kinds of extra things if I get extra actions. All right, mm. let's see what I can do. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Harsh. <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> All right. Randomly quotes from UHF just pop into my mind. You should have gotten that. Um, the oh, was that you that got the? Um, we were playing the. We need to talk. Was it you that were that was play, saying too many movie quotes? No, you were the pinata believer. I was the pinata believer. <laughs> All right. Oh, so Anne was talking about uh, if you get bad luck in. Cubito. So in the game, there's that fan track at the one end of the board, and the, every time you move on that, um, most of the spaces have some type of bonus that you're going to gain from them. And the cards that we were playing with for that game had um, some of them had bonuses for being further on that track. So that's part of the reason I was just going ahead and busting so many times because it pushed me on that track and then some of my cards would, the dice well, would allow me to. They were really hoping somebody would blame something on luck because that is one of the bingo card oh. things. Is they wanted somebody to say, oh, it was bad luck. 
Well, it it is luck based, but it. That's sometimes why everybody you during the, the bad luck during the the cubitos. Every I've said that butchered that name. I can't say it right. That they were all saying like, "Come on, it's bad luck. Somebody had bad luck. Come on." <laughs> Is that just straight up 15 over there? Whoa! There's a lot of cards there for yeah. 15 uh, power. Yeah, there's a lot of cards. I don't know, how much is it? This is an extra. That one's not, unless it moves. I think I only have 7, and then, oh yeah, 15. This is, this is, yeah, just... They didn't move there, they were just played there. They so it's your turn. JF uh, and Liz want to know where they can buy the table. Oh, yes. Yeah. So go to GameToppersLLC.com and you can get, there's several different choices. Um, there are different sizes to meet whatever table needs you have as well and different finishes mm -hmm. and a large selection of mats to put on them. Yes, this is our special Tantrum Con or Tantrum House um, specialty mats that they made for our Kickstarter. Pretty awesome. After the first time I play, I draw a card. Since you're asking so about it too, you'll, I don't know if you can see it, but Dan, they've got little place holders that you can put your cups oh, yeah, yeah. and the, extra things. Yeah, if multiple effects happen at the same time, yeah. whose turn it is. So we also so have little cup holders so that not. snap right in. Put it on top um, of that. They and have I'm cups. Up. We have little cork pieces that can fit on top. So we also have bigger ones, so you can have like a writing area for. This thing holds your cards, but I'm scared people are going to look at them. <laughs> so just to update on what I did this what you turn, did. I played Vulture, which lets me place a base modifier from my discard pile on top of my deck. So I did regret. No, power. not that one again. Put it on top of my deck. The Cree Lair, Cree, Cree Lar, I guess, oh. um, says I whenever I play too. a character, I get to draw a card. So I put that on top of my deck, and then I drew it, and then I played it. And I'm using its talent, so now Vulture is six power until the start of my next turn. All right, so this is five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that only this? No, ongoing. That's on my turn. Only. Oh, it says ongoing. Oh, if I played two or more actions on my turn, I didn't. Oh, so this doesn't count. Yeah, that. But I have to play two actions okay. every turn to keep that going, and okay. I don't. I haven't played so two five, actions. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it says extra. Is that, is that a month? one extra one? So ten plus seven. Seven. So we're at seventeen. Okay. We're at? Yep. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. Well, you can really just stack it up in this one, though, because mm. we've got extra plus two and then an extra three. So character, an extra character of power two or less, an extra power, character of power three or less. What is this? So you can play three characters on Every your turn. Every turn I can play an additional character of power three or less. But not just you. That's a base modifier. That is a base modifier. Do we all get to do that? Yeah. No, I think it's just me. Oh. It says it's a base modifier. Yeah. Seems like that would be all of us if, if oh, this look. one is a base modifier for all of us. Mm -hmm. That changes what I might do. So, I'm pretty uh, sure we can all do it. That's what I think. Did I say this was 17? Mm hmm. What's the name of it? Proving there. Grounds? It I is think I not. Can get eight. I just know if we take too much longer, I'm going to start to get hungry. Oh, oh. well, there is. You can order, get Will to, pizza in there. <laughs> get in Will the to take your order get down and go. bring you something from the kitchen. Yep. We've got um, quite the smorgasbord back there. All sorts of candy and cookies and chips and soda and pizza. And we have some fruit and vegetables because Kevin specifically asked about them. <laughs> uh, you have to have something to counterbalance that. All right. yeah. That's true. I, I'm pretty sure this is just me because it replaces the play on a base thing from the previous ones. But play on a base modifies the base. It doesn't say any character or whatever. I'm pretty sure it's me. It, so it modifies that base for me. 
Because that's a talent. This is ongoing. Um, oh. Yeah. So yeah, the talent. Would oh, be talents based. only activate yeah. during your turn. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. right. Yeah, I didn't see the word talent there. I'm reading it. That's down. true. He. It is. It's okay. something that only yeah. activates this on. Needs. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh. Reese's made it out. Okay. So right now you're gonna. Ooh, you'll probably win it. I did not get it. I won't win it. Well, oh, well, I mean, I if you break it. If I don't break it, you'll probably come in. I have to get over seven. Mm -hmm. I'm at five. Oh, no, 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 no. This one may do it for me. Okay. Okay, I have to figure out what order to do this in. I need all of these. Okay, so I think I need to destroy... I've had bad luck during this game. I've <laughs> drawn a lot of extra character cards mm -hmm. and really struggled to have any characters in my hand. So... There you go. Wait, you've drawn extra characters, but you don't have them in At your hand? At one point, I had six cards that were play an extra character. Without characters? And I didn't have any extra characters to play. Uh, wow. That's pretty bad. Okay, so I think if so there I... You go. That is pretty rotten luck. I don't think I'm contending for first, but we'll see. You have as many points as I do. I think Dan's in the lead at the I, moment. Dan is way in the lead. I know. I'd say I don't I think only, I'm contending for first. I only have five <laughs> points. Okay. So I think I need to destroy play this to destroy a character. No, I don't think I need to destroy a character. I think I just need to do this. If I play a character, I can add another, another character. character. Okay. And then I have, so that puts me up to eight. This is... And they get plus on, one power? Yeah, so they all get plus two power because I got two of them. Ooh, snap! Right? Does that put us over? I don't know. So they, about... these each have two additional power on them? Yeah, because this card gives everyone two or less an extra power. And I have a second card of that. It has... Oh, so these these are worth six each, then. Yep. So six, seven, eight, nine, They're ten. They're worth four each. <laughs> it's, it's, this shouldn't be that hard. No, yeah. they're worth plus one for each other one. Oh, so each other one. Two, so, three, okay. four, five, plus two, three, four, five is ten, and then twelve, fourteen. Fifteen, sixteen... 17, 18, 19. Plus 7. 26. We made it! 6. Got it! Woo. I knew this was going to work out. So how much did you have? 5? 6? Yeah. 5. 5. Okay, so you get 2, I get 3. I get 5! And just like that, I mean, Sarah's right with me now. Well, but that was a lot of turns later. <laughs> okay. Corbase. Oh, We're I missed my opportunity. I have all these special oh, cards uh, in my hand. Yeah, I, I had a special about. card. After base scores, shuffle all of your characters Ooh. into your deck. Ooh. And then draw a card. Fancy. I'm hoping it's an extra character I can play. All right, new base. Power 22 okay. for Hala. <laughs> On your turn, oh. if you have a character here, you may play an extra action. That's pretty fancy. Oh, I like that. I'm all about that. Let me get that going here. That'd be awesome if I had extra characters, because I just <laughs> fill it up. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. All right, here we go. I'm going to have a character here. And I get to look at the top three cards of my deck and draw one and return the rest to the top or the bottom or any order. Man, got so many good. I'm going to put those back there. And then I am going, I uh, got two actions to play now. Um, all right. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to play this. It could work. It has a plus three power. Hmm. 
And you've got a lot that just add extra to your. I do. And um, then I got another action I can play. I'm gonna play this one that lets me place two action cards from my discard pile on top of my deck in any order. So you can go ahead and go. I'm going to um, All right. put these down. I'm going to play this guy here Don't do and it. draw a card. Just Has Tantrum House been tracking what we've done for bingo? No, because I'm gonna play I did not character get on a base where I don't have characters. The bingo card. Place it there. Yeah. On your turn, if you have a character here, you may play an extra action. Is that does it mean it has to be there at the beginning of my turn, or just any? I think your turn? on your turn. Play an extra action. You Watch out! There. Here comes extra actions. Play a character power three or less as an extra action. Play this guy. Blue oh, Mark. you know what? Maybe I'll play him here. Okay. And I think that's my turn. Okay. All right. Um. Just, the the Cree the Cree deck is all about having extra actions and getting power ups from playing extra actions. I'm going to. A lot of their. Action cards give you extra actions. <laughs> do I want to do that? If it's get okay, extra so points, six, then no, we're you don't really want right to. Here. Oh man. Ah. The Hydra deck is definitely using all these minion agents to just store them somewhere. Yeah. I don't think I want to. It do reminds that. me a little bit of so. the zombie deck. Oh, yeah, it does. Except for the Hydra is all about, like, if you strike down a Hydra agent, two more take its place, mm -hmm. which is different than the zombie deck. But it's got that same feel, which is, you, it's just hard to get rid of them. <laughs> all right, I'm going to play this character. Let's me draw a card because of the base. Okay. Are and you, what? what's your power at over here? Uh, right camp. now I have a 10, plus the 2 is 12. Because I'm giving this plus three to, I guess, Vulture. Okay. Twelve. Yep. Ulysses, Ulysses, Ulysses Claw says I get to draw a card for every four victory points I have. I have nine, so I get to draw two more cards. Mm. And now... I have ten. I can still play an action. Mm -mm -mm. That's kind of cool. I feel like I need another snow update. Will. <laughs> Still going. Just walk outside for you. I you haven't see heard right my kids. Window. Haven't heard my kids come in, so I'm guessing they're still out. They're the it's, yeah, it's Your still kids were feet. already snowball fighting before we came in here to play this. Yeah. Big, big yeah. wads of All snow. Right. I'm inciting panic. It's based not on like fire. fire. It's, it's like ongoing. Full Other players' characters here I'm playing it on Hala. Uh, have negative one power. If the break point here is 19 or less, other players can't use special abilities while this base is scoring. Yeah, that's definitely down. Ooh. That second part doesn't count right now. Okay. Um, so right now we've got a total of 12 power here. Mm -mm -mm. You're, you're about like taking over weak bases. Yes. I have noticed that. <laughs> yeah. And making bases weak. Yeah. Yeah. So 19 or power less here, then this space is mine. <laughs> uh, so if you guys just want to do your thing over there, let me keep taking the small things. I guess I'm going to take this one action. Cool with me. Shuffle any number of characters, two or less, from your discard pile back into your deck. So I got five. Hydra agents and other peoples, and that's all I'm doing. Okay. I, which one, oh no, we decided that was Ryan only gets that special thing. It's gone. I know. Hmm. All right. I 
I really need something that's like get extra minions out because I got a whole <laughs> bunch of those. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play Ronan the Accuser here after... That's scoring. That's not what I need at the moment. Ronan the Accuser um, lets me take an extra action. I'm going to play Righteous Fury on Ronan the Accuser, which I feel like only fits. Um, but it gives him a plus three power, so he's got six there. Plus your... That's 11... 12, that's 13. 11. That's a 5, isn't it? Yeah, that's 11. No, plus my 6. I was counting oh, 6. Oh, 11 plus your 6. 17. 17. Yeah, okay. Sorry, you threw me off. Sorry, I thought you were like, that's 11. I was like, yes. AJ had definitely started off with a bang, but things have slowed down. Sarah's caught up to me. Katie is... I cut up, but I have only points. these two cards True. out at the moment. True. Plus, plus three power. I don't have anything right now that's giving me extra power Katie's for it, which I feel like cards really out on need. a lot of bases. She's going to be scoring very soon. So I need to destroy them. I am. Destroy the cards. After you play an action, one right. of your other characters gains plus one power until the end of the turn. Okay. Wow. There we go. One. Is it, is it my turn? No, it's still mine. Oh, it's still yours. Okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. I just took an action and then... <laughs> I guess I'm taking... Oh, there's no Snickers to take a Snickers break. Here's, here's my action. I'll do a Reese's egg. Okay. I guess I will play... Oh, hey, 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 hey. Look here. Play an extra character. I'll play that one. It's a thing. I feel like the Spider Friends or Spider Verse, whatever that is, is. The Spider Friends. That's us. Spider Friends. The Spider Friends. Um, I play like that. Your two decks are going together pretty well. Here. And then, well, that really Much is. Much better than my two decks. And then I draw two cards. And then I've got one more act. No, I played that action, which let me play that action, which let me play that, which let me draw two cards, and that's the end of my turn. Okay, right, so you have 17 here? Right? No. Is that what we said? I just got seven. No, there's... So there's 17 total? Where? 16. Oh, six. No. There's 17 that's total. 17. You have 11, okay. and Katie has so, six. So uh, I move this character here. Okay. And that... Does whatever. I mean, it's already 20. Plus 2, 3. Alright. Mm -hmm. And I can't play any characters. But that so. breaks, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. it breaks. So, uh, what are your points here? Player with. Those are dra drawing things. Oh, okay. So these aren't. Okay. That's yeah. the. I guess uh, so, I get 4. Katie gets 3. Yeah, see? I bet Katie's. Ryan's tied with me now. Um, we Let me both look at get this. to I'll trade take a card with a special ability from their discard on top of their deck. There was equal exchange there, and then I get three. So Katie is winning. What? No, am I? You have ten. Five, six, seven, Ryan and I have eight, nine. nine, ten. Wow. Okay. Sarah has eight. Close game. Well, oh, that was that was game. surprising. Wait, I might have had a special ability. I've got all sorts of special abilities that I Dude. haven't been able to do much with or haven't been paying right. attention enough to make it work for me. <clears throat> this goes into if, the discard. If I was a little more responsible with my playing, there. I probably could have won by now. <laughs> Castle Zemo. Before this base scores, each player may move one of their characters here to another base to gain one victory point. That's pretty sweet. Oh. Um, so we've got 12 here. If we can get five But more, then that, that makes breaks. the base not break. I need something that lets me, like, draw a bunch of characters. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> my, all my actions all right. are about extra characters. <laughs> I want to get... But I don't have any characters. Oh. Same here. <laughs> y'all... Have all these One names. of y'all's needs to... Like, yeah. the Hydra deck uh, needs bo to both join Both of these decks or... have draw... Place extra characters or whatever. And when you place all the characters yeah, all the time, you, just, you can't You don't keep... have anything. So, well, I've only been able to do, like, one a turn. There's definitely decks that mesh better than others. Go ahead. Dan. So I need some more um, So I played Green Goblin. 
as a talent, I could choose to activate it to reduce the break point by three. I'm not doing that right now. Um, yeah. But I do get to play two actions if I would like. We've got 12 power over here. Is it worth doing that? I think. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. It might be. No, I'm not going to do that. Just kidding. All right, so first action, I'm going to play another base modifier that has a talent. Um, if the breakpoint here is 19 or less, I can actually, no, I'm going to put that over here. I will activate this talent, dropping this to a 19. Since this is 19, I can activate it to draw a card. What? Oh, boy. And if this does score, your special abilities, if you have any, won't. You can't use trigger. special abilities there. Right. right. Okay. So I played a character, I played my master plan, but I get one more action because of that base. So I'm going to play... I don't know if I have any play this on a base cards <clears throat> in my two decks. Or at least I haven't run into them yet. I did not run into any of mine until this last draw. Really? Mm -hmm. I have 12 here. I mean, some of them are just not about doing so anything here's, with your... Here's a rules question. Okay. Let's play pretend Okay. a way, hypothetically, of moving Green Goblin. Okay. Since I'm moving him, can his talent be used on the new location? Did you already use the talent it's here? It's used I've once used it, per turn. Okay. Yeah, you can't. Okay. So it's not like it's being played again. It's just purely being moved. Right. Okay. Yep. Talents are once per turn deal. I mean, I, I might not have a way to move him anyway. But. Now, if you had a way to take him back into your hand and then replay him, yeah. I think you would get that again. But and there's, I think there's some decks that do that. I don't think it's any of these decks, but some of the. So I'm going to play acceptable ones. losses as my second to destroy one of my characters of power four or more, and it gets me a victory point. What? Bum bum bum. I mean, I'm. It's not blowing you guys away yet. No, but that's just strange <laughs> that you are making victory points and nobody else is. Yeah. Hey, Jarvis is coming out to help. Oh, Jarvis. Jarvis is not. Jarvis is an action. Uh, so it is a base modifier, but it's a talent. So I'm guessing I'm the only, only one to on do your it. turn. Yeah. So I get to draw a card and discard a card. Oh. Hoping for something good. It was okay. Uh, trash a card. I feel really bad, but to getting rid of Mjolnir. <laughs> so Thor's hammer is is plus two on Thor, but it's negative two on anyone else, and I have not drawn Thor, so it's got to go in the trash. Sorry. <gasps> oh no. Nobody else is Thor, worthy. Thor. Thor's right there. I probably. know Thor is right there. I, that's why I did the draw a card first, just in case. Watch it. Just Everybody watch. This is Next Thor right is here. Thor. Okay, so <laughs> I can uh what is this on your turn if you have a character here? You may but play. you canceled that, right? You may play an extra no, action. This is canceled. This is canceled. Oh. You may play I an haven't extra been doing action. that, but that's cool. So AJ, I guess you're looking from the top. A lot of my cards benefit your off card. What? You gonna show your card? Um, sure. sure. We won't look. Yeah, we don't have to. We won't I mean, look. We'll look at the bases. I mean, they've seen. This is one that everybody's seen. So we I don't know where. Action. We right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Sandman character has two or more power if the break point is 19 or less. A lot of my abilities are about 19 or less. So I I do have to get some of that synergy. I have ways to lower break points, so that's what I'm starting to do on that bigger base. But in general. It's hard. It's not as beneficial for me to just go after the super big, strong bases all the time. We'll see. I guess I'm gonna put up Captain Shield on Hulk. <gasps> Ooh. Captain Shield. Basically, uh, he's, this is not affected by other people's actions. 
Oh, okay. So Hulk's pretty set to go. It's pretty beefed but up. But if I had on Captain America, it would be extra power, but don't have it on Captain America. Okay. So that's my turn. Nope, not. not was that? Fair. Okay. Well, I was sure of it. Or was it? it was something she would say. All right. Okay. How much power is on this base? Eight. Eight. Six and plus two. Six and two is eight. What? It is. So I need nine power to go there to make that anything. I don't think I can make that happen. <laughs> um, what's on this one? What have we got? It's just seven. seven. And, and 17 and, mm -hmm. and this is it's just, just killing that killing effect yeah all right what have we got over here I'm trying to decide can I do anything to break a base I got 8 9 10 11 12 13 what is this one 14 15 16 16 so you have to get six more and are you counting the negative ones no for your characters Oh, I'm sorry. What happens? All, all three of these get negative one power. Why? Because of that? panic, yeah. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? But it is down to a 19 because I triggered green. Color. Okay. So what's the total then? So three, three. plus one is four. Five, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten eleven, twelve, thirteen. 12, 13. So it's at 13 and it used to go 19. to 19. Yep. Six more. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if this is going to happen, guys. Go fang. Eagle Fang. Let's see. Six. I think I can make it happen. We have yet to see the last episode, is that right? No, we thought. Do we see it? Alright. Sure. So just so we're aware, oh, yeah, I'm we playing Ronan the Accuser. He's got one less power, right? Yeah. Make this happen. I thought I could. I needed you to because I put my name in over there. Okay, here we go. One of your characters gains plus two power till the end of the turn. Draw a card. Are you about to score that? I think so. And then I'm going to and draw. play one of these. I gotta play a little bit more to make him beefed up enough to do it. Uh, this one. I'm giving him great power and responsibility. Mm. Ronan the Accuser. That's enough to make it work. So he's he's a two, plus the two is four, plus what? Three. Till the end of the turn. So that should be enough. I only needed six. Yeah. And this is that would have been six by itself, except for the negative one, yeah. which and that was an extra two. So mm -hmm. we're good. Mm -hmm. Ryan's got some sort of special, but yeah. you can't do it on that because of that thing. Yeah, you can't use specials when that scores. Right. So if you're the Super Fantasy Brawl? Yeah. I feel like you have. We have. The, super is Fantasy the break Brawl point for sure. 19 or less? It is. Yes. Oh. People want That's it. why we made it. Okay. People are asking. Yeah, we played it. It's pretty great. The miniature is really big and clunky. So you're uh, I, I really love the miniatures. Yeah, it's it's not a super complicated Sorry, game, but the box is really big because of all the miniatures in it, and that makes it a lot of fun. I have um, one away. Just decking them all out. I, be let me count my actions. Fun one, to two. Paint someday. Um, I think I had extra actions real fast. Hold on. Because you got plus one action. It plays so really differently if you play uh, one on one or two on two, because the uh, cooperative nature it. of team play is. Uh, quite a variant of the game. It's mm -hmm. it's not the same style of play necessarily. Simcaria, when the space scores, players other than the winner gain one victory point for each character they have here. Oh, so you can do a oh. whole bunch of a whole bunch of ones and twos right here. You might be getting a ton of points. Yep. Okay. How much is it? Thirteen. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
I need to clarify a rule real fast before I make a big mistake mm -hmm. and reveal my hand. All right, your turn, Dan. Yes. Thank you, Ryan. It's one of those moments where your heart's just like thud, thud, thud. Oh, Ever no. since Katie took her turn. Um, uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Gonna end it. I mean, I, I have 12 points, so I don't need the bonus. But Baron Zemo is gonna give me an extra victory point <laughs> no! after it scores, and I get to put Baron Zemo on the bottom of the deck. <sighs> I have 11 power, 12, 13, 14, 15. 18 power there. Just because I think it's a cool card and I want to do it, I'm going to play Ambush to lower the break point of this by 4. So that makes it a 13 base. <laughs> so and then, then it breaks. I have the majority. You win. I get 3 points. And you win. Plus Baron Zemo, so I get 4 points. What? And win the game! Oh! Yes. I got a point! Got the leaderboard. I, I didn't get to do this. I was waiting for her. I thought I was going to do it here, but then Dan played something awful on it. I have two Miles Morales cards, which would let me play them from my hand while a base was being scored. Uh, I could have thrown two Spider-Man cards out on a base and swooped in, but I didn't get to do it because you. Pl I was going to try to do it there. And you played that, you can't play special stuff. And I was like, no. <laughs> but listen. A base, before base scores, you have a character there. That was my problem. Didn't have a character yeah. there. I could throw this from my hand. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> anyway. I, I will say with, with this, um, and AJ kind of brought it out, but I didn't want to give things away. As I played it more, I started seeing more of the strength of lowering these other bases to get them into a 19 range but there's that trade-off of if i do that now like you just swooped in and broke that base mm -hmm. before i could really do what i wanted so yeah some give and take but well that's why that one's probably on the hot medium to hard range there's yeah there's a lot of synergy and thinking and getting things in there but some really cool cards i'm glad i got rid of thor's hammer because thor was almost at the bottom of the deck oh Okay. <laughs> but I, but I love Captain America would have been next, and he gives all of your other character powers extra strength. Which okay. Would have been really nice. I had a lot of actions coming up that were destroy a character, place out as many in your hand. Had I had a good hand to characters, mm -hmm. I could have placed them out, but I had actions. And I had multiple of the same actions, which was not helpful. All right, so. I I played with the Spider Man, um, Spider Verse, and the Cree, and I actually think those two decks like synergize really well. And I've yeah. never noticed this before, but Spider Man outfits look kind of like Cree outfits. What? Well, you know what I mean. Like we've seen some of these things. They have like whole body suits. Then they have the whole thing that like covers their whole face and head and everything like Spider-Man has. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And I, I was like, oh, I was probably not any. That's probably nothing, but it makes me feel like they could go together. <laughs> oh, I needed the Hulk Smash card. Would it that's have done something amazing? Destroy the base modifiers. All of <laughs> Dan's <laughs> awful cards. Whoa, that would have been awesome. I needed that. Destroy and base if Hulk is there, you can just destroy the base and score it. <gasps> really? Yes. That's pretty cool. Oh, snap. Hulk, all by himself, could walk up and be like, I'm done. Yep. That makes sense. That's what Hulk does. Yep. But all the characters stay there and you put out another base. Wow. That's crazy. Sweet. I know. Oh, but if you get Thor, you just get to pick Mjolnir out of the deck and place it. Yeah, well, that makes sense because he, oh, he calls Mjolnir it. to him. Man. Some very cool stuff. Do not get to my good cards in the deck. I know. I, I enjoyed these decks a lot. Hydra agents. That could have been really good, but I just didn't. I didn't get enough of them. I liked seeing yeah. all of my play an extra character cards. I would have liked to <laughs> use them. Um, but I was excited to have them. 
felt really awesome having like a whole hand of play extra character cards. So that's kind of what you could expect from my decks. <laughs> Yeah, yeah this... yours didn't seem like they they meshed super well together. These two worked pretty well together. I mean, definitely the Sinister Six, it's all about reducing power, and that was all over the place, and a lot of fun to me. Ryan's two decks were too similar. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're trying to do the same thing with both of them, and it kind of cancels each other yeah, out. Yeah, and my, my play style does not involve moving people around, and the one was, had a lot of move mm -hmm. character stuff, and I was just like, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> Yeah, see, I needed more of these reactivate agents, place characters from your discard mm -hmm. back in your hand so that I had more to play out. Now, were there but, other factions that we didn't play with, or was this? Uh, no, that was it. Just, just okay. enough for a four-player four game, player which game. is what their um, expansions are usually like. I will is. show you. This is what the inside of the box looks like. There looks like there might be room for other decks in the future. Yeah, or actually, normally their expansions are only four decks. Um, oh, so yeah, this was this an eight. eight deck. Okay. So it's it's kind of a standalone game instead of an yeah. expansion. But cool. like I said, honest, is a game. honestly, you could <laughs> oh you, you could play definitely with play with other stuff. Be yeah. You just have to remember that some cards are going to say minions and some of them and these yeah. say, say characters. Because we're not playing with plants or yeah. other things yeah. that are. It'd be weird to call the Avengers minions. Yeah. <laughs> and if you get a chance, I would definitely. Draft, Sinister Six, and Masters of Evil. That was solid. Did you separate yours? No. Yep. I'm working on it. <laughs> there they are. There's the difference. But yeah, like I said, Cree and this and Spider. Yeah, that was a good mix. Spider Verse too. worked well together. Cool. All right, so tomorrow morning we have more publishers demos. Uh, there may even be some spots available in some of those games, so check those out on our website. Go to tantrumhouse.com forward slash schedule to see those and scroll down to the Sunday schedule times. Uh, we do have a giveaway in just a moment. Will is going to select someone randomly from our audience who has been commenting for our play here. We have Guardian's Call to give away. Uh, we also need to remind you to vote on the minis and the table flip. So when we're done here, head over to our Facebook page and go ahead and like all those uh, things that you enjoy. So the, there's several different uh, table flipping videos that has the whole clip instead of just the little bit that we'll put in the montage that we showed earlier. So yes. go ahead and vote for some your favorite. Some of those favorite. are much longer than they were shown in the little montage and there's some really funny, almost outtakes in yeah. a lot of them. So go watch those. Tomorrow, for our Kahoot game, we have trivia from two different Trivial Pursuit games. We're smashing up, just like our game tonight, we are smashing up uh, Bob's Burgers and SpongeBob SquarePants right. and a Whoa. bunch of trivia. So don't miss that. Right at the beginning of our show at 2 p.m., we have a 20% off coupon for our store, so head to tantrumhouse.com slash shop, and the coupon code is tantrumcon2021. That is live through the weekend and Monday. Uh, we have a giveaway. Okay. How are we doing it? Will has <laughs> selected. All right. Bill Kennedy. Bill Kennedy! Congratulations. You have won Guardian's Call. Make sure to email Sarah S -A -R -A. At, at tantrumhouse.com to let her know um, your mailing address and to also remind her Guardian's Call is what you won. Um, and thank y'all so much for watching. We've had a great The night. I don't yeah, know. well, we might I just play games all night. I hope we don't have to stay here, but if we do, we will be, yeah, playing games, I'm sure. So, thank you so much. We will see you tomorrow back here on YouTube. Bye, Bye. guys.